we're back, we're live, and we're bigger than ever. It is the fifth Sidemen charity match. Can the Sidemen make it three in a row and take home the trophy for a fourth time, or will the YouTube All-Stars stand in their way? Stay tuned to find out. Woo! Previously on Sidemen at Sea. That oh is a fantastic half-pitch goal. Is this real life? And he's done it onto his left foot! It's Chris Unbelievable! What a goal, son! Oh, wow, look at that. Tobe! Oh, that is an incredible goal! He's getting really lively here at the Valley. 1.3 million people. Yes. Oh, we is. are underway. Chance is going to hit one here, Stephen. He's hit one. Five base! Oh! Past Calix, hits the shot! Oh, oh my gosh! Can he deliver? Randolph wants it! Oh, it? Wow. no one saw that coming! Certainly not Cal the Dragon! We're losing 4 3 when we get back on that pitch! We are going to beat All Stars FC! Yeah. It's speed on side! Hello and welcome to the fifth Sidemen Charity Football Match! <laughs> oh my days, we're here live in front of a sold out London stadium. There's about to be 60,000 people in the building. And we've got all of you millions of people at home watching. We're about to see the biggest event in YouTube history go down. Yes, in just under 45 minutes, Sidemen FC will take to this pitch and go head to head against the YouTube All-Stars in a battle to end all battles. But can they make it three in a row and bring home a trophy for the fourth time or will the YouTube All-Stars steal it from them? It's going to be very tense. You can see the teams have just come out onto the pitch and the kids are very excited. Um, joining the Sidemen this year, we've got the biggest names on YouTube. Mr. Beast, Speed, Kaisenet, XQC, Jadon, Nico. I called him Nico. L said, you're wrong, Zoo. Um, we'll be uh, we're taking you through all the action as it happens on and off the pitch. And for the first time this year, we'll join Seema Jaswell to get expert analysis from our panel of football legends, Jolian Lescott, Enio Luko, and Bayo Akinfenwa. Yes, we're taking it professional this year. Very they didn't profesh. trust us to, to give analysis. I don't think we can be pundits, Els. No, we're just here hosting. But by high demand, I'm going to say high demand as in people really wanted this Who's couple. Who's getting attacked online for this? Yeah, we were. Really wanted this couple back in the commentary box. It is none other than Stephen Tries and Spencer FC. They will be your commentators today. I'm really Look looking, at that. They look so cute. Looking forward to that. And Sue, I don't know if you've noticed, we've got a massive sponsor on the shirt sleeve today. None other, none other than Crunchyroll. Crunchyroll? What's, what's Crunchyroll? Are you an anime fan? I do love a bit of DBZ. Okay, well, Crunchyroll is the home of anime. I heard you talking about Attack on Titan earlier. Yeah, with the big giants in that year. Yep, they have Demon Slayer. Attack on Titan and so much more. So you are missing out. Make sure you go and check that out. Now, let's talk about halftime. Let's do it. Because we have a very special guest performing at halftime. Right here. Yes, it's me. Yep. It's not Zoo, unfortunately. We've oh. got you here now. It's fine. That's true. That's true. We do have none other than the King of Manchester, Mr. 0161. It is H. H. -E boy. H will be Bebe. performing. Mane. <laughs> at halftime. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And as always, it's important to remember why we are here today, and that is to raise money for charity. So today we will be raising money for five very important charities to the Sidemen. They are Charity for Brightside, Teenage Cancer Trust, Calm, Rays of Sunshine and M7E. The money raised will be shared amongst these five really important causes. So if you can, please donate by heading to sidemenfc.com or texting SDMN followed by your donation amount to 785 to give that amount. For any donations over £20, head to sidemenfc.com and make a donation there. And any do donations over £50, which is really cool, will be shown up on screen Amazing, today. Yeah. amazing. Text will cost the donation amount plus one standard network rate message. Donation amounts can be anywhere between a whole number, one and 20, to donate a matching value between £1 and £20. 
Teenage Cancer Trust, Calm, Rays of Sunshine, M7E and Brightside will receive a share of your donation. For the full terms and conditions, please visit teenagecancertrust.org forward slash text. All the information on how to donate, how the money will be shared between the charities and the full terms and conditions can be found in the description below and on the website. Thank you so much, Els. Now make sure you stick with us for interviews with the players, the managers, and we'll be seeing how the teams line up. But for first things first, we've got our Roman presenter out in the field, Cecil G. He's out there getting the behind scoop on today's match. What's going on, my brother? Yeah. This is unbelievable. 60,000 tickets sold, and I'm going to give you all the exclusive access. Let's go. Can't part of them, mate. <laughs> Big you in there, mate. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But my dream, what do you mean please keep off the grass? I just want to touch grass. Do you know what? <laughs> the main man himself. Look at this, this is a custom kit. It's 69. Okay, okay, it's nice. Glowberry Prime. That matches JJ's top. Shh, shh, I'm gonna take this, don't, don't, don't take it. Let's go! It's their game time. Hat trick on deck. Sue! He's ready. To be fair though. To be fair though, it's game time. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Beach from the gym Man, session. I can't get rid of this guy. How's it going? Oh, He's everywhere. Just turn the AC on. Right, let, me, let me do that. I've got, got you. I've got you. I think that's it. The energy's right, man. The energy's right. I'm excited. You should be excited. <sighs> Off to the pitch. Thank you, Big C. Thank you, Big C. Right now, I'm joined by the one and only Nico. How about I? How you feeling? Honestly, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling excited. I'm ready to absolutely annihilate the sidemen today. We've got a good bunch of lads, and I, I believe that we can bring it home. You know when they say i got a good bunch of lads, that's on real football talk. Yeah, yeah. Um, and what can we predict for the match today? Uh, well, if I'm being honest, you want an honest answer? I want an honest answer. Uh, I'd say about 17-3 to the YouTube All-Stars. 17-3? The, the sidemen don't know what they're in for. Are you going to score? I'd hope so, I'd hope so. But, uh, I mean, I got one last year, so I'm not... I'm not clinging on to it, but I'd, I'd really like a goal. He's yeah. been here before, he's done it before. Now, yeah. um, you said that it would have been easier for you if you had the whole beta squad here. The whole squad is not here. How do you feel about that? I mean, it's unfortunate, but I think it's the, the, the side men know that the beta squad are ballers. So if the beta squad were here, it would probably be about 47-0. So, you got me, a message me, for the rest of your lads um, who, who, who are watching right now? Listen, guys, I love you guys. And hopefully uh, one day we'll all be on the pitch together. But yeah, big up. And I believe that... Uh, I believe that we'll, we'll win. Right, it's a little bit sweet and a little bit nice. Can I get some trash talk for the other team, please? Okay, so first off, uh, Renal, uh, we've got uh, Knowledge in goal. Knowledge, the one with three subscribers. Yeah, Knowledge in goal, he's awful. He's got a huge forehead and that, that's the only thing that's going to stop the goal. If you me. don't know Knowledge, it's KSI. Yeah. Nah, no, everyone knows you know. This is government name, Knowledge, Strength, Integrity. Oh yeah, I forgot, yeah, sorry, sorry, my bad. They've got Knowledge in goal, he's not doing nothing. They've got Simon Mini Minter who's about 47 now, so I don't think he can score three <laughs> goals this year, to be completely honest with you. Who else they got? I mean... In the, the rest of the side men. They got the rest of the side. They got Toby. Toby's fast. But, I mean, Jid's got a plan for him, so he's probably going to break a leg. Not a break a leg. He's okay, let's not leg. talk about no break. No, no, not break a leg. Um, sorry, sorry. I mean, he's going to break... Um, into let's cut to Els. Els, what's going on with you? Because people are talking about breaking legs. It's not nice. Right. Hello, I am joined by the goalkeeper today, JJ. A switch in positions. Yes. Why, why did you do that? Well, obviously I've got a fight October 14th against Tommy Fury. So we thought I'd have a higher chance of not getting injured in goal. Okay. And how are you finding the warm up? You said it's harder than you thought? Yeah. So this is probably one of the first times I've been in goal. And uh, yeah, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. You know, I remember I would uh, make fun of all these goalkeepers letting goals in. But uh, now I'm one of them. Uh, I might have been more than I could chew. Hmm. Well, Nico was saying he reckons 17-3, which means you're letting 17 okay, goals. Well, 17-3 is a bit outrageous, okay? I still want to try and keep a clean sheet. But, uh, yeah, obviously I imagine they're going to try and shoot from long range, uh, test the goalkeeper, test my hands. And, uh, yeah, look, I'm going to do, do my best, see what happens. And, uh, yeah, hopefully win us the game. Okay, we'll be three in a row if you do win today. Yes. Any trash talk for the other team? Because Nico was giving it out. Yeah, well, I mean, speed is probably going to be offside the whole time anyway, so it, it don't matter. None of these goals will count. Nico, 
uh, will be behind Chunks' shadow, literally. And uh, I don't even know who, who else I should be afraid of, really. Like, who, who is, who? Who? That's a good question. Who? But I think you're gonna do all right, right? Anyway, we're gonna head back over to Zoo. He's with another member of the All Stars. You know the vibes, right now I'm joined by the one and only Young Philly, my brother, how you feeling? I am feeling good. I'm feeling, look at that! I know. Bro, I just, moments like this humble me. Like this is, I'm a humble man anyway, but this just lets me know how far I've come in life, man. This is surreal, bro. Now listen, you can't be too humble when you was banging in goals last year. The goal that you scored last year was incredible. Are we gonna see that again this year? Hopefully, God willing. Some say though that it's the best goal in the Sidemen history. Um, of uh, every single match they Bro, turned. top bins just slapped it like there was yeah. no tomorrow. Yeah, it was a great goal. Um, hopefully, I get to come on a score sheet again. But um, yeah, I've got to play a significant role today because we've got no Harry Pinero. They've taken out Harry Pinero, so it means that I've got to do extras. No year. HP with the sauce. Mm. Uh, well, you, we do have chunks on the field of you, and yeah. we know about you guys' brotherhood. Um, are we going to see some tiki taka together, a little bit of connection football between? Of, of course, of course. Me and him were speaking yesterday in a hotel, and I was like, bro, more or less, every time I get the ball, I'm going to try to find you. Obviously, not mm. force it. If nah. Chris MD or another player is free, then I'll give it to them. But if I see chunks, I'm definitely slipping him through. I think we would love to see an assist from chunks straight to a goal to you. Right? Oh, that would be amazing. Because last year, I was the one that assisted Nico's first goal. Yeah. So, yeah, as long as I assist the man or the man assists me, I'll be happy, man. Away from this, is there anything that we can see coming forward from Young Philly in the future? Yes, I've got a mixtape coming out this year. I don't have a date, but it's the later end of the yes. year. But yeah, more music coming soon, man, for sure. Exclusive information, Young Philly, hey, thank hey. you so much. I, Els, back to you. Yes, I am now joined by Simon, who scored the winner last year in, in the match. Another one today? Uh, I hope so, but at the same time, I don't want to have to rely on it. Um, yeah, hopefully we can just win regardless. It doesn't matter. So, Nico was talking some smack a minute ago. He said you're 47 years old, so you're not going to do anything. And he reckons it's going to be 17-3 to the All-Stars. Oh, he's been texting me for the last few days about how unfair the teams are our way. So, I think he's talking a load of waffle. Um, yeah, I mean, he moves like a 55-year-old. He, he might be younger, but uh, yeah, it's not pretty to watch him run. It's not right. So we're here today. There's going to be 60,000 people in the stadium. A lot more than last year. Any nerves? Or are you feeling confident? Uh, no, I always get nervous. I'm absolutely bricking it right now. Like, if one of us doesn't poo on the pitch, we've done well. <laughs> well, Freeze has got food poisoning. Yeah, no, so that I, is... he's my he's my like top bet. <laughs> right. Well, best of luck today. I'm hoping to see another another winner from you. Right. We're gonna head back over to Big Zoo with the All Stars now. You know the vibes. I'm with Big KC right now. Sir, KC 3000. I'm here to I'm here to just score, score, score. I'm not playing no games. The coaches told me I'm starting. It's lit. Are you good at football, my brother? I used to play back in middle school. Uh, 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 my bowls are not usually uh, athletic, but today, fuck it, Atlanta. Atlanta. Oh, was I it's okay, don't worry. We, we apologize for the poor language from Kai right now, but he's gassed up. He's ready to yeah, score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you going to score a goal today? Yes, yes, I am. I will score a goal today. I am going to score today, and I will score again today. Yep. Can you give us uh, a quick uh, insight into how you will celebrate if you score right now? Celebrate. Damn, 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 damn. Hey, 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 don't get injured, don't get injured, don't get injured. Do we have any trash talk for the other team? Anything you want to say to the other team right no, now? No trash talk. I'm here to play and play and play great only with my teammates. Good chemistry, good communication, and good vibes. That's what I'm here That's for. That's quite cute. Thank you so much, Kai. Can we go back to L's right now? All right, blessings, blessings. Right, good vibes all around. I'm here with Simon FC's Mr. Beast. You How's are back going? for another year. How are you feeling? I feel great. This, this year should be fun. Are you thinking you might score this year? Um, I'll do something. Do something. Okay. Impact. But you, if, if you win today, it could be three in a row for the Sidemen. So, oh, really? pressure. There's no pressure. Well, if we win, it's not because of me, so I feel no pressure. <laughs> I'm just going to go out there and, I don't know, chase speed around and try to steal the ball from them. Sounds about right. Aside from speed, is there anyone else on the opposition who you're looking out for today? Um, well, Chunks last year hit a goal from like, I mean, it looked like 50 yards away. So I assume he's pretty good. Outside of that, no, not really. Not really. So you're not feeling threatened. You're just here for no. good vibes. I'm just here to have fun. Like this is like, look at all these people out here. This looks like an amazing event. It's for charity. Love to support it. Exactly. Well, thank you so much for chatting to us. We are going to head back over to Zoo now with the All Stars. Speaking of chunks, he's with chunks. Speaking of chunks, right now, I've got him found him. I feel it, my boy. Very good, brother. I can't lie to you. I'm, I'm excited, man. 
being a, a YouTuber, being on the pitch in the sold out West Ham Stadium, absolutely incredible, all for charity. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. So you've scored goals here before. Yes. Uh, we know that you can you can pull it top beans. Yeah. But today, are we seeing the tech once again? Once again, obviously, I'm not starting today. But, uh, What's going on? No, 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 tactical, tactical. tactical oh, okay, okay, okay. Obviously, you've got Theo Baker, which is, of course, better than me, so he's playing in that 10 role. But just believe I'm going to come in, do up a little job in there as well. Very excited. Incredible day, man. Now, your brother Philly is on the pitch. We know about you guys' connection. Are we going to see one twos? Are we going to see Tika Taka? Are we going to see assists? There's hella American youths. They're my brethren, of course, because they're on my team, but they don't know ball. You know what I mean? We really kick ball from 2000, huh? 99s. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So, me and Philly are showing the peoples how to actually kick football today. Yeah. So, that's what it is. It's going to be connections, one twos, we move, to pivot. You know what I mean? It's, it's all good, bro. Hey, listen, I, I follow you on Instagram and we see the tech. We see the left foot and the right foot. What foot are you? I don't know what foot you are. Can I tell you? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm honest with you. I, I don't know. Sometimes I think, oh, it's a left. Oh, it's a right. It depends on the day. And obviously, I, I, just, I was just talking about this off camera. We see the clean hearts. What's clean hearts? I've been seeing it on the t-shirts and all yeah, that. Yeah, clean hearts is the brand, bro. It's coming out real soon. Uh, it's my, it's, it's, it represents me, I like to think. And where can I buy that? Where can I buy that? It's not out yet, but just make sure you follow the socials. It's coming out real soon. Clean soon hearts. come, inshallah. I chunks, thank you so much. I was back to you, my love. Yes, I'm joined by Toby from Sidemen FC. Toby, last year, you and Manny were a great double team. That goal, I still watch it now on replay. No, you don't. I do, I'm not no, lying. <laughs> Any um, surprises today for us? Oh, the first surprise is JJ and goal. That's going to be interesting. Mm. Um, but surprises from me, I don't know, man. I don't know what to expect. I can't tell you. I mean, it's, it's, it's leveled up since last year. I mean, 60,000 people. Compared to last year, is an incredible amount. Big, big support here. Simon seem really confident compared to the All-Stars. I'm hearing some of the talk they're giving back to you, but you guys seem very calm, very confident. Who seemed confident? Who did you ask? Because I've been hearing a lot of doubts from people, but I'm sure I'm here to have fun, have a good time, raise money for a great cause in front of 60,000 people. Want to give them the best experience possible. So these lot are the reason I'll be doing what I do and everyone else will be doing what they do on the pitch. Lovely. Well, thank you so much, Toby. And as always, it's important to remember why we are here today, which is to raise money for charity. So let's hear from Toby, Josh and JJ about why the campaign against living miserably is so important to the Sidemen. So Sam, tell us a little bit about Calm. Calm are the campaign against living miserably. Their goal is just to prevent suicide where possible. I was referred to Calm by a doctor. I had a particularly bad night one night and decided that I need to do something about it. A 15 minute conversation potentially saved my life. How did you uh, get involved? I lost my youngest brother to suicide. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. The thing that kind of struck home with me was that I didn't see it coming. You feel like you want to help someone else. When I came across Calm, they were using sport and music and humour to try and connect with that audience. Yeah. Looking back to that time, I think my brother would have, he would have picked up the phone and spoken to those guys mm. and that might have saved his life. Did you find it hard opening up to a stranger? At first, yeah. Not anymore though. I feel like as soon as you do that first time, you learn that it's not as scary as it might seem to be. You even got a tattoo. I guess it's also a thing that like someone cuts you and says, oh, I was that tattoo? Was that tattoo? I've had point. so many yeah. people Instantly you're like, okay, well. What, what calm is and, and who they are just from this tattoo alone. What do you do personally like, to help calm? Back in 2012, I created something called the Mental Health World Cup. So the idea is I wanted to get together on a football pitch, talk about mental health and raise money for calm. Everyone who was there was, you know, really comfortable saying, you know what, we're playing football we're standing against suicide what can we all do to help calm the charity the number one thing is to donate you can do other things simply by talking to people i opened up to people it allowed them to open up to me and it's potentially saved their life don't live miserably calm i think we're set boys we're ready all right calm down toby <laughs> on our way okay, let's, let's go. do it <laughs> Last year, you raised enough money to fund 53,625 potentially life-saving calls on Calm's helpline. That's every call that Calm answered from a young person for an entire year. Calm's helpline is available 365 days a year from 5 p.m. to midnight, and crucially, they are ready to intervene. Your donations go a long way to helping fund a potentially life-saving chat. Donate today if you can by heading over to cybernfc.com. Just eight 
pounds helps to fund a potentially life-saving phone call from one of Calm's helplines. So if you can, please donate by heading to sidemenfc.com or use the QR code on screen, or you can text SDMN to 785, followed by your donation amount. All of the information is in the description and on the website. Right. Big vibes. Now, today we are joined by the managers of the match. We've got Mark Goldbridge. We've got Billy Wingrove. How are you guys feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling confident out here. Unbelievable setting, but it is hot. It is hot, <laughs> but you're not a fat man, so it's a bit different for you. Um, how, how are you feeling about your team today? You've got, got a good, strong lineup of, of ballers on your squad. Listen, the players know each other inside out. That gives us quite a big advantage. I said that last year. I think it will help us. We've got some new additions to the team. I'm confident. The, the lads feel relaxed. They felt relaxed in the changing room, so... I think we'll go out there and put in a good performance. Definitely. From speaking to them, they do seem confident. A lot of trash talk coming from the All-Stars today, but, you know, we love that. We love it. It's bit. all about the trash talk. Um, Speed's back for another year. Yep. Does he know the offside rule this time around? This I, I said to him in the training rooms, room, so you're quick, mate. Just wait. Wait, because you will beat them for pace. Um, but I agree with Billy. I think the, the, the side men have got to be favourites. They know each other. They won it last year. Um, I've got a goalkeeper who said, what's that net? I think he thought he was going fishing. So I'm, I'm, I'm hoping I'm hoping we can teach some of these lads the basics and uh, repeat what we did last year, which, which I think was a fantastic game. Yeah. Any score predictions from you? Any score predictions, Billy? I think there'll be over 10 goals <laughs> like for That's one, what we want to for, see for, for one side 100% I think there'll be that many goals today yeah. like it could be 12 10 to us but I think there's going to be loads of goals and that's what we want to see you know like last year was an incredible game some unbelievable goals but the entertainment value was second to none you know 100% it was brilliant and that's what we want to see again definitely well you're both back for a second year is there any rivalry going on or is it friendly I don't you think it's friendly to me I don't know about you Mark but... see, what, see what you're wearing <laughs> yeah is that, your, is that what you're wearing? Mate, I'm, I've gone pet. I've gone pet. Oh, I've got to get change yet. I've got to get change yet. I'm not going full kit. He's <laughs> that... always one nil up on the suit. Yeah. We'll see. It's going to be hot. It's going to be, be hot. hot. But no, it's not a hot rivalry. It's, uh, it's for charity. Yeah. But I want to win. That's all a lie. It's all a lie. Deep down, I know you both want to destroy each other. Desperately want to win. Come on, don't lie, bruv. <laughs> well, thank you to both of you. Best of luck, Billy. Best of luck, Mark. Thank and you guys. one of all of you is going to, but may the best man win. Thank you very much. much. Cheers, right, Thank before we check in with Cecil, wherever he's got up to next, we have a message of support then from a footballing legend. Wow. It's not Big Zoo, but oh. it is Ian Wright. Hi everyone, it's Wright here. Just wanted to say a huge thank you to everyone for their support of the Sidemen charity match. Every donation today makes a massive difference and helps our five charities improve and change the lives of thousands of people around the UK. If you can, Please donate by heading over to sidemenfc.com and give what you can to help. Thank you so much, man. And take it easy, always. Take it easy. Thank you very much, Ian, for that message of support. Now, today is all about raising money for charity. So let's take a look at why Rays of Sunshine is such an important cause for the Sidemen. is a really bubbly, lively, friendly little boy who just wants to be like all of his friends. Jude was born prematurely at 28 weeks. It was diagnosed when he was around about two that he had intestinal failure. I have known Jude for over six years now. We absolutely love Jude on this ward. He never fails to make us smile every single shift. So we first heard about Rays of Sunshine when Jude had his first multi-organ transplant back in 2018. The wish granters did their very, very best to give Jude the best wish that they possibly could. I was in my garden and I got surprised. They told me to shut my eyes and go into the front room and it was just there. How did you feel? Happy. It keeps him in touch with everybody, whether he's in hospital, at home, or even at our local hospice. Raise the Sunshine is a children's charity. Our aim is to brighten the lives of seriously ill children across the UK by granting them their magical wish. <laughs> Surprise! Wow. <laughs> How did you fit in that small car? I didn't. <laughs> well, are you excited for the charity match? Yeah. Do you want us to lose? No. <laughs> Obviously, care so I get Brexit tackled again. <laughs> One of the most amazing things about Jude is he will always have a smile on his face, and even though he has been through some real challenges, he doesn't let that stop him. You've got this, so you can kick that around the place and annoy people, or you can just throw it. At it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Oh, I thought skills. <laughs> I think that the work the charity does is amazing so that children like Jude can have some joy in their life. Today's donations are incredibly important to our charity. We are purely donation based, so we wouldn't be able to bring these moments of joy to seriously ill children without the incredible support of donators across the UK. So if you can, please give generously. Thank you. In a minute, I'm going to ask Vic for a video and Simon, simple Simon. <laughs> Yes, the money you raised today makes a massive difference to thousands of lives of children around the UK. And £15 could help fund an hour for a sun Ray of Sunshine's wish granter to arrange all of the magical details that go into creating unforgettable memories for seriously ill children and their families to treasure. Absolutely incredible. And if you want to get your hands on one of these exclusive limited edition Sidemen charity match bears, like i got in my hand right now, head over to u2s.com forward slash collections forward slash Sidemen all the profits from the sale of these bears will go direct to the charities. And remember, if you are donating today, head to sidemenfc.com to make your donation or you can use the QR code on the screen. You can also text SDMN to 785 with your donation amount. All of the information is in the description and on the website. Beautiful. Now, there's a lot on the line right now for the Sidemen this year. Can they take home their fourth trophy or will the YouTube All-Stars come back with a W after last year's very close match. Very close. Um, let's find out what the side men think. Speed. Speed for an outrageous tackle or for attacking the referee. I've had enough of this actually. Two foot in someone, mini mincer, and I'll try and break his leg in the process. I, the most likely to get a red card, I believe, will be me. Because if Theo Baker tries to go past me, I'm going to break his, his uh, calf. I think we give it to JJ and he misses. Honestly, I've always seen Vic. Vic Star's luck can only last so long. Your boy Vic Star, he's had his time. Josh, he's a great lad, but I think on the occasion he just he just bottles it. If I'm being honest, I think it's a... I think JJ, you know. JJ's got a good dive, he can save a penalty. Me, KSI, saving everything. Nothing is going past my net. I mean past you. Well, past me, all the... All... Into the net. It's not going into the net. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Simon, shut up. It's Simon. Simon, have you, have, you, have, you, have you stopped scoring out tricks now? Where is he? Can the guy just go away and play in defence? I'm going to go with Ethan. No, that's not, I'm completely lying. It's not Ethan. It's Toby. <laughs> I think I think Calix could, uh, could be an accident waiting to happen. He could end up on the bench recovering. Calix. He's got lung capacity of a four-year-old. Josh worries me. Uh, he, he, his fitness scares me, so I think maybe he might get hooked early, but we'll see. Probably me with some kind of injury. Me. <laughs> Josh. The boys will kill me if I don't say Josh. There's one man and one man only in my head right now, and that's Josh Zerka. I think, I think he, he needs to work on his finishing, but if he can do it, he might be all right. We'll have to wait and see. I could see JJ like headbutting someone in the box. You could even drop an elbow on him. You, know, you never know. JJ's going to get bored in goal, and I think he's just going to sprint up the pitch and just tackle someone. It's, it's KSI. You think he's going to stand still for 90 minutes? Josh, but he'll miss. <laughs> <laughs> Max Fosh. I think you look at him and go, he can't play football. He plays like croquet or something. I think Zerka might surprise people with how he is. I think with Harry, everyone always thinks he's just bog standard, but he's actually bog amazing. That was so bad, I'm so sorry. Simon, again. <laughs> the man who's got six goals and a hat-trick of assists, Simon Minter. Well done, Simon. You got man of the match again. You managed to get another hat-trick for the fourth time. Congrats. <laughs> Obviously, Simon will score all these goals, but I'll make all the saves, and people care more about the goalies than the strikers. <laughs> well, that was brilliant, wasn't it? And I am delighted to be pitch side with three exceptional pundits for today's match. Adebayo Akinfenwa, who has scored over 200 goals in his great playing career. Enya Luko, just the 102 caps for England. <laughs> and Jolien Lescott, who's won it all domestically, the Premier League, the FA Cup and the League Cup. So, Jolien, come on, you've done it. That was beautiful, by the way. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, well done it. Jolien, tell us, how does it feel to be here today? A bit different to what you're used to. Yeah, very different, but the atmosphere, I can feel it building. Um, I'm just... I'm just happy I'm not involved because it is warm today. It's it very warm. Is. Well, 
actually, I was going to ask you guys about this. Any, how are these guys going to cope with these conditions? Because it's plus 30 degrees. We've had our fans out. It's hot. I don't know. <laughs> it's going to take some good doing because it is really, really hot pitch side. But look, they'll get, they'll have got used to it during the warm up. Um, they'll have got a sense of the pitch and the atmosphere. It's what amazing. What was the warm up like, by the way? You kept your eyes on it. Yeah, was it? It was entertaining. It was entertaining. Yeah, and it's funny. That's the first I've seen someone warm up. <laughs> Like That's skins. what he just uh, yeah, whipped off his top. Skins, yeah, he's, he's been working out, obviously. I think Jolian was impressed with some of the uh, strike oh. techniques. Were you really? <laughs> Brilliant. We'll to that in a moment. But actually, <laughs> speaking of strikers, Bio, let's talk about some of the players that we can expect to see today. Yeah. I want to know about Simon, a man of the match performance last year with a hat-trick and a hat-trick of assists. Yeah. Is there pressure on him this time round? Yeah, but I think Simon loves pressure. Like he? he's, yeah, he's a certified baller. And if anybody saw the lob, the way he won it last year, uh, listen, uh, he's ready. He, he tries to downplay it. I see yeah. his interview at the beginning. He said, I don't want it to... He wants it. He, like, <laughs> he's a goal scorer, so he, yeah, he, he's ready for it. Do you know what? Those interviews have been so good to watch. Mixed emotions. Some are playing it quite cool. Some are really hyped for it. But actually, Jolian, this is a, a huge moment. To play at the London Stadium in front of like, what, a sellout 62,000 crowd is something special. Oh, definitely, yeah. To play on a football pitch, and obviously in this arena, is, is iconic. But yeah, to sell out stadium, so credit to all the fans that have, have come. And obviously, as, as the players we're saying it's for a great cause yeah well you know what I would like to talk about chunks okay so he starts on the bench today he's a sub yeah. but he has played with some legends during soccer aid with the likes of Scolzi Jermaine Defoe to name a couple but also a certain Enya Luko who's <laughs> on the panel I was going to say my name yeah. <laughs> I would have said you first by the way but <laughs> it's cool though save the best, 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 best for last yeah, I see yeah, what yeah. she did um, I apologise I apologise <laughs> Yeah, Tell you know me, what, Chunks, what like Chunks is my teammate, it's my soccer aid teammate. He's, do you know what, Chunks has got techers. Yeah. And, yes. and, and I've said to Chunks before, you need to believe in yourself a little bit more. Just be a bit more consistent, because sometimes it can be amazing techers and the next minute's over the bar. But he's consistent, right? Um, I think he'll be disappointed he's on the bench today, though. Yeah, I think? Think, I yeah, think, I think, think he can I have think, a good yeah. impact. I think that's a little up. weapon. Yeah. Because like, Chunks is... The game's like, going to get spread later it's on. Gonna get yeah, spread, it's going to get spread. And he's going to hit a world. Like, there's some ballers out here. Chunks no, is going to hit top I just, I just wonder what position he's going to come in. Number 10. When I, when I played yeah. with him, I put a few through balls through. No, no, no. You're making No, no, no. He's a target man. Yeah, he had a through ball. It's like me and Chunks are the same. You're not playing him through goal. Yeah. You put it in the grass, I'm going to give you a dirty look. I was like... Yeah, hit my yeah, feet. Yeah. Me and Chunks, we're the same. Like, yeah. okay. give it to his feet and let him put it in top bins. Okay, do you know what I really want to ask you about? KSI. So, he was brilliant last year, wasn't he? Yeah. In the middle of the park, he played yeah. more of a defensive yeah. midfield role. Yeah. This time he's in goal. We know why, because he's got his boxing match coming up and, yeah. you know, it's a big fight. But is that a good decision to be in goal? I'm not so sure. If, there's, if the defence is strong, he must have faith in his defence so he's yeah. not have to face any shots. But if he does, and obviously he's a busy man, then... That could have a bigger impact than he thinks. Yeah, and listen, to be fair, we say go loosely because KSI, like yeah, I said, to be, be anyway. not in the action, but he's going to be coming out doing slide tackle, so he's going to have to contain himself. But I'll go down with Jolien. <laughs> if, if their defence is solid, he won't have anything to do. But, boy, diving around, he should... Oh, let me let, I, let, we, we, anyway. Yeah. I'm not sure it's a great tactic as well, telling everyone that you're trying to avoid injury because from corner kicks... Yeah. Listen, if, it, if I'm the other team, I'm thinking, listen, he's not trying to get he hurt. He might end up let's, getting some punching practice. Let's put one arm in, in the corner kicks. Yeah. He may be, he may, he may be sparring gonna... early, early. Yeah, yeah but you're be. not going to spar with a man that he's training to fight. True. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Use your you head. know what, guys? True. I want to bring in some of the match stats from last year, because I guess they tell the story. But we do know that the side men did really, really well, didn't they? They did really well. They won 8-7 in the end. So, yeah, 8-7. I mean, there were lots of goals flying about. What are we expecting this time around, Julian? Yeah, I'm expecting the same thing. I'm, I'm guessing that it, it, it's tight at the start people are feeling out the atmosphere the, the size of the pitch because that'll be a difference maker and then also when, a, when the game spreads out at the end towards the end people get tired there's a lot of changes and then all of a sudden everyone turns into a number 10 yeah yeah I mean listen I, 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 I'm, I think the side men are going to win it again I think this is the fourth time they're looking for the fourth win so I think they're going to win it but Jolly said at first there's going to be a lot of energy running around it's going to be tight and they never realise how big this pitch is. Yes, I know. Do you know what? They're all up for it, though, because I know there was a bit of trash talk earlier. There's a lot going on. But do you know what? I think they really want this because they know it's a big moment. But look, guys, we are going to be joined now by another superstar. It's H. He is absolutely amazing. H, it's great to have you here. You've been keeping us on our tiptoes with your incredible music that you've been producing. Thank you. See what I did there? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Thank you I like that. So anyway, how does it feel to be here today? And who are you supporting? Watch out, watch out, buddy. Okay, watch out, man. I'm actually trying to get wet, to be honest. Okay. This is. I mean. Are you playing? Yeah, no. 
this is live TV for you, isn't it? What, uh, this is what we love. Reactions. In fact, I think we can go back now, guys. Yeah, just go back, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, we didn't plan that for your yeah. entrance. <laughs> Pulled me down a little bit. Yeah, 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 you know, was there. Live TV, isn't it? I thought someone was running at me, man. So watch out. Yo. That was good looking out, by the way. Yeah, who are you supporting today, H? I'm going to be dead boring okay. right now. I'm neutral. Yep. I'm neutral. I know that's boring, but I've got good friends on you both got, teams. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'm rooting for everyone. It's charity, isn't it? So, you get me? I'm, su I'm really supporting. Um, I know it is, isn't it? Sorry. <laughs> what do you want to see today? What are you, what are you yeah. trying to see? I want to see a, I want to see a free kick. Yeah. Top bins from Chunks. That's yeah. what I want to see. Yeah, yeah. I believe that's going to happen today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I want, uh, I, want, I want Simon to... Because I feel like sometimes he's a sick player, but sometimes he just holds back. Just you know what I mean? He just yeah. chill. But I feel like... If he turns the gears up today, I think it can do a madness. Be a but we were just saying, look, the guys from their pre-match interviews, they really want this. This means a lot to them. Yeah. Especially because it's for such a great cause. Yeah, yeah, cool. And bragging rights. Yeah, yeah and bragging, bragging rights bragging as well. Right. Okay, the best part is, though, we are all looking forward to half-time because you will be performing. So what I can we expect be. from your performance? Good vibes, good energy. Yeah. Yeah. Keep the crowd warm. More you know, sprinklers. Boring, anyway, yeah, sprinklers all over the place. <laughs> uh, yeah, man, just some good vibes, you know what I'm saying? Well, look, H, I know you're not a fan of crypto, but I'm happy that you're a fan of football and you're here with us. Do you know what? You smashed it today. <laughs> Thank you. I love that. I love that. I love that. Thank oh, you, guys. Good luck with Thank that performance. See you, see you, see we will be back, won't we, at half time. But for now, I hope you're keeping nice and cool, Zoo and Els, because it is boiling down here. <laughs> Yeah, don't worry, we're keeping cool. We got hit by the sprinklers as well. Yeah, it's not. Um, you don't want Elsa to turn around. She's absolutely dripping. Um, now, thank you so much, Seema. We are moments away from kickoff, so we've got time for an exclusive preview into the behind the scenes of how this charity match actually works. I know it's not all run by Els. That's what we thought. <laughs> Last year was what? We raised a million for charity. The viewership was crazy. stuff is crazy. The side man who have built this huge production team. We meet, we talk, we share opinions and we all decide what the best thing to do is. The experience of doing it before allows you to really level up. If we win again, it's kind of like, is that the last one? We just wanted to support as many charities as we can. It's more about doing a cool thing and using it for good. There's more emotional ones, but I'm not going to go into them, man. I'm not going to go into them. They're like, oh, the side men are washed. Because who's going to want to watch us play football? No one knows until match day whether we've made the right call or not. We are the side, man. <laughs> That's what makes it special, man. That looks really special. Can't wait to watch that. 100%. You can actually catch it from the 23rd of September on Side Plus. So make sure you go and check that out. Right now, remember, today is all about raising money for five amazing charities. And the money you raise makes a huge difference. So please, if you can, donate by visiting sidemenfc.com. You can also use the QR code on the screen and you can text SDMN followed by 785 with your donation amount. All of the information is in the description and on the website. Beautiful. Now, obviously speaking about charity, that's what we're here for. It's time for us to find out how much money we've raised so far. Else, can I get the number, please? Okay, drum roll. I need a drum roll. <laughs> the amount raised so far, before we've even kicked a ball, is £983,614. Well, Damn! That's a, money. that's a lot of money in there! Even before the kickoff. Nothing, nothing's been done. Absolutely incredible. So if you can, please do keep donating. Also, shout out to Harry Pinero who's watching. I think I HP like the sauce. Right. Is it time to get into it? Yeah, I think it's time. Let's 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 see what's going on in, in the box, mate. Right. Let's go to the commentary box. Stephen Tries and Spencer MC are going to be giving us the lineup guys doing? and right? reactions. Thank you very much, Big Zoo and Els. Here we are. We're back, Stephen. It's absolutely amazing to be here. I've got to say. You know, for me as a West Ham fan, London Stadium, it doesn't get much better than this. And the game looks, it's going to be incredible. The weather's sh amazing, the sun is Almost shining. It's too warm for us gingers. Yeah, we keep talking about it, don't we? We've got the special shirts out, but Steve, how are you feeling about today? I'm excited. I mean, I'll be honest, there's no Noah Beck this year, which Shame. means less pressure on Chris MD and my trouser zipper. <laughs> He's handsome. Uh, but I'm, I'm so excited. Loads of new faces. 
people from all over the world are coming here to play, not to watch. I mean, they're just from London, I think. Uh, but it's going to be amazing. It's going to be incredible. Everything is getting bigger and better this year. Obviously, we're going to set records here in terms of a YouTube event. You know, it's been a privilege and an honour to be part of this journey, the side men's journey, the, the kind of football match journey over the last decade. And today is a real moment in history because we're talking about 60 thousand people 60, come to watch this game of football it's what are excessive. they going to see today I, it's going to be amazing i expect goals 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 at least i hope for i mean if it's nil nil we are buggered basically i don't Spence. think it's going to be nil nil i've seen the goalkeepers no disrespect but if it is we'll be very unlucky but listen we've got some teams to talk through of course oh yeah, we've seen the the squads the squads are packed with talent on and off the pitch maybe more off the pitch than yeah, on the I've pitch been in the changing rooms when it comes to talent. What a talent there but um yeah i mean listen the team selection for me is going to be huge the the role that billy and Mark have played, Billy Wigram and Mark Goldbridge as the two managers, they could have huge uh, moments in this match with regards to who this they sub it. on, with regards to what changes they make. I mean, you know Mark Goldbridge, his football philosophy is like his views off camera, offensive, but it's great to watch as in, the, as in his football philosophy. It's going to be a crack. I want at least 10 goals. It's going to be. Well, look at the history. Apart from the 2-0 defeat, the only defeat the Sidemen have suffered, they've scored seven or eight goals in every other game. So we're expecting a lot of matches. But look, let's take a look at what we've got coming up in terms of... Here we go. Talent. Starting off with KSI, of course. Goalkeeper today. He's wearing a microphone throughout the match. Oh, JME. Fun fact, he actually spent last season playing for Brentford. Oh, wait, that's not me. Harry Road to Shore is back, 26 years old. He got a 5.7 match rating last year. I'm sure that'll be higher. Cal Freezy, he's the face of the fellas, which makes you wonder what the rest of them look like. Laser Beam is here from Australia. 26 minutes last year, but he starts today. Mr. Beast, the most subbed man on YouTube. What does that tell you? He's got bad stamina. Next up, we have Bazinga playing at the home of his beloved Hammers. What a day it is for him. Tobe Jizzle, he always brings excitement to matches. This thing, this guy can do things with his feet like no other. That's just one of his Tinder reviews. Josh Zerka, the dad of the Sidemen. What a man and a big game for him coming up. Simon is a born winner. The only thing he's ever lost is my invite to his wedding. Vicstar scored a massive goal last year. Can he go one better this year? He's the sub And the subs, look at those boys. Callum's Callum. got his uh, no two ways boots today. Yeah, the seen. owner of a shoe brand with terrible views. It's not Kanye West, it's Calix. And Manny, of course, brother of to Toby. I mean, an unbelievable player, serious yeah. chemistry. I think we've also got Deji as well, another brother of KSI. There's such good link up potential between. Angry their Ginge, a ginger who lives in Manchester with a terrible fringe. Get your own gimmick, mate. That's all I'll say. Yeah. Unbelievable. It's coming into your territory, but stepping on my toes. It's gone with an old school England, no nonsense. Four, four, bloody two. It's classic. And I love it. It's yeah. I mean, a lot of these players, uh, they they just they're staunch. You know, they'll stand in their position and they will not move from it. I am not going anywhere, says Harry. That was actually when he was uh, defending a statue of Churchill, but we won't go into that. Uh, I would say this is a more balanced team. You know, we'll look at the, the YouTube team when they come out, but yeah. there's, there's great players and then there's maybe not so experienced players next to them. So there's obviously going to be a few holes in both sides, but you've got to look at the quality in that side men team. Do we need to look further than Simon Minter? He always steps up to the, the occasion. He's scored some incredible goals and regardless yeah. of who's in goal for those moments, you've still got to have the technique. I mean, he, he has got great technique. I feel like he's got a, he's got a football pitch in his backyard now. Yeah. Some of us are in a cost of living crisis, Si. Uh, but, you know, he's, he must have been practicing night after night. Expect great things, especially against XQC, who is, uh, of course, in goal for the YouTube All-Stars. Yeah, there's some very uh, big talking points in the YouTube All-Stars team. We'll get around to them later. We'll look at Absolutely. the positives and the weaknesses in that team. But right now, we're going to throw to Cecil. He's in the tunnel right now, soaking up that pre-match atmosphere. Mm, so key. As you can see, we're giving you all the behind the scenes access. Like I mentioned before, we're in the tunnel. I can't lie, I'm gassed, I'm excited. We've got a few additions as well to this year's charity match. We've got KSI Cam, something new. From his perspective, we've also got Ref Cam on Mark Clattenburg, right in his chest, you'll see that. And also, I've got a touchline correspondent in Nada. So there's a few additions to this year, but listen, let's go, let's go a little bit closer and get, look how, I'm giving you the access, I told you I would. We can even, look how close we are, we can even touch them. We can even touch. Hey Mark. <laughs> all right, listen, the game's about to kick off. We are moments away. It's buzzing out there. And listen, big up to all of you guys who have donated as well because 
We've hit amazing numbers as well so far. It's incredible. And if we got Mark, I see you've got the ref. Oh, that is quite, okay. uh, that's quite protruding. Then you'll be able to see some of my bad decisions out there. No, we don't want no oh, bad decisions. Is there VAR today? No. We don't need it. We don't need it. No, we don't need it. No, it's not going to damage this game like it damages everything else. No, so Mark, enjoy the game. Have a good game. The guys are about to head out. You can hear them. It's exciting. I'm gassed. Moments away. Let me head back to Els and Zoo. Take care. Yeah, it's slightly different to Els and Zoo, but we'll take it. I'm ginger, though. Yeah. That's fair. Um, he's looking good down there. Clamberg going in on VAR. See, it's funny. As soon as they stop being like top-level refs, they start telling you all the things that they never tell you when they're yeah. actually refs. When the FA stops greasing their wheel, so to speak, yeah, yeah then the truth comes out, Clattenberg. Yeah, he was good value last year. I'm expecting the same from him. He understands he really the was. tone this game is going to be played in. How would you describe that tone? I'd say it's, it's playful, but with undertones of seriousness. Yeah. I've got a GCC in English, guys. I'd like to show it off sometimes. It, we heard from Mark Goldbridge and Billy earlier when they were talking about, you know, how serious is this? Listen, I know for sure Goldbridge wants to win, you know. Oh, they he feel does. sometimes like the odds are against them. They're the underdogs. It's obviously a sidemen event, but they've got some players. Got some serious they, players. They really have. And Goldbridge has brought his boots. So, you know, if he's not happy with what's happening, he'll get out there. He'll be on that pitch. Give the people what they want, you know. Yeah, Mark definitely. Goldbridge, I've actually played football with him before. He, he, can, he can kick a ball. You'd be surprised. He can patrol that midfield. I've seen him <laughs> do it many a time. But listen, it's not just about having a great game of football today, guys. It's about breaking those records. You know, last year, unbelievable. Was it 2.6 million watching live at one point? That's very true. Raised over a million pounds. Already close to beating last year's uh, amount of money raised for charity for some great causes. Can we get that many people watching as well? Last time I checked, we were at 1.3 million. Million. We had even kicked the ball. That may have gone down since we started talking. Spencer. Very true. I can't lie. Very but true. Yeah, no, it's 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 on everything. Is on a bigger scale. You've got to hope people donate. I know times are tough, but this is a, a great cause. So many fantastic things to donate to. Yeah. Well, we're Ooh. going to take a look at the YouTube All Stars team. Can they do what not many teams have done before and beat the Cybermen? XQC could be the most important man in this team. He's in goal. Max Fosh. Max is a fitness freak, and by that I mean he's banned from the gym changing rooms. Gideon didn't get to play last year, but is in the defence, ready to commit for the All Stars. Will N E has a mullet. It was very popular in the 80s, but so was Jim will fix it. Nothing you know? wrong with a mullet. Danny Aaron's also sporting one as well. This is a wild card. Is the best I can say. Exactly. Kai, he streamed non-stop for a month, although so did Chris and D's eyes when he got dumped. Lots of Riz. Speaking of Riz, Philly in the middle. He's got that Colombian flair. Scored a banger this time last year. Oh, here he is. Chris MD. Much like his day to life, he'll be going from box to box today. It's speed! Am I going to have another chance to say that? It was offside last year. Will it be this year? Oh, Theo Baker. He recently completed an Ironman. The only thing... It, um, I'll, I'll, I'll just butchered that. We'll come back to it. Nico got two goals <laughs> last the Baker. year. His YouTube's Peter Crouch. Oh, look at these subs. We've got Duke. Duke Dennis, he was in the US Army. Watch out for the lethal shooter that is Vicstar123, though. Abu Fla, of course, uh, from Kuwait, over 30 million subscribers, of course. Chunks on the bench, perhaps controversially. We know what he can yeah, do. He's been getting into shape for the match by chasing Maya Jama for the past three years. Hang in there. Let's take a look at this lineup, man. Now, there are some holes in it, I would say. Question marks on the Canadian goalkeeper, XQC. Is he experienced? We don't know. We, based on footage, it could be a hard day for him. But if you look it at that midfield be. core, Philly, Chris MD, Theo Baker. There wow. is bags of talent. And I tell you what. Nico up front, he is talented. That boy can score a goal or two. Speed as well, bit of a bit of a wild card. He looks better than he did last year. There's hope for him. Yeah, he's been practicing. I've seen some interesting footage of speed. And how many football teams have you seen with not one, but two people that ran for Mayor of London, the same side? They've put their political differences to one side. They're ready to commit to the YouTube All-Stars team. It's beautiful, It's beautiful. Look at him, here's the tunnel. Look at that lovely little moment there with Ethan and his daughter, of course, Growing Pains, big podcast have started Massive. recently. Uh, we've got Mr. Beast, what's going through his mind? Has he been practicing his soccer? He's probably thinking about the YouTube algorithm, Spen, if, uh, if I know him. He never look stops. They, they look quite tense. That is going to be very tense down well, there. Uh, you know? don't, don't show them laughing when I say that, guys. Help a brother out. And here's our uh, officials for today, led by Mark Zatterberg, who is wearing a ref. The linesman okay, on the right thinks that. he's hard. Fireworks as well. Wowzers trousers. Can you hear the noise? It's absolutely popping off in this London. This is madness. We're at the home of the 
the European champions, the real European yeah, champions. Yeah, 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 a little asterisk next to that, but that's fine. Just let him have it. Look at the production value, guys. This is YouTube, born this is and bred. mad. I mean, we've got so many people in the stadium, even in this heat, the sweltering heat. Uh, I can't complain enough. I may go shirtless later on. Yeah, we probably don't need fire on top of the heat. It's a bit much, isn't it? But listen, how yeah. far have we come? Take a moment, drink it in. The side men particularly who have put this together, regardless of what happens on the pitch, take a look around you, soak it up. 60,000 people here to watch. Watch, let's face it, are not professional footballers. Not at all, not at all. But are professional at everything else they do, and that's why they're here. A lot of handshakes, it smiles at the moment. Is that a cowboy hat? It seems to be. Abo Flar bringing the flair, and I like that. Olive, Olive refusing to shake hands. Um, it's it's mind it. games, and I like it. Is she eligible for a selection? Uh, I think so. Oh, we've got Con as well. He wasn't in the graphic, I don't think, but Con, a last minute addition. That's an interesting one. They set him a challenge. He had to have an eight in front of his weight, and he could get on the pitch, and he's done it. So he's well done, done it, him. and then some. Well done to Con. Fantastic Just work. Take a look at the scenes unfolding before your eyes, guys. If you've been along on this journey with the sidemen from, from minute one, maybe you've joined a little bit later. And that's Just fine. understand what these guys have achieved. Genuinely, it is awe-inspiring. You don't get here by accident. This is a proper stadium, a proper top-notch venue, and they've filled it out. And kudos to them. Absolutely, Spen. And I'm also hearing we'll be able to speak to KSI during the game. That's going to be... A real treat. Yeah, goal camera. Have you ever seen anything like it? Ben Foster, he's coming for you. Absolutely. Although Ben's retired, so True. You know, pick on someone else, mate. Come on. Captain today for the sidemen yeah. is the West Ham We've fan, York, Ethan yeah, yeah, Payne, right, yeah. a.k.a. Bazinga. The Theo Baker. Theo Baker. Wearing the armband for the All-Stars. Fun fact, he was breastfed until he was eight. So, well done, yeah. Theo, Walking, there. Yeah. Not Absolutely. surprising. Have a good one, yeah? Shout out to our sponsors as well. We've got a crunchy roll on oh, the yeah. sleeves, of course. JJ being happy Oh, he one. loves that. He loves his anime. He crunchy does. roll brings the anime. I don't think, know who anime is, though. I, I think everyone knows how much he loves uh, Beerus. He's got that necklace, isn't he? It oh, yeah. wasn't cheap, I hear. I mean, that, that probably costs more than this event. So, uh, gluttony, really. Got his Sphinx cat waiting for him at home as well. But yeah, big thanks to, <laughs> to crunchy roll for getting behind it. Look at this huddle. And the side men FC. Oh, and the YouTube All-Stars have clocked it. Uh, Theo, Theo, afterthought here, goes, hang on, we should probably chat to each other. I mean, it's an important part of it, right? Because the side men, let's face it, they are much better connected. The YouTube All-Stars have got players from every corner of the globe. Probably creators that might not even have met each other before. And here comes They've Chris and D's car bringing the ball. That's a lovely touch. It'll be, uh, be fuming someone else is driving that. I hope they're insured. <laughs> Lovely parking. Oh, oh wow! Hey. That's a collision. That's his. He'll get blamed for that because he's coming from behind. It's got. It's got to be Will and E who did that. That's oh, audacious. That that young boy. Could be a straight red. Clamberg, don't be scared to get the cards out, my son. This is it. You know. Great driving. Simon there, composed. Listen, this is his playground. The man has got ability coming out of his neck. This is it. Oh, we can hear the mic. Now that's nice, we can hear that. It's, it's like watching, you know, High School Musical. A big basketball game's about to kick off. We're all in this together. <laughs> uh, we spoke about a lot of players having mullets, but this game sort of reflects a mullet, you know. Clean up top and a mess at the back. I'm here for it. Mullet football, guys. It's Look the future. This. We've got a drone! Jeez, the production value is just, it's beyond the Champions League, is what it is. I'm glad I'm not the only drone this year. We're about to get kicked off, guys. This is it. Fasten your seatbelts, strap yourselves in for another Sidemen charity game. Sidemen FC versus YouTube All-Stars. Sidemen with kickoff at London Stadium. Let's do it. Here we go. And, and they're on the Here we go. Straight away, then. Toby getting on the ball early doors, looking for the West Ham man. Oh, lovely Ethan play. Payne, little one-two. Oh. Been picked up, though, in the middle of the park. Theo Baker with an early step over. Oh, a little bit of air. OK, he's done all right there. Got the ball back a off great start for Theo. Into the box. Theo Baker puts it in low. Oh, right. You greedy boy, as his mother used to say to him. Go on, you've had enough. Yeah, he's milked that chance. 
Theo Baker will score today. I'm going to put my commentary reputation on the line. But did JJ have it covered? I'm not so sure. I mean, where do we rank JJ in the all-time YouTube goalkeepers? Is he better than a, a pie face? Is he better than a cow the dragon? I've heard his nickname is Petter Check his hard drive. So I don't know where he got that from. I just want to say, early, right, last year people said to me that Spencer wasn't laughing at Stephen's jokes. I'm a professional, guys. I was pulling the mic away. He just made me sweat oh! through the water. Wow. Speed has carried on where he left off last year. Never Big mind challenge. Never mind crunchy roll. That was a crunchy tackle. And it comes out to Simon. Here we go. Setting up the attack. Toby, heavy touch, though. Will and he nicks it. That Philly. Might, that could be Danny Aaron's. We've got two mullets oh, in was, very, right. very close proximity. It's difficult. There's a lot. Yeah, and I think he's got a GoPro on as well, which is why I thought it was Will. Oh, and another big challenge. Wham, bam, thank you, man. They, can't, thought, they can't keep this pace up. Not at all. I mean, not in this heat as well. 32 degrees, I believe it is. Gorgeous tackle. And I've said that before to Toby. I think Philly is going to be crucial in this game in that midfield. Obviously, got Chris MD and Theo in close proximity as well. Yeah. Here is Theo. Gets the throw. It's a throwing gone the other way. He won't be happy with that. Oh, Theo. Of course, he did fall out with a, uh, a linesman in his Scotland versus England game. Yes, he did. He's, uh, he needs to behave as he's captain. I was there for that game and Theo was playing with just his left foot coming back from the hip surgery. This is the first 90-minute match he's going to play with both hips ready to go. Ethan with a lovely burst of speed. Here's uh, Chris MD. Looking oh. for Nico. He's onside. Good chucking back. Oh, wow. Wow, that is, uh, that is audacious from Razorbeam there. A, uh, I've got a little, uh, little fact about him. He, uh, he creates a layer of protection between the blade and skin. Oh, no, sorry, that's razor cream. Embarrassing for me. Communication issues already at the back. Maybe it's the down under terminology. He's not picking up what JJ's putting down. He wanted the ball. This is the it. The laser boom cleared it. Corner coming in. Chris MD, one of the best oh, set piece clearance. takers on YouTube. Comes to Philly, who we know can bang them. On He's the been left closed side. Down. Wide run here Max from Fosh. Fosh, who is a left oh. end. Oh. Bit heavy there for Ethan. Hey, he's lost a lot of weight. He's ready. It's almost like he's, he's athletes will time their prime for uh, the Olympics. <laughs> this is Ethan's Olympics. He's, you know, you don't, as a West Ham fan, it doesn't get better than this. this playing is here it. in front of 60,000. Anyway, free kick for the All-Stars. It's going to be a shot on goal. Oh. JJ, unorthodox, but does enough. <laughs> he flaps at it. Absolutely flaps at it. I mean, it's, it's not the first time JJ's looked reckless with gloves on. It could be a few of these trying to catch the keeper off guard. It was on target. It was goal bound. JJ so, had to get there. It was a lovely idea. Second corner and of the game for the YouTube corner. All Stars. Chris MD, it's good area. Oh my word! Oh wow! He's going to ask questions all day long with that sort of delivery. I tell you what, Ethan hasn't faced this many naughty corners since the Mia Malkova incident. No comment. <laughs> Another corner here for Chris MD. It's going to be an in swinger. Oh, needed to be cleared. It's going to be kept alive here with Danny Aaron's. What's he got in his locker? Mesmerising stepovers. He's got plenty of defenders there, and he's lost it. That's a shame. Oh, the counter is on. Two and one. Can you get it to Vic? Vic free. Come Vic, on. make the run, Vic. Vic, make the run. Gideon's Gideon there. Gideon covers. But Vic's picked it up. Intercepted by. Oh wow, that Kai. This is chaos. Gideon is a unit. This is unreal. Look at it. They're bouncing off him. Vic's going to pick it up here. Just occupy, he's I mean, occupying the half spaces. Forget G unit, we've got we've got J units. Lovely, lovely defensive play there. And you've got to think, Vic didn't want it. He needs, he needs, we've seen all his microphones, he needs an earpiece, someone telling him to make the runs. Yeah. He was through on goal. He could have been fed there. Here we go, Philly. He is going to just be the puppet master in this team today, I think, really pulling the strings like a tampon thief. <laughs> Comes back here to. <laughs> That's Danny Aaron's, I think. There's a couple of GoPros. Yeah, but there's no chance they're going pro. Here we go. Chris MD, what can he, what can he cook up? Theo Baker looking for the through ball. He's so offside. It's actually not the worst shot. I don't I think mean, he knows he's off. It's a speed situation, 2.0. It's, it's a lovely finish. I'm hoping, I'm hoping JJ knew that was offside because he just left it. Yeah, Kai Sanat, obviously, there, his first appearance at a YouTube game. And that's perhaps surprising with the technique on display here. He was about 20 yards offside, though. Absolutely, he was. 
But it's been a good start from the YouTube All-Stars. Goldbridge getting animated on the sidelines. It's gone, it's gone with the kind of uh, the black suit look, you know, we've seen it from Simeone on the, the touchlines of Atletico Madrid. Look at Philly go here. Lovely feet. Ethan trying to keep up with him. It's a difficult job, gets the shot off. He's not going to challenge JJ. Lovely stuff. I mean, Philly, a Colombian export with a powerful kick. I've heard that before. Here we go, JJ. How's his goal kicked? He's going to go short. Laser beam gets it off him. There's absolutely no pressure on him whatsoever. He could, he could write a book out there. He's got acres of space. Ooh. Ooh. My word. My word. Yeah, there's, there's a couple of heavy touches already been shown here today. Very heavy, but we've got to remember it is absolutely scorching. Yeah, I think that's going to be a throw in for the side men here. Zerka to take. Of Here's course, we have uh, Angry Ginge on the bench. I'll be an Angry Ginge if I don't get a water. Come on, guys. Uh, Simon took the ball out of play on that one, I think. So it's going to be a throw in for the All Stars. Kicking the ball away. That's a yellow card oh, in today's should be. market. It should be. Oh, no, hang on. It's actually gone back for another sideman throw. So Still, give him a card. You know, not Look a congratulations that. one, which he missed oh. out on from me. Gideon putting his body on the line. Oh, uh, was that. Was that uh, I don't think it was a meaningful trick, but like I say, he's got magic. Oh, Nico oh. bursting through here. No he foul. He shows Denver. some gorgeous strength. Theo Baker. He's what can Theo in, do? He's playing in the 10, but he's getting out wide. Challenged there by Toby. There's, they know if you stop Theo, you might stop the team. Absolutely. I mean, Theo was recently linked to a team in the Saudi League. Albino, I believe. Um, look out for that in the future, guys. Philly on the ball. Danny Aaron's in acres of space. Can he deliver? He's like a right-footed Roberto Carlos, he tells me. Taking his time. Change of pace is good. Cross comes in, bit heavy. A cross come shot, come clearance. A cross come shot. Uh, sorry, I was watching something else there. Uh, can we change my screen, please? Who gave him the Wi-Fi password? OK, another JJ goal kick here. Is he going to send this one up the pitch? Because it worked last time. He went short to laser beam. He, he said he was the best athlete here. Let's see. Let's see those legs get to work. That's not bad. Toby's headed it back into danger, though. Theo could pick it up. Brilliant interception from Harry. Oh, lovely stuff. Harry, Harry going to burst away up. here. Powerful man. Harry picks their pocket, hoping for a 10 bag, I think. No luck there. That's all you can ask for from your centre half there. He's got him up the pitch. Bazinga. Oh, he's going to go through. He's through, and West Ham, Bazinga! Bazinga scores! What a moment! The shirt's coming off. Look at it! Honestly, he's achieved the lot of his life, but I'm telling you, it might not get better than that. At West Ham, London Stadium, the crowd have gone wild, all of the Sidemen team around him. Ethan Payne, take a bow. I mean, I would get that shirt back on. It's very hot and you need factor 50, Ethan. Come on. But a Question dream come true for him. Maybe. Question marks about XQC. Will XQC have XQCs? I don't know. Look at it. He Can't bursts him. through like a young Vladimir Kuh. He's tried to pick the ball up there, I think, Gideon. Gideon panicked. He's like a young Sufal there. But, you know, great footage on Will and his GoPro. Improvisation. At his finest, right foot, low, make the keeper work, son. Keep it on target, son. That's what he's done. And I'll tell you what, he can tell Olive about that when he's older, say, Daddy scored a goal at West Ham in front of 60,000 people and you were there. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go pitch side now to see the reaction to that unbelievable Bazinga goal. Listen, Why not? You know what? Yeah. Shaky start, I can't lie. Our team was ass. We sucked. <laughs> I was like, bro, no one's tracking anyone. We're just letting balls through. We're letting people body us. Yeah. But then we came through Ethan with absolute beautiful. All right, class. Just beautiful. Class. All the games beautiful stuff. Off, listen, get back in golf. Oh, hey, it's nonchalant. It's cocky. And I wouldn't have it in my game. 
I'm looking forward to seeing more speed JJ. Speed by name, speed by nature. Absolutely rapid out there on the right. Man United, take notes. They've got a bit of an opening at right wing at the moment. Absolutely. I know speed will be interested, but he is dispossessed. Good challenge there from Chris MD. Gets it back off Theo Baker. Can he shoot? Plays in Nico. Can he get another goal? Oh, fantastic block from Cal Freezy. I've said it before, I'll say it again. One of the most improved players in YouTube. I, when I first yeah. saw him play, I, I wasn't sure. He was talking years ago now. Over the last five or six years, he's right up there for me as a top quality defender when it comes to these games. I'd put him in my team every day of the week. He's travelled around the world, but he wasn't all over the place there. Calm and collected. Corner from Chris MD. Set pieces could be key oh. for them today. Max Fosch has had a go at it. Max Fosch with a 20 pence head. Can which Simon. is nothing to him. Can he play Vic Star in? Stay on side. He's taken on Will. He fancies a go. He's gone for it. XQC couldn't get to the bounce though. It was quite tricky. Of course, he is a debutante. And with that haircut, we know he's going to want to speak to the manager at some point. I'm sweating buckets, Steve, I'm not going to lie. It's, We're not even in the sun. I know, it's real toasty here, but the Sidemen with a chance to double their lead. Simon's going to take it. Who's the main targets in the box for this one? Obviously, you've got Harry up there. I fancy him for a header today, maybe. Zerka, Freezy making Cal a late Freezy, run. Freezy, yeah. Ethan up there, surely more than one goal at West Ham would be, would be greedy. Lovely delivery. It's not bad at all. Freezy Oof. gets his head to it. It's... Uh, the crowd's gone a bit quiet. I want some chance, guys. You know, it's always a tricky one in games like this because, like, who are the cr the crowd are kind of supporting football, aren't they? They want everyone to score. They want everyone to do well. I guess it's beautiful. None of the tribalism that you're used to at West Ham, despite the fact that Sidemen have a Millwall fan out there in Josh Zerka yeah. in West Ham's home patch. They should be baying for blood here. Oh, a great ball out to speed. The much improved speed. He's been working on his game. Theo Baker. Can he give it back to him here for a one-two? Still Theo. He's got. Black shirts all around him. He's got him. Harry for company. The fast feet coming out for the crowd here. Burst past one. Crosses low. Finds Chris MD. Can he deliver? Great oh, defending. fantastic. It's a real back to the wall job. The Simon, they really want another win. 3-1 up in Absolutely. the series, of course. We have speed on the wing. I'm just going to wait for the announcer to uh, finish. Be, you know? Chunks Who's is coming, he's coming in. In comes Chunks. The Philly goes off. Wow, very interesting change. I think a great idea for Goldbridge to get chunks on the pitch. Oh, no, it's not Philly. Philly's getting a drink. It's Kai. Kai's coming off. Now, that makes a lot more sense from a footballing perspective. Kai Sinat playing like Kai Havertz. And that is so sad to see. Chunks, could he get in time for the corner? Chris MD's put it in deep. Straight to Chris. Straight to Chunks. So chunks sorry. Oh. Can you imagine if he just pulled skulls that into the top corner? Off the shin, though. His but speed. A, a lovely effort. Oof. You know, he doesn't, he's not going to sort of play it back to the simple pass speed, is he? He's always going to look for the special, spectacular move. Vic Star. Hold up play. He's on point. Oh, it's immaculate. That Simon. Is, he meant that. Got Zinga again making a, a run. He's like a, a, oh. a, long, a young Lucas Pakatar in there. We've got Fantastic JME on the left. Balls. Oh, he it's sends to Danny Aarons to the shops. Right foot finds Simon here. Get me a vegan hamburger, he says. He's danced around them here, Simon. He's going to go for the Rabona cross, and it'll be a corner. Willany with an unorthodox clearance. I, I, I'm seeing the amount of ground that Ethan is covering. We used to have a joke, my brother and I, about Mark Noble at this stadium, about how when he's playing at home, he's just so much better in his away because he loves West Ham so much. I think we're seeing that from Ethan. We're seeing a true number eight up and down, box to box performance. Absolutely. He's gone for goal there. Oof. First question asked. Well done, XQC. Proving the doubters, mainly me, wrong. And look, they're actually celebrating that like a goal. Philly's very proud of him. And it's important for people like Philly to encourage the players who maybe haven't played as much as he has. And just say, hey, hey, kid, you did good. Yeah, you never know about his handling on those crosses coming in for not someone who might not have played a lot of time in goal. Great oh, ball, great that. ball. Chris MD has been let loose. He's got space. Nico's in the box. It's on his left foot. It's like he's in Tiger Tiger. Up against Cal Freezy here. He's oh, weaving was, a web of lies. Chris MD! Chris MD! Chris MD! What a goal! There was nothing Cal Freezy or KSI could do. The diminutive midfield maestro puts it level pegging a one apiece. You might know a Beck, but I know a Chris MD. And he is fantastic at football. His small feet 
A mighty. JJ shaking feats. his head there. Yes, JJ has lost his clean sheet. He always struggled to keep his sheets clean when he lived with Simon. Oh, boys. Let's, let's watch this back. Here, two defenders on him. Not a problem for him. Weaving. Oh. I think past three of them in the end. And a fantastic finish. Jay, any questions for JJ here? Because obviously he's let a goal in there. Could he have done something better? Let's find out. They're asking, could you have done anything better there? No, J on it. Huh? They're asking if he could do anything better there, Jay. Honestly, I told the guys, do not let him inside. Do not let him inside. So he has a right foot. Do not let him inside. They let him inside and he scores. Oh, I tried my best, but honestly, this defender needs to be better. Yeah, listen, my mum's watching. Can we get a screenshot update for this new Yo, top? Get a screenshot. Mum, who made it? Mum, who made it? Yes, and we're going to the commentators. Get back in goal. Let's come on. No more goals conceded, JJ. Well, oh. Like a, a true goalkeeper, straight away shifting the blame onto the defence. Absolutely. I mean, there you could hear him saying, do not let him inside, do not let him inside. Like a bouncer when they see me in the queue. That's fine, though. That's fine. Didn't want it. Chris and D will be made up with that. Yeah, he it's a great it. moment. And two great moments already. This game's spoiling us, and we're only, you know, 16 minutes in. Absolutely. Plenty more twists in the tail to come, guys. Make sure you're donating, though, of course. We want to raise money for some fantastic charities. We've got Brightside, Teenage Cancer Trust, Calm, Rays of Sunshine, and M7E. We do appreciate every penny you can donate. Great causes. Speed is... Uh, oh, oh, straight past him like he wasn't there. He's still going here. He's got pace to burn. Just one too many. And the angry Ginge clears. Just to be clear, that is his name. I'm not describing him like that. Please donate, uh, by the way, by visiting sidemenfc.com or you can text SDMN followed by your donation amount to 70085. That's 70085. Or for donations over £20, head to sidemenfc.com. We love it, we appreciate it. Let's do something special. True that. What I will say is, Toby's having to do a lot of defensive work here. He's a, he's a fantastic player going forward. Oh, but here comes his brother, I believe. Here we go. Manny, he's looking like he's going to replace JME. JME's playing left back, so I'm not sure if that's a like-for-like -like swap or we'll see a bit of shuffling here from, from manager Billy Wingrove. Manny in the midfield. Here he comes. We know what this man can do. Always a man for the big occasion. Absolutely. Please welcome 27, Manny. Is he going left back? That's the question. He's, he's great for the team. One thing I've noticed about Manny is he's always got back. Big, juicy back. Philly on the ball. Gets it over to Fosh here. He's a left-footed player. Could hit one. Does hit one. Wowzers, oh, trousers. Wild from Max Fosh. Of I course. think that there's something in that today, though. If you get the ball in those areas with these goalkeepers, no disrespect, we saw some great Have long go. rangers last year, didn't we? And for the YouTube it, All Stars replacing Max was in acres of space. It was a bit like being on his family's grounds, I guess. Abu but uh, don't be afraid to let loose. And here comes Abu Flar wearing a hat. Yeah, is that staying on that hat? Is it? I've That's not, not been this worried about a sub since the Ocean Gate incident. But uh, let's see how he does. <laughs> He's uh, from Kuwait, of course, 25 years old, over 30 million subscribers, playing in his first Sidemen charity wow. matchup, and he's got a hat on. Big numbers. Oh, Simon with the flair. Chris MD trying to get it off him, falls to Ethan. Philly, Fantastic though. Fantastic from Philly. What he, an engine. He's industrious, isn't he, in that midfield? There's a ball on for speed. He might be onside. I he think is he is. Onside. I think he is. Nico needs to make that run if he wants to get played through there, I think. But Harry says no. So the first involvement there for Abu Fla. But it's uh, Tobe, Tobe Jizzle running through here. Toby from the left. Good getting back from Abu Fla there. He's going to pick it up again here. After Chris a mistake at the back. Falls over. We saw Toby put in that unbelievable outside of the boot cross from that exact region to his brother this time yeah. last year, who's on the ball now. Manny, you don't want him running at you. Looks for the ball to his brother, but... Will any, with all the time in the world. He's going to play it out from the back here to Theo, who can turn and burn. Gives it to Philly. It's, a lot, it's four defenders back for Sidemen, four attackers. He's got a good Chance. line. And I don't just mean Harry. Angry Ginge steps in. Chris MD intercepts. He's the one breaking things up for a change. That's nice. It's been such a good game already, guys. And to all you guys tuning in, millions of you watching at home. We love it. If you can donate, even better. But enjoy the occasion, guys. This is truly a, a fantastic moment in YouTube history. So bloody true. And we have Tariq on the field. 
Yeah, we expect a lot of changes here. We're actually uh, going to fly over to Nada now, see what's happening on the pitch side. Hopefully not Nada. <laughs> Zerka, it is 1-1 one, one right now. How are you feeling? Sweaty, very, very sweaty. <laughs> I can see that, I can see that. JJ playing the defence there for the goal let in. What do you think about that? Do you think it's the defence fault or do you think JJ just needs to get his techers up a bit? He's shouting everyone right now. He's just moaning and screaming the whole time. But he's slowly under understanding. It's very hot out there. It's five degrees hotter on the pitch than it is outside. Uh, it's like 37 degrees on the pitch. So everyone's sweating, You've got tired legs, tired mouths. Love it. Back to commentators now. Yeah. Communication is key from the goalkeepers, of course. Yeah. Speed has fallen over, but he's going to make it work, I think. Good defending, actually, in the end. Is that Kallux? It is indeed. He's, oh, he's still going. Ways. Boots on. Bit of a foul, maybe. Bit of advantage played. Nico goes one way, goes the other. Oh, just a bit too much there. It Great feet from Nico, though. Rotashaw saved the day there at the very last possible moment as Cal Friese looks for a line ball down to Toby. I think maybe playing a uh, left wing now with Kallux at left back. There's going to be a lot of changing, a lot of shuffling. It's roll on, roll off. It's very hot, as we mentioned. So Absolutely. It will be fluid out there. These subs will make a real difference. Great challenge there from Harry. But it's a fantastic feat on display from Nico Omelada, the real mayor of London. Max Fosh. More like minimum Fosh with that effort. Oh, Vic! Keeper off his line well, to be fair. Maybe a question mark as to whether he was onside, but doesn't matter, nothing came of it. Here we go. Oh, there's some tired legs there. Some Simon. tired old legs. On the ball, Simon of the side, men. Can he get into a shooting position? Good challenge, stops him doing just that. Back heel attempt is flashy. Oh, he gets it back with a fantastic slide, he can do both. Oh, but he's set up speed here on the counter. He's lingering speed, isn't he? He's not worried about tracking back. He's hanging Harry. forward, knowing that his pace could cause problems. Harry gets in there straight away. He's, he's putting a great performance. We've got to check Footmob, obviously. We've got all the stats on today, providing the stats and the ratings and all that good stuff. And for me, Harry should be right up there. He's been doing well. You know, I thought Harry was more of a linesman, but at centre-back, he's impressed. Ball coming in Theo. here. Theo Baker! Oh. Off target on that occasion. It sort of semi-skimmed his head there. <laughs> I, uh, I recommend downloading the Footmob app if you haven't already, guys, because they've got some great stats on there. I can tell you it's 52% possession currently in favour of the YouTube All-Stars. The XG is provided 0.75 for the All-Stars, 0.39 for the Sidemen. So on XG, the All-Stars are on top eight shots to Sidemen's three, both teams with one big chance. And we've got a little bit of a water break right now to keep people hydrated, so we're going to head back to Nada for a minute. Yep, the water break is absolutely, absolutely necessary right now. The heat is unimaginable. Kai, can you tell people about the heat right now? Well, before I get to the heat, I would actually like okay. to say that you look absolutely peng today. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. Absolutely peng today. I appreciate that. I tried. Uh, it is so hot all here right now. I'm not going to lie, I am trying my heart off. I, I just got an offside kick. You did, you did. You probably got the first goal. I thought that was a goal. You did know the offside rule? It was too good to be true, but it was. It was great. It was great while it lasted. But how are you feeling? What more play do you want to see right now happening on the pitch from the YouTube All Stars? More communication, more energy from my teammates, and uh, just go out there and play it our hardest, for real. I love that. Perfect. Thank you, Kyle. Uh, yeah. So much, so much riz on display there from uh, from Kai. Absolutely. Uh, I always thought, you know. Toby was the Rizmeister. Toby Rizzle. Right. Let's see what's happened with Cecil. You got anything for us, Cecil? Ethan, you got your deck and rice moment. You can't write this stuff, Bro, man. Bro, top off knee slide. I had to do it, man. I, had to, I nearly <laughs> cried in the corner, man. It's one of them moments where you, you can't write it. Unbelievable. What How did it feel in front of all the 60,000 people? I, I, it felt like time slowed down. Leading up to the goal, man, and then I just thought, I've got to get this in the back of the net, man. Do you see, like, you guys are going to win this game? Are you feeling confident? Because it's still 1-1 so. at the moment. I think the weather's taking a big, it's a big hot, effect it's now. But, yeah, no, I think we've got the minimals to get for us. Yeah, Listen, enjoy after the water break. I'll see you back out there. It is absolutely amazing here. It is so hot. But 60,000 people, water break, literally about to finish here. Let me head back to the commentators. So much going on, so many different storylines in play. You're the Ethan thing, you've got so many different pairs of brothers on the pitch, huge creators, you've got the managers, you've got the heat adding a little bit of extra spice to it. But I do believe we have one of our goal scorers with Nardo. We can hear. I bet it's Chris MD. Must be Chris, mustn't it? It's correct, I'm here with Chris, who scored the first goal for the YouTube All Stars. How are you feeling, Chris? So hot, hotter than I've ever been before. I, think. I feel like that's what everyone.
everyone's just saying it is a right sauna down here. How do you feel like they know it's going right now? Yeah, it's going well. Um, I think started off nicely with two goals. Yeah, we want the entertainment, so I hope it continues. Do you feel like the aggression and the competitiveness is starting to just get a little bit higher? Yeah, I mean, everyone, the first 10 minutes is always yep. mental, and especially for a bunch of YouTubers, I think you'll see the game slowly fade off a little bit to more, more now, but the drinks breaks help, because otherwise I think we might have some fatalities on the field. Absolutely. All right, let's go back to the commentators now. So I'm looking, I'm looking at FootMob here because they've got some great stats on here. I can tell you the highest rated person on the pitch right now as we stand a quarter of the way through the game is that man, Chris MD, rocking at 8.2 wow. right now. Currently the lowest rated, Zerka on the 5.7. Oh. Well, you know, Chris MD there just speaking to a woman saying how hot he is. Have a day off, lad, you know? Rain it in. All right. The grind never stops. Yes. Yeah, bring <laughs> I hope he's not grinding. Yep, yep, I see him, I see him. I see uh, yeah, Zerka seems to be it, running his it. mouth more I'm than his legs, but as he Why says, it is 37 degrees. JJ's got a lot to say from his goalkeeping position. It is very Please important there. He's in the microphone on his chest. Got a couple changes happening for you as well. That's going to keep happening throughout the game. A couple of people getting a breather here as well. They need it. Much needed. Carl's on, of course, of the Mr. Beast family. As we're underway again with Cal Friesiu on the right side. Plays it to Simon. Checks his shoulders. They're Pass still to, there. Pass to Ethan was a little bit short, but he made it work. We've got a chance here. Vic, Vic doesn't get it. Instead, Tariq. it's going to fall to... Great defence from Abbo. Simon on the left foot! Oh, that's wayward. Keeper had it covered. Over the top. Yeah, oh, but it, is, it is a scorcher out there. I think, uh, you know, I'm not helping the stereotype of British people talking about the weather. I know, it's, it's constant, but it's, it's, it's definitely important because a lot of these players will not be adjusted to that situation. That's why we're going to see so many changes, guys. Yeah. I mean, there's a big chance of heat stroke, and that's not the thing your dad does in saunas, guys. Don't be fooled. <laughs> OK, we're back underway here. It's going to be a goal kick not taken by the goalkeeper. Instead, Will N.E. Will N.E. Will N.E. is wearing a camera on his chest, but as we all know, it can take time to get used to playing with a strap on. As we all know. <laughs> Nico dropping deep to try and get the ball back like a young Harry Kane for his team here. Gets it. Plays it to Theo. Theo not actually having a great rating right now, 5.9, but I'm sure that will change. Absolutely. Chunks with the skills to pay the bills. Lovely feet. Plays it to his good friend, Philly. Philly, Philly looking. looking for that out ball with speed, but he was offside. Pass here to the left back, I think it's Carl on the ball, into Chunks' feet. Lovely layoff to Chris, whether he meant it or not. Theo's going to pick it up here, what can he do? Great triangles here. He's looking to burst past Cal Friese with pace. Ball into Ooh. the box. It's the corner. Theo is no stranger to burning cows after doing triathlons. But he didn't quite burn one there. Angry Ginge, he does look angry. He's a late call up, wasn't he? Absolutely great moment seeing that clip as he gets the, he's live streaming. And Simon rang him up and said, you fancy it? You couldn't it's believe beautiful. it. It's what it's all about. Interesting fact about Angle James, actually a very good goalkeeper. Is I he? played against him. Um, obviously outfield for the side men uh, right now. Can someone watch his, uh, his hands didn't want to do much Duke when we were sat next to each other we're on the coach. That's right fine, though. That's fine. Chris, going to go all the way to the back post. No one in that spot. The speed will going get there. Going up to speed. Can he play on the edge to Chunks? Great clearance, lad. Chunks should get there first. Simon, though, beats him to it. Is there a ball on for Vic? Oh, Vic. He leaves it. He... Just and here we are. Carl Jacobs. The hottest thing from Carolina since the Reaper Chili. Philly on the ball. Oh, it's a bad header. Backward speed with this, offside. It won't matter. On side. He's come off speed the for Speed! Harry saves the day. He has to cause him the problem, he solved the problem, but Theo can strike oh. one, and that's not the usual standard we expect Theo, from the Baker. Theo seems to be down injured here. Ah. Of course, he did have hip surgery, and he seems to be in a bad way there. That's terrible to see. It is genuinely a real shame if he's injured, because you know it's the only thing that can really stop Theo. We don't need a His replay injuries. of him wilting. He is in some discomfort, I think we're going to get... The treatment on, we've got to make sure he's taken care of. He's had a, a, a crazy journey, you know, he's, he's super fitness mad these days. Theo is doing all the training, but uh, I think he's in some serious discomfort here. It's his first proper match after having his hip operation, and um, oh. let's just hope it's not a, a serious one. This is a real shame, because I had some more jokes written. That was a waste of time. But in all seriousness, if Theo is hurt, uh, not only is it going to be 
devastating for him and, and, and you know, it's going to be a real blow for the YouTube All-Stars. Absolutely. He's a massive player. He's a, he's a big part of the team. Of course, the captain. Just got to hope it's nothing too serious. We're going to head over to uh, the manager to find out. Obviously, Mark Goldbridge is going to be concerned about this one. Goldbridge, we're here with Demarcus as well. How are you guys feeling right now? I'm very concerned at the moment because uh, probably our best player has gone down and we know he's had injury problems in the past mm -hmm. and it's not looking good. So that's where my concerns are at the moment. It's a big block. And with you, Demarcus? Yeah, just uh, prayers to our teammate. Hopefully he can get back up and we can win this game. Do you feel like if he does have to be subbed out, that's going to create a big loss to the team's movement and to the team's play right now? Yeah, I mean, look, everyone knows their football. He's one of the key players in the team. So, uh, you know, we'll get on with it, step up. It's for charity at the end of the day, but it's a big loss. It's a big loss. It's it? feeling competitive right now, especially with the heat going on. It's sparking that little bit of spice. So what else do you want to see from the play right now? Obviously, apart, we hope he gets better. We hope that injury just quickly heals up. But what else would you like to see right now from the All-Stars? I think we'd be the better team. Um, they're just catching us on the bait break. You know, we know we're weak at the back. We played the better football. Uh, we're playing, you know, through them a lot, but they're just hitting us on the break, which is all they're doing at the moment. So I'm very happy with what we're doing. Yeah. I'm just concerned about what we've got in depth. Confident words. What about you, Demarcus? Uh, I mean, our team motto is ski. So uh, we're going to just ski. When did that become the motto, please? Uh, coach said it. Oh, coach is ski. Yeah, yeah. Emphasis on the ski. Yeah, ski. Yeah. And the E. Yeah. All right, what else are we doing? Hey, we're going to win this game. Ski! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. Go back to the commentators. Yeah, Colbridge, Colbridge learning uh, some new vocab there, which I'm sure we'll see integrated into his content. Absolutely, I, I don't doubt that. Mark Goldbridge, of course, has a show on Talk Sport. So it must have been weird during his team talk to have over 10 listeners. Um, with Goldbridge, we talked about him having his boots with him. Now, obviously, I want Theo to be OK, but if, it's, if he has to stop, could we see a Goldbridge cameo? You never know. I mean, uh, I want to see it. I've seen him play. He can do bits. I think an injured Theo would still be better, but... Yeah, I mean, this injury's not looking good, let's be honest. He's seriously in discomfort. There's a stretcher out there. They're not going to want to move him in case it's going to cause further issues for Theo. You know, Chris MD, obviously a very good friend of his there. Is, is with him. This is uh, bigger than the match itself here because Theo's been on a real journey of recovery. Yeah. He's working so hard. He's doing, like you say, Iron Man's, you know, his training, he's making a lot of content about it. And he's really aimed for this game as the comeback game. And uh, hopefully he still gets to play, but it's not looking good. Let's see what JJ's saying to the ref right now. Yeah, that'll be interesting. Chatting with Mark. Yeah, we're good, we're good, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have got a really unorthodox style. I like to. Talking about the fight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pattenberg, a big fight fan, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no. Let's talk about the fight. I mean, the reason that JJ's in goal is to protect himself. Obviously, can't afford to get injured. October fourteenth, massive fight against Tommy Fury. Yeah. But is it not a risk getting in goal as well? You know, his hands are vulnerable. He could. I. You know, I think it makes sense. It's great preparation for him catching Tommy Fury's hands next month. You know. He'll be. He's safe out there. I mean, when you've got Speed on the field who is looking to do damage to, uh, to JJ, then, of course, you have to... I mean, there's millions on the line. Uh, so, you know, you have to play it safe. There's millions watching as well at home and hopefully donating as well if you can, guys. We are having a little bit of a respite to the game because Theo needs to get the adequate protection. He is being now taken off the pitch on that stretcher. Hopefully, everyone at home sends their best wishes to our friend and yours, Theo Baker. We're hearing a, a round of applause here at the London Stadium as well because let's hope it's not as serious as it looks. He's a lovely guy, is Theo. Um, that's such a shame for him. 2.2 million of you watching, guys. If you can donate, sidemenfc.com is the place to go, or you can text SDMN followed by your donation amount to 785-7085. For donations over £20, do head to SidemenFC. I'm not sure why com. we're still on Theo with his head in his hands. Come on, guys. Yeah, let's, let's quite change that footage now. Thank you. And then we've got, uh, of course, Brightside, Teenage Cancer Trust, Calm, Rays of Sunshine and M7E all receiving your donations. So we do appreciate if you can help those charities out. Right, as we wait to find out what's happened with Theo and when we're going to get underway, we're going to go pitch side once again with Nada. 
Thanks, Evan and Spencer. I'm here with Laserbeam. How are you feeling right now? Uh, a little bit uh, solemn after Theo's injury. Um, so just feeling for him mostly. As far as my own performance, uh, shocking. <laughs> so that's something. Shocking. To, I mean, I got I got tipped over by Nico. So we did see that. Yeah. 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 What, I mean, I'm glad you. Saw Only 2.2 million viewers, and you know. I mean, it's not the worst thing I've done in front of that many people, so I'll live with it. It's fine. So what are you expecting for the rest of the game? Were we expecting more goals in the time that we've had right now? Uh, a little bit lower scoring than I thought, yeah. uh, given the goalkeepers we have. Uh, I'm expecting that to probably change. As soon as I get back on, hat-trick's coming, so that's, uh, that'll be good. Of course, because that's the only thing we're expecting. Yeah, I'm lolling, uh, lolling them into a false sense of security right now. 100%. Uh, Let's go back to Stephen and Spencer. Well, laser beam there, being a bit harsh on himself. He's rocking a 6.1 on FootMob right now. There's plenty of players with lower ratings there, but he's guaranteed us a hat trick. So That's, forward to that. you know, that, and if he doesn't, he has to donate, I think. If he doesn't do that. Seems fair. A million pounds. Lots of changes happening here. Great tash. Here on comes display. Air Rack. Did you know that uh, he has the world record for the world's largest pizza? I'll <laughs> take some topping. I'm not sure if I made that joke earlier. I may have some stroke, guys. I thought you were going to say something else. You said the world's largest pea. <laughs> I'm glad it was pizza. Jack right. set aside, doing some great de defense. Air rack, of course. He stalked Logan Paul in his bid to get famous. He uh, bought the, his old couch, $90,000 he spent on it, and created an entire series around it, including skydiving using it fair play to him this will be a walk in the park if he's done that absolutely and well, back underway mini minter with a lovely ball in not quite on the same wavelength there he's going to go out for a all-stars throw in so i'm pretty confident we're not going to see theo baker again in this game guys uh, which is a real shame but we hope he makes a speedy recovery absolutely chris md on the ball best rating on the pitch so speed far speed is in acres of space can you get it to him there Great it is. pass. Speed, run at them, my son. Get those legs moving. Plays it to chunks. Speed Not a bad shout. as quick as a flash, although I shouldn't say flash, actually. Banned on Twitch now, but he's very much alive on YouTube. So true. Chris MD, what can he do? Here is Chris. He's got company, which is a rare treat for him. He needs that. Here's Philly, who we can... Ooh. We know can strike them from here. Great feet again. Jacobs was in eggs of space on the left. Oh, Chunks looking for a little nutmeg there, I think. Oh, that's... <laughs> Philly rolls his man. After Chunks rolls Manny. Clattenburg letting the boys play, which I love. Here we go, then. Chance to deliver. Carl Jacobs. Jacobs. Hold up. Oh, the oh he sent him. Oh, he's still going. Sweet, sweet Carl. He's got something in there. Big challenge for oh, Danny Aarons. Oh, oh, he's got past his man. He's alive in this more attacking position now. Get him out of the defence! Airak looks like he still has the couch with him. And, uh, and a clearance. JJ's fuming, I can hear him from here! He is, you know what, he's got high standards. Almost as high as his hairline. Look at these feet. Carl Jacobs, by the way. Chunks. Airak snips in there. OK, here we go, Simon. Big Simon wants it! Oh, he's offside, oh, he's, he's just offside, off. I think. Didn't get it anyway. Lovely defence. I keep saying defence because there's Americans play. Ooh, oh, Simon. Wasteful there. Picks up the ball on the right. Can he deliver? He's got a couple guys at the back post, including Big Star. He's not going to make it. Possible shouts for handball on the cross, but... Deji in the box on. now, wearing that 999 shirt. Whoa. A wild challenge from speed. No foul. Chunks is on. Look at the pace. Look at the pace. Oh, that's a foul. Oh, it's a foul against speed. It was good yeah. use of the body there from the angry ginge and we're seeing some of that anger now. Do, do not try it with a redhead. That's what everyone says. They've got very strong immune systems, gingers. Do they? Well, yeah, you do technically. If you're, you're classing yourself as one, you yeah, are. Yeah, I'll you? take it, I'll take it. I Chunks. Get, get called it enough. Oh, oh lovely, get out left. Lovely feet. Jacobs wants it. Chunks to Philly. Those two are gonna have to, Chunks I think is taking the Theo Baker position. It's probably the best shout. Speed's yeah. offside. He's... Don't tell him, though. Let him carry on. Let's have another moment like last year. He spends so much time offside. You'd think he'd learn the uh, rules. Yeah, I'll have it. He's been practising, but has he been practising the offside rule? Look at him here, just loitering in such an offside position. Uh, it's, it's ridiculous. Speed okay. kills the attack. That's what they always say. Nice. JJ. Sends it forward, but Philly cuts it out. Here we go. Carl Jacobs. 
Nice control pass. Danny Aaron's playing in like a CDM position right now. Danny Aaron's a curious character. Chris MD through to Jacobs. Speed to the back post. He might he's, be on side this time. He's still offside. And he continues to walk forward. Sidemen back on the ball here. Ethan. Picking it up. Down the right, plays it to Simon, his fellow side man. Lovely, Lovely one too. Oh, it just escapes Ethan's feet. Chris, with a Chris cheeky doing turn. a bit too much. He gets away with it. Philly. Speed is, is just loitering in He's probably still offside, offside position, yeah. Stay onside. He's got the pace clearly to not need to be offside. Yeah. Danny Aaron's is thinking about striking one here. He's hit it, and less said about that, the better. Danny, Danny, Danny. He's towed that just like the AA did with his caravan. Unlucky player. Rotashaw is now green on foot mob, which means he's on a seven. He is having a good game for me. I feel like you may have put money on him to get man of the match. I, I was surprised by his rating last year. I've always liked him as a centre back. He's and, good. Uh, yeah, he's regularly putting in good performances. Right, a lot of changes happening here for the side men. Alex is coming on. Mr. Beast coming on. Here he comes, Mr. Beast. Of course, he is. He's lost a lot of weight since last year. The kids were calling him Mr. O Beast, but uh, the kids aren't chatting anymore. Yeah, I believe I'm right in saying that he was uh, a D1 or could have been a D1 Division One baseball player. So he's not the right sport, but he's got that athletic background. Wow. Getting to second base, something that Chris and D does most evenings. Rawr. Oh, just so you know, by the way, as well, Deji is wearing snorkels, or not, what are they called? They're not goggles, are they? Because they're like no. proper snorkeling goggles. I mean, Mr. Beast cured 100 people's blindness. Deji wasn't one of them. They're definitely not prescription, are they? Let's face it. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way that aids him in any way. I'll tell you what, Chunks playing in, uh, in midfield is, I think it's a better position for him, just... Ginge maybe overcomplicated it there, unless Ethan can keep it on, no. He See, can't I keep think it Ginge was an inspired addition because he's a player. He can play in many positions. But, Absolutely. Um, just do, it, do the simple things. He seems to be marshed in the defence right now. It just, he brings the sauce, and by sauce, I mean factor 50 lotion. Almost getting it to speed there, Chris MD. He's going to drop for Philly. Don't let him shoot. A chance. Oof. I mean, if it's on target, JJ's in trouble. So true. He is a fine Philly, but uh, Harry is going to be all over the Colombian. Not just tonight. You know, we've actually not seen a lot of shots on target. You know, it's been 10 shots so far from the All-Stars, four from the sidemen, but only one big chance each, and they've both gone in. Well, uh, YouTube All-Stars have taken off Nico Milana, who's just resting up. Chunk's going up front then. I don't, I'm here for it. I don't mind it. Simon, the flick on. Here we go. Ethan. I've... Tariq. Still on the ball, looking oh. for Vic. Vic well just out. not quite on their wavelength yet. It's a bit messy in the middle here, but strong not challenges. Not Lionel Messi, though. More just uh, sick on a rug, Messi. Chunks I looking get... for a through ball to Philly. Good from Ginge. He's going to be massive this game, I think. Oh, some lovely feet from Ginge. He's, he's coming alive in this game. Here we go, Simon to Tariq. Come on, Vic. Oh, Vic was ready to let the... Oh. Chris tidying up, although he doesn't have any guests coming over. He's, he's off. miles offside. It's I mean, a shame because he's so quick, he doesn't need to be. I'm starting to feel for the linesman's arm. You know, he's been up and down like my trousers. I mean, like... Um... Anyway, Spen, how, how's your day been? <laughs> I think, listen, Goldbridge, half-time, if you just spend your whole team talk teaching speed the offside wall, it might be enough. And he, uh, he hasn't extended... Uh, half time because H is performing. Wow. The uh, the biggest thing from Manny, well, except for Manny's buttocks, but uh, we'll, we'll get past, past that eventually. Again, how far have we come? H performing at half time in a YouTube charity know. game. Mad. It used to be uh, rappers like KSI doing it. I, I think it's on side, you know. Simon could score He's a great finish. time. He's currently one all. But no, 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 no. Strikes again, you can set your watch by him. Ever reliable, and they are in the lead, 2-1. It's a sigh of relief for Simon. He's on for his annual hat-trick. 
questions will be after the goalkeeper. He's had two one-on-ones. They've both gone in, but both decent finishes. to the Right left. in the corner. Yeah, to the keeper's right, you know, making him work. Two on target, two goals for the sidemen as we approach half-time. There will be a fair bit of injury a time. A perfectly timed run. Willany chasing shadows. But again, uh, you know, you, you can't blame him for that. That was gorgeous play from the sidemen. And with that, Miniminta moves on to an 8.1 now, second only to Chris MD on the ratings on Footmob. Get the app if you haven't already. It's great companion for this game. Loads of great stats on there, guys. OK, here we go, Miniminta. Simon again. Yeah. Oof. Gets that out to Tariq. Of three minutes at oh, a time. That, three minutes. Only that three minutes. Tariq. Despite that Theo Baker injury. Oh, that was almost Ooh, a ball. Quite. He meant it for speed, I think, but he got held up in the middle there. Harry just trying to work his way out of a problem. Here he goes. And he doesn't reach for the bottle this time. Well done, Has. Look at him go. Almost. Ooh. Well read by Will. And I didn't know he could read. I have the needle stuff there from Harry, but Philly's I mean, been allowed to Guys, run here. can you open your eyes and look at Carl Jacobs on the left wing? I won't say it again. Good defending there from Will Enney. He's left only. It's a free on free situation for the sidemen if they can get it forward, but it's still YouTube Philly. All Stars. Philly on his left foot tries to get it on still his right. Still going. Honestly, just hit it on your left. Test the keeper. We've Out not to seen chunks. This. There it is. Deflection. Balancing. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm talking about. Get the shots off against these keepers. You can't really blame JJ for that one, though. Wicked deflection. If you give Chunks time around the edge of the box, the he's going to punish you. JJ is fuming. But Chunks is a player. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Probably still one of the most underrated ballers in the scene. Let's take a look at this. Great work from Philly in the build-up. It comes to Chunks, gets it onto that wonderful right foot oh. and massively helped by the deflection off, off Harry's the back, back of Rotorshaw, which might affect his rating a little bit, you know. I mean, they say speed equals distance over time, but Chunks scores from distance every time. Nothing JJ could do, unless it was some lightning fast reactions, which he has been working on in the boxing training, of course, but that was even too much of a task for JJ yeah. to stop. His name is Knowledge Strength Integrity, not Knowledge Speed Integrity. What a game. 2-2, two, two, all even as it's, we approach half-time. He's setting up for a wonderful second half. Harry's going to have a go. No way. You, may, you might as well, though. I want to see what XQC can do when it comes to actual shots on target. Chunks ha playing a 7.7 .7 now. Doing very well. He's done, he's done well in that new position. You've got to say, it, thankfully, the game hasn't been uh, hampered too much by the absence of the wonderful Theo Baker. Yeah, it, it's looking quite even. And you have is. to say, if the All-Stars come through, the Chunks role could be massive. Absolutely. Playing it out from the back here. Philly, great Speed switch. Speed onside. The, oh, it's... <laughs> there it is. <laughs> the he half get the ball. time whistle. The game so has delivered so far. Perhaps surprising there's not been more Simon goals. Maybe a little bit more shots on target. That man now got his goal. But yeah, Bazinga had his moment. You know, we've seen some great moments. We've seen Simon hit the back of the net. Chris and Chunks as well. The only downside, of course, is the Theo Baker injury. Theo, we wish you well if you're watching. We love you and we hope you're better soon. Let's go down to our presenters for halftime entertainment. Yes, thank you, Stephen and Spencer, taking care of us for the match. Um, big half. It's a big half. A lot of goals, goals at the end. Four goals. Yeah, man. Well, let's talk about JJ and goal first. JJ and goal. He started off better than I thought he would. Y you know what? I'm not going to lie. He started well, but he ended badly. Yeah. Uh, Chunks getting the goal just then. I said, I said, Philly will assist Chunks. I he said it. I, what, should I predict more stuff? I'm going to make £20,000 in one second. No, cool. Right, um, another offside goal there from Yeah, from Kai. Kai. The Americans aren't understanding the rules, guys. <laughs> but you know what? It was a good finish. It was a really, really great finish. And obviously Simon getting a goal where it matters yet again yeah, exactly. in a Sideman charity match. Crazy. He's, his skills as well. A lot of tech. A lot of tech going on there, tech. but it is really hot here today, so... I'm baking on the side and I'm not doing anything, so I don't know. I know, but it. the atmosphere has been great. Anytime speed touches that ball, the entire I go crazy, stadium bruv. goes crazy. I just feel like he just knows how to run forward. Yeah. That's all he knows what to do. He just runs forward. He just like runs forward and does it. I feel really happy for you. We haven't spoken about one major moment, I feel, and that is mm. Ethan scoring the first yep. goal 
and he supports West Ham, so this is his stadium. I feel like he was going to cry. I feel like he cares more about that than the birth of his child. <laughs> I mean, could be up there. It it's could be up moment. there. I mean, if I scored at Anfield, I'd probably care more about that than my child. Yeah. Well, we're at two all at the moment in the Ooh. first half. Zoo, what are you predicting what you, from what you've seen in the first half? Do you know 45? what? I think, I think the side men have absolutely smashed it. Um, we'll see what's going to happen, but I feel like it's the side men going forward. I, I can't see the All-Stars doing it. OK, well, some incredible 45 minutes there. Before we head over to Seema, who is with our pundits, let's take a look at what bright side means to the side men. We set up a charity match to raise money for causes we believe in, but we want to do more, so we launched Brightside. Brightside supports charities close to our hearts using the money we raise to amplify their established initiatives. We've been lucky to work with some amazing charities during our time as a Sidemen, and through these experiences, we've built relationships with groups we want to keep helping. Brightside is not only a youth charity, it's for anyone facing health challenges, anybody battling economic hardships, anywhere in the world. Donate now to support Brightside and the incredible charities involved in today's event. Thank you. Well, that was another great reminder that this is all for a very, very good cause. But guys, what a first half it has been. I mean, four goals in total. We'll get straight, straight to it in a minute. But should we just have a quick look at the stats from the first half? And interestingly, it's the YouTubers that have had more shots in this game. I mean, on the balance of things, how, um, how do you think both teams have done? Yeah, listen, I think going in square is all square, sorry, is about right. I think the YouTubers are... They're, they're the one with the possessions. Yeah, they, they, they've got the possessions. But listen, the side men on the, on the break, they look very, very potent and effective. But 2-2 two is about right, about fair. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised it's that close in position, yeah. to be fair, because the YouTubers look like they control the game and the tempo. But like they have said then, when, when the um, side men have got it, they've been so efficient to try and get it forward, especially to side men. OK, well, the, 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 shot, the, the stats tell us that's the story of the first half. But should we have a look through the goals now? Because I think that we've got a lot to talk about here. The first goal scored by Ethan Pay. He had a memorable time last year, by the way, because he had a baby the next day. And this time he scored the first goal of the game. Yeah, yeah. Like, to be fair, it was a beautiful moment. He ripped <laughs> off his top just to show that, yeah, you know what? He's been what, working out. He's been working yeah. out. You know what it was. I know, I know what you're doing, man. I know what you're doing. Um, but listen, it was a good goal and a great moment. And that, listen, as much as it's for a great cause, it is for great moments like that. So Ethan done it, took his goal well. Um, yeah, it took his goal. Questionable well, defended. Yeah, like, you know, the, look, 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 <laughs> look we, 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 we touched on it. Like, yeah. I, I, I don't know. He, he, I, I think he what tried he to handball it. I don't know I, what he's up to. Yeah. I, to be fair, it's not after we do that, but you got to give credit to the rest. Yeah. Yeah. He played yeah. out. Yeah. He played yeah. out. Yeah. He seen what was coming. Credit, to the, yeah. credit to the ref and credit to the player, because <laughs> I'd be distracted. I'd be thinking, what are you doing? Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. Play to the whistle. Look at that. Look, look, Even the hammers. He did that amazing. Hammers celebration. Yeah. Oh, he like, loved it. Salute, Ethan. Salute. It. He, he is a massive Hammers fan, isn't yeah. he? So yeah, that yeah, would have yeah. meant even more to him. OK, goal number two. Chris MD, a lovely bit of skill, skill here, I thought. Oh, individual brilliance, yeah. He obviously drives forward, and then when he gets himself in the box, and you, you think he's isolated, he, he gets between the two, and then he shows the composure to finish. And we heard uh, JJ there screaming, don't show him inside, but it's not always that easy. But a great ball by Philly, who I thought has been an exception as well. Yeah. And then when he gets into this, this bit in the box, you, you're thinking, what are you going to do? Because you're not left-footed, but he, he knows what he wants to do. And that's I'm going to fight a little bit. It's a little bit of a Sterling move here, you know. I'm about, that's a little, it's a little yeah. watch. He gets low, watch, watch. watch. I pray, I pray. In he yeah. goes, and then he get, get composure, yeah. and then the finish. Do you know what I love? It, it, he's actually 2v1, and he's not bothered. He's like, yeah. bring it on. I'll go through you. KSI didn't get the clean sheet he was hoping for. No. I don't know. I don't if think that was expecting. possible. It was never going to happen. No, no, no. KSI, you my guy in that, but it was never going to happen. <laughs> well, at least he's remained injury free so far. Yeah. But the thing is, um, I think it was Philly shot early on and he went to yeah. save it and he hit the post. I'm thinking sometimes you just got to leave you it, especially when, when you what's know, at stake yeah. in, in yeah. a few well, weeks. Well, that's the competitor in him, yeah. you know, that's it. But yeah, man, it's be easy or squeezy. OK, well, let's have a look at the third goal. So this one was scored by Simon. We spoke about him a lot in the build-up and he delivered. Listen, I think he's the best player on the pitch. I really like him. You can him see his quality. Like, you can see his quality. Great tech, as even before the game, I was watching him in the warm-up. And the ball. great goal. Yeah. Great ball. ball. I mean, look touch. at the defensive line. Terrible touch. Yeah. And now you've just got to be calm, composed. Nice little finish. 
and listen, the best celebration, Rashford celebration, yeah. calm, no, no, composed. I think he's holding back, to be honest. I think, <laughs> I think if he raised his game, I think he yeah, could just that's go. A and, and, and I think he's waiting for that moment. I think he's waiting for <laughs> late on where he's no one can yes, really yes. combat that. So, yeah, I think he's got more and in I the locker. I think he'd be quite relieved as well because he was a bit coy in the pre-match interview. Like, yeah. I know everyone's talking about him, but he managed to deliver. So it's a good, good moment he, for him. When he wants to. If he wants. When he wants to. Yeah. He will turn it on. He's waiting for the moment. I told you, he wants moments. He's waiting for that moment. Okay. Well, let's talk about another moment just before the half-time whistle chunks delivered yeah fortunate <laughs> fortunately fortunate, I, i'm not sure he was going to reach the goal yeah. to be honest but yeah wicked deflection and i mean JJ. stroke of luck there hey any Seema, what did we <laughs> say before the game i said listen i played with chunks this is his position in the 10 dictating play sitting behind the forwards rather than being the forward and then he gets his rewards from this. Like, yeah, massive deflection. Oh, but yeah. you don't shoot, you don't score. Yeah. And listen, this is the confidence And he's you celebrating. Want to see. You know this what is I love about it? Let me, want tell you, to see. let me tell you, he's a real footballer, yeah, because <laughs> it don't matter how the ball goes in, you celebrate <laughs> it like it's a worldie. Yeah. Like, right, Chunks, you're the man out here. Yeah, him and, him and Philly yeah, in midfield, too. I like that. You're liking like that, that, aren't you? Little, yeah, the chemistry's there. My question now is look, we're at half time, they've got 30 minutes as opposed to the usual 15 minutes. They need that break because it is sweltering out here. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think they would have needed it anyway because they're not used to playing in these yeah. conditions. The size of this pitch can can be humbling. So I yeah. think that they're, they're taking extra minutes to, to recover and I'm sure we'll see plenty more changes. To be fair, and as we just roll on, we do want to send a speedy recovery to yeah. Theo Baker. Yeah, of course, that's a very um, good point. We, we see him go down to so speedy recovery. Um, we know the trials and tribulations he's been through, so speedy recovery, Theo. And it's never ever nice to see a player get injured yeah. either. So we've analysed the first half, Any. What are you expecting in the second? It's all level. It's all level. Um, I think YouTube scored just at the right time, just at the right time before half time, and I think that's going to give them momentum. Like I said, chunks and filling in that midfield are starting to dictate. Yeah, I think YouTube can go on up another level in the second half. Now we have another moment to show you actually from the first half a two footed tackle on the car. Did you notice that? I didn't see that. <laughs> there you go. Look at this. Lovely parking. Oh, right. Oh, wow. I'm glad you no took got out injured. the rest. He yeah. did. Um, did you get a yellow card for that? No, yeah, that's all fun and games until you get injured. Well. Yeah. I know. You get three points for that. I mean, why is he taking it nice out on the car? Why is he doing that? Yes. What was the purpose of that? Oh, no. <laughs> he was lucky to get away with that one, wasn't he? Maybe, maybe he had a bigger one and it didn't give him. Oh, anyway, let's just say. Okay. <laughs> oh, we want to let people know what you mean business yeah. from the beginning. <laughs> okay, so Jolien, as I said, we've looked at the first half. What, what do you think? is going to happen in the second half because it's all level at this stage last year it was actually 3-4 um, I think side men were trailing 3-4 at this stage yeah, I think so. the game becomes stretched very soon again I think the, the game is going to be played in either half in, in regards to players are not going to be trying to recover this is going to be 5v5 in either half and whoever has the bit of quality then yeah listen in these charity matches you always I always say anyway play the first half because <laughs> the second half the last 20 minutes people get tired yeah it starts opening off oh it does it's tiring especially in this heat um yeah. so how both teams manage that will be important you see the managers make changes yeah. even in the first half yeah, and they're going to have to do well. it again in the second half but we did say man this would humble us the pitch size <laughs> yeah so let's believe second half it's going to humble them and it's going to get stretched but that's what we want to see the stretch well, against the more goals hopefully absolutely so we are hoping for more goals in this second half but first of all let's head down to Cecil who's in the dressing room let's take a sneak peek Okay, so outside the side men dress room, hopefully there's gonna be an important team talk going on. I make sure everyone's decent. I don't wanna see this on OnlyFans later. So let's hopefully, everyone's okay and, and well dressed. Let's get the team talk from the, from the captains. Oh, this looks very serious in here so far. Guys, yeah, yeah, yeah let's keep this all. This is time for the team talk. Who's this? I need an inspirational team talk. Last year, last year at half time, the game changed after half time for the Sidemen FC. So I need that motivation. Je Come on. No? Ethan, this is your host. This is, you know, West London Stadium. This is your stadium. I need a motivational team talk. You know, last season uh, you came out and you won the game after half time. So I yeah, need yeah. something motivational for the boys. No pressure. I said, I said to the boys before we started, it's not only an amazing moment for everyone in the stands and for who is going to help around the world, but it's amazing for us. So go out there again in the second half. It's just incredible what we've done here, guys. Like, genuinely, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. To even get to this point from doing like four or five matches before, 
It's amazing, man. Listen, good luck, in the, good luck in the second half. Thank you very much. Great goals. Guys, I'm rooting for you lot. I'm rooting for you lot. But don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. All right, let's go. Let's go to the other change room. Let's go see the YouTube All-Stars. Let's go see the YouTube All-Stars. Please continue to donate what you can. Obviously, head over to the sidemenfc.com to donate what you can or scan the QR code. If anything over £50 gets a shout out on screen as well, scan the QR code, text SDMN followed by your donation to 785. But let's head over quickly. This is what you get here, live and direct to the change room. I've just run past it. Can you imagine that? Here we go. YouTube All Stars dress room. Let's see, it's quiet in here. It's very quiet in here. What's going on? Why is it so quiet? Are they nervous? Are they my boys! Oh. Uh, just, so, so, no, so that's what I was gonna say. We need to explain the offside rule yeah, yeah, yeah. to, to, you know, so let me, let me, do your team talk, Mark, for them. Well, you've just missed it, but we just did it, but we're basically, we're very proud of what's going on. We're yeah. doing really well. Obviously, Theo's injury is traumatic for everybody. He's worked back from a long injury. He's a big player, he's the captain of the team. But I think we're the better team. We've had a goal offside. We've had loads of shots. I think they're just playing counter-attacking part of the bus football, if I'm being honest. Um, and obviously, for us, it's just about digging deep now, energy, bouncing back from the injury, and uh, trying to stay on side. Oh, where's, the, where's the energy, boys? Come yeah! on, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Listen, it's, it's all good in here. Let's head back to Els and Big Zoo. Yes, thank you so much, Cecil, for giving us an insight. A lot of energy from Kai. Every time he just screams into the sky. It's a lot of energy. Yeah! Speaking, of, speaking of energy, we do have a live performance coming up very shortly from H. Mane! Mane. And we are now going to take a look at why Teenage Cancer Trust is such an important moment in today's match from the icon himself, Ivan. As Teenage Cancer Trust icon, it's my responsibility to make this year's appeal video. The money you donated to the last charity match was enough to fund 12 youth support coordinators for a whole year to continue delivering vital help to young people being treated for cancer. But don't just take my word for it. Here's Dan, who was recently looked after on the Teenage Cancer Trust Unit at University College Hospital in London, and he wanted to say thank you. Hi, my name is Dan Shenton. I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma in November 2021. I had chemo from the end of December until April 2022 as an outpatient on Teenage Cancer Trust's unit at UCLH. It's full of really nice people who welcomed me and made me feel happy. One of the nurses was one of the nicest and kindest people I've met and she made the experience a lot better for me. Whenever she spoke, I knew everything was okay and she was so nice and upbeat. I finished treatment now and having been helped by Teenage Cancer Trust made it a lot easier. I'm now playing football again and it feels great to be back. I'm a massive Sidemen fan and a massive football fan and I think it's amazing that they are raising money for Teenage Cancer Trust through this charity match. I would like to say thank you to the youth support coordinators, the nurses and everyone else who has helped me on my journey to get to where I am now. Beautifully said mate. Help Teenage Cancer Trust to do even more life-changing work like Dan just described by heading over to sidemenfc.com and giving what you can. Yes, just £10 could buy a month's Netflix subscription for the social area on one of our units so young people can stream their favourite shows just like at home. The money you donate makes a huge difference, so please, if you can, all you need to do is head over to sidemenfc.com or scan the QR code on the screen or text SF, sorry, SDMN, followed by your donation amount to 785 to give that amount. For any donations over £20, head to sidemenfc.com to make your donation and for donations over 50, it will appear on screen, which is pretty cool. So all the information is in the link and on the website. Big vibe. Should we check out how much money we've got right now? Yeah, let's take a look. Okay, we're getting a little... Oh, I can see about Ooh, screen. Okay. So we have raised so far £1,953,614. Wow. That's nearly £2 million. Basically £2 million. We're only at half time as we'll well. Up. Well, it's half time and I hope you lot are ready because before we get back onto the pitch and get all that football going, we've got a massive performance from a man that has been in the chart nine times with UK singles and three times with his album. He's made music with people like AJ Tracy and Ed Sheeran. He's also the winner of the Brit Award for the best hip hop slash grime slash rap category. He's an incredible person. I'm very lucky to say that he's my friend. It is the one and only H. My leg there. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, y
in the G class when I'm on the East Bay. Gonna see rats when you got some cheesecake. My brother's T rap, so you feel the TA. Carry in the glass, we don't do no cheap dates. I just spent like three rats, put a bag on each. When she back it, she's bad. When I tap it, she's great. Acting off wrong, I had a team. Man, the beat rats at the back of these rays. Same way I take cash, do my rap on these days. One. Now she back in team age. I don't give up how many rappers she's named. Got it on tap, then the battle gets mashed. Put another few grand, more through the next pack. London Stadium, let me see them hands in the air. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, 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 hey. Let's go. Yeah, we're in the place, we don't wait in line. Give up, now I'm late, I'ma take my time. And I made it mine I put my shades on the rave like it's 89 Go, 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 go Run the place, we don't wait in line I don't care if I'm, I'm late, I'ma take my time Hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up yeah. Put the city and I made it mine Put my shades on the rave like it's 89 London Stadium, let's go Yeah, yeah, yeah Show baby, how you flex and make it shake All that back and pretty face, girl, I'm trying to get a taste I'm just bumping, give up, who's in the place? Gucci broke up with a snake, but my hoodie looking great Show em, baby, how you flex and make it shake All that back and pretty face, girl, I'm trying to get a taste I'm just bumping, give up, who's in the place? Gucci broke up with a snake, but my hoodie looking great Show em, baby, how you flex and make it bounce Make it drop, it's getting hot and we'll be breaking up the house Keep it up, I know you love it when you loud But if we in the dark, we can't make another sound Love my brothers, that's for life, I know my family got me Couple women, couple haters, couple bands are on me Leave me be, I live my life with all the cameras on me Do my thing, I'm setting pace, don't tell them what to stop me Couple brothers got a job, a couple Grew up sliding round in North Manny, you can If you see me with a gal, my chick be looking fly as well Louis V, crepes and the bell, but the Had a rest and then I had to step the levels up Got it in my head that I'm the best, so I ain't stressing much Ain't on the fate-ish, I ain't gonna beg for love Let's side, let me see them hands Let's go, 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 go Right side, what we say, I'm just bumping, give up, who's in the place Gives you vocal with a snake, but my hoodie looking big Show em baby, how you flex and make it shake All that back and pretty face, girl I'm tryna get a taste I'm just bumping, give up, who's in the place Gives you vocal with a snake, but my hoodie looking big Energy crew in the building Left side, right side, what we say? I say say my name First I fight to LA As soon as I land on a paper plane Soon touch back in the ends 110 on the M trying to take a chase Big fat stack in my bag Wanna unzip that Finna make it rain Call when we run down this ring Right wrist and left wrist that's ring She said what gone What's going on Why am I wet Get that's ring Call when we run down this ring Right wrist and left wrist that's ring She said what gone What's going on Why am I wet Get that's ring Yeah Sick of some rappers and that, but I stay doing me, never cap on the track. Chill out, pack in the bag, then I throw up her M, got the map on my back. She make it clap for the snap, yeah, the back was my bad, but there's no way I'm tackling that. I'm with your gal, I'm still in the gap. Bro, trying to stack in the track. Let's go. Said I'm too young and my game's all top, but she got pushed down like. Psycho drama, the gal like, Dave, yo, what can I say when the brains is? 10 for the two tone subby and 10 for the new blue face, when I rate and play. Still come for a make it rain. Turn up, stay lit, burn up, get two, two plain ones, give it my stress, I delete them both. I'm so decisive. Girl tryna attack man, going on crazy, I think I like it More time I lose my head, then I get stressed, got so hard to find it Think I got time for a side shit, London Stadium Let's go! I said say my name First I fight to LA as soon as I land on a paper plane Soon touch back in the ends, 110 on the M tryna take a chance Big fat stack in my bag, wanna unzip that, gonna make it rain Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go Right wrist and left wrist, that's green She said what gone, what's going on, why am I wet? Get that screen, call when we run down this ring For the sex, uh -huh. but I swear to God, I love it when she says yeah. she know that she coming with the best. Thinking she an angel, so I put her on the bed. Yeah. Gotta chase this money, baby, nothing to be said. Uh -huh. I ain't having no distraction when I'm running up her. Every time I leave the crib, I got you looking at me stressed. But as soon as I'm home, face down, ass up, cock it right back, baby. How you not a model with a body like? Oh God, when she taught me, she the top of my class. Yeah. Yeah. I'ma copy right that. I be 
the other vibe uh-huh. On into the side, I'm just trying to live my life yeah. London Stadium, from the left side to the right side Let me see them hands all the way up to the Let's go, hey. hey You know I got it, baby, what, what do you want? want? You know I got it, baby, what do you need? She lied She lied You know I got it, baby, what do you want? You can have it if you want it with me She lied She lied she want kids, I want cribs and the steps yeah. Feel bougie, she ain't trying to wait till Christmas for gifts no. If I left, would she miss me a bit? Yeah. Is she riding my way? Is she thinking my shit? No way Tough love, yeah, it literally, literally is. is And I know you get when you're faking a bit uh. But we can still get yeah. that blink on your wrist She like <laughs> Now I'm sold out, start to go mental I can't mix my love with my schedule no way. Yeah. Always asking me why I'm never home, I just said I got her I'm Wake up looking sexy and she's stunning when she posed yeah. Perfect when she's naked and she curvy in the clothes yeah. Get a Lamborghini white, I paint the yours like a toes Ain't no woman brother got a this uh, you this should know you. Hey. you know I got it baby, what, what do you want? want? You know I got it baby, what, what do you need? She lied She lied You know I got it baby, what, what do you want? want? You can have it if you roll it with me She lied DJ with what we say I'm just, I jumped from those pyrotechnics. Uh, that's why he's called Big Shell. Big Shell. I even big got stage. A, a little one two step. Little one two. Yeah, yeah little. Yeah. I, I just wanna hurt you, baby. What an incredible performance. Nice, smashed H. it. And I don't know if you saw, he had a little drink in his hand. I don't know what that drink was. Maybe something was. new coming from H. Maybe. Maybe we'll a little keep bit a lookout for that. There. He's just heading off the pitch now. We saw Philly came out. Yeah, Philly was vibing. Philly was vibing. Was, I think they got me on screen as well. I think they did. Uh, people are telling me about, that my, my shirt is ending racism. And yes, that was the plan. <laughs> That's what I was here to do. Um, big, big half coming up. Yeah, let's debrief. So, two all. Yep. Predictions, do. I mean, I think I you said lie. Sidemen last I think time. the Sidemen are going to come out and score a couple more goals. Obviously, I think the All Stars will score as well, but I feel like. They've got the energy to, to really take the W. What do you think? I definitely think, obviously, it's very unfortunate about Theo's injury. 100%. I think he was one of their stronger players. So yeah. I'm really interesting to see. But for me, I do think Sidemen might take it as well. Well, well let's see what um, Stephen and, and, and Spencer think. What do you guys think in the commentary box, guys? It's brought to you by the letter H. That's very nice. You know, when I said, is there any chance of rain? I didn't mean the song. <laughs> We're playful up here. That's, that's what people like Banter. about us. Uh, but let's, let's talk about football, shall we? Yeah, oh, go the on. The real then. winner today. 2-2, uh, perfectly poised for a massive second half. Now, Goldbridge's team talk is vital here. You yeah. know? I don't know if we've seen any of it in the, in the broadcast, but speed, can he stay on side? That could be the answer for them, because he it gets really through. Could. And he's, I've seen him, he's been training, he can score. He just needs to look at that line and stand behind it. Someone needs to tell him that. Just just watch your runs because he's so fast. When just, it comes to learning it. football, it's one of the simplest things to learn, really. When you've got Absolutely, pace, that's yeah. the hardest thing to have. He's got that, that gift of pace. So if they can utilise that, massive. But yeah, Theo Baker obviously being out is a real shame. Again, thoughts to him. Hope he's OK. And I really think we're going to see a strong second half from that man, Simon Minter. I think so. If if Chris MD, will he be the captain now for the YouTube All-Stars? It's a good shout. I think he probably will be. We'll have a look at that. You can see some shots here of the... YouTube All-Stars changing room as we've got about four minutes until uh, we get kicked off here XQC, for the second half. just Googling how to be a goalkeeper. What do I do with my hands? <laughs> <laughs> One thing's for sure, he never caught COVID, did he? No chance. <laughs> you can see actually coming in the top right of the screen, all these fantastic donations. We absolutely oh, love Harry's it, guys. just adjusting the Kinder Egg in his bum. We really appreciate the donation. CybenFC.com is the place to go. You can see some of the charities. Five so of them Someone's struggling to get the top off there. That we're celebrating. Who is, is that? Tragic Mike. Come on, get it off. A penny. 
for the thoughts of these players. Manny on the, the, the changing room bench <laughs> I'm there. so curious as to who this is. Give us the reveal. <laughs> it's, oh, it's Josh Sarker. It's the, it's the big oh, man sort of himself. like the, uh, the mystery singer there. <laughs> <laughs> the mystery side man. Very nice. Yeah, they'll yeah. probably do that soon. Only a matter of time. Only yeah. a matter of time. Who's that into there? <laughs> who are these guys? That's embarrassing. And this is the setup, if you're wondering where it looks like, by the way, the commentary setup. We're here, obviously, in London Stadium. Uh, bang on the halfway line. We've got the best seats in the house. There isn't any spare seats in the house. No. 60,000 I mean, gone. Um, and we can promise a great second half. Legs are going to tire. Yeah. Goals are going to go in. Guaranteed. I feel like... Uh, How many? I'm going to say at least... At least six. I think there they'll we go. be. Hold me to that. Yeah, Adam, the two teams together will be getting to ten, I think, for sure. Of I think course. There's going to be a lot of goals. And we've got people who, who haven't even come off the bench yet. We've got, of course, Con. Yeah. Uh, big Constantine. He, he, could be a, he could be a big player. I mean, he's, he's a tall guy. You, no one knows what he could do. Well, he's synonymous with the Simon and their content, but it's playing against them. Yes. So what does, that, what does that mean? Could he that knows, disrupt things a little bit? He knows all their weaknesses. He's filmed them for, for years now. He's seen every bit of them, quite literally. Uh, and look at these scenes. What an arena. This is home of champions of Europe, West Ham United. Dare I say the best team in the world? You can say it. Whether everyone believes you or not is, uh, is another matter. Look at it. What a pristine chapel <laughs> of football. And we are here and we're watching YouTubers play. What the hell's happening? I'll tell you what's happening. It's, it's not new news, is it? You know, if you don't know about this movement, it's not even a movement, it's mainstream now. It's YouTube, it's content, it's social media, it's taken over. It's They're not massive. here to take part, they are the industry. You know what I always say, Spen? Sucker aid who? Yeah, uh, it doesn't work most of the time, but today it's, it's perfect, really. No, I get it, I do get it. And, and speaking of which, remember to donate, guys. Get your hands in your pockets. Well, I don't, I don't, you have it in your pocket. You know, it's a hot day. These days, mostly cashless society. That's so true, it's powerful. Uh, but yeah, please donate. So many great uh, causes. I'll tell you about them. Brightside, Teenage Cancer Trust, Calm, Rays of Sunshine, and Simon's own charity, M7E. You want to donate? Really simple. We've made it so easy for you. Get your phones out, text SDMN, oh, Sidemen shorthand, obviously, SDMN, followed by your donation amount to 700. 85 and whatever you put in donation amount wise will be what you donate if you want to make a slightly bigger donation you can go to sidemenfc.com for anything over 20 pounds and make a donation there any donation over 50 pounds get this will get a shout out on screen you'll literally be on one of the most watched wow. things in youtube history like the new jester just was like just finney with a 56 pounds donation incredible stuff there guys chrissy spry i'm not going to keep reading them out no uh, I mean, that but, would you know. be quite boring Okay, they're quite, well, you know, a bit of an attitude to that donation. Text will cost a donation amount plus one standard network rate message. Donation amount can be uh, any whole number between one and £20 on your phones. Uh, and obviously go to Simon FC if you want to donate a little bit more. Full terms and conditions are available at teenagecancertrust.org slash text. Okay, of we're course. getting very close to football. The more money we donate... Uh, the more likely there'll be another one of these games, maybe even on a bigger scale, who knows. Can it, can it get bigger? Can it get bigger? Where would it have to go to be bigger? Oh, the game, sorry, uh, Spencer's eyes were looking somewhere else. Um, I, I think it can. I mean, this is a tremendous stadium, like you said. Uh, I don't know if they would want to go bigger than this. It's, it's incredible. Well, they could do a festival of football. Saturday game, Sunday game. <laughs> they fill it out. I'd go. <laughs> right, players are getting ready here. How many people are watching right now? We're around the 2 million mark. I expect that to get higher once the football gets underway. 2.6 has got to be the target. That's what we had watching. Get your mum watching. Get your dad watching. Get your dog watching if they've got a smartphone or computer available. And, and get your stepmums and dads watching. Some of us are from broken homes. We don't discriminate here. That's the side, men. Anyone can watch. That's it. Right. Con looks like he might be featuring. He's kitted up. He's got the GoPro ready. One thing you can say about Con is you know that GoPro is going to be well shot, well lit. It's going to capture all the angles, and the edit will be top notch. We can't say the same about Danny Aaron's, is it? Who I, uh, I think people have turned his off during the game. That'd be a great little little tactic. I'll tell you a little thing about Danny Aaron's. I don't think he started well at right back, but after Theo Baker injury, he moved into what I'm going to call a Busquets type role. CDM, patrol in the midfield. I saw something in him. I think he's got serious potential. The guy is he's a young sprout, as I like to say. 
We don't know what he's capable of. Not my words, but the police's. He is on a lot of lists. JJ in goal still. Yes. Might see the full 90 out of him. Will he make a save? Oh, look at this moment. Oh, we know we've got some spares. Plattenberg and Bazinga. Oh, hey, get your hands off a card. That's a card, Rick. Get your hands off him. Get a yellow out of his pocket. He's going to show it to me. He just slapped him in the face. He should have gone down. I, I would. I mean, not like that. Chunt, uh, Chunt, Chunt, here he comes. This is my gaff. It's not happening today. No side men win. Finally using his hands as he waves to the crowd there. Could that be a sign of better things to come? The big question is, will we see either goalkeeper physically make a save? It hasn't happened yet. It, you know what? I think JJ, JJ made one very early on. We'll give him that. Is it a save? I'm not sure. Might have to say it was for the stats. Of course. Right. XQC, a last-minute replacement for Keller Dragon as he had an appearance at Pockwell tonight. Give him hell, Cal. Give him hell. Ah, 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 ah. JJ shadow boxing in the box there. Oh, Feel sorry for his shadow. <laughs> <laughs> Just a reminder that he does have a big boxing fight coming up. Right. In case anyone's forgotten. Same again, Tommy boys. Fury, October 14th. Tommy Fury's square. watching this, quaking in his boots, his big boxing boots. Potentially, obviously, uh, Logan Paul and Dylan Dennis on the undercard as well. I'm not sure Tommy Fury knows how to work YouTube, I'll be honest. The search bar is where I struggle. Anyway. Right, let's do it. I can't wait for it, guys. I'm ready. Second half is underway. Chunks plays it back. It's an early shot. Hang on. JJ's. Ooh. He's fine. Max Imagine. Fosh going for it from the get-go. It looks like he's moved into a quarterback type position. Fosh is playing in that CDM the, now. The CDM. There's been a bit of shuffling. Gideon at right back now for the All-Stars. Kai Senat back on the Here comes on the left. Angry Ginge bringing it out. I don't see. I don't see Chris EMD. I tell you what, the start of the second half is a lot more relaxed than the start of the first half. I feel like they've got in the other change rooms and say, hey guys, can we stop? Yeah, just stop running around. Confirmation of the substitution Randolph on the right, uh, we've got Deji on the left, Simon down the middle for the side men. Seven, Harry gets away from ten, Danny Aarons. Here he is, when you're into looking for and Ethan. Ethan's really playing like a young Bruno Gamares. Yes. Gamaish, or however they say it. Oh, I think a late one there from Simon. A late challenge on Philly. Here we go, Fosh. He's been given a bit of a license to patrol this midfield, and he's got a bit about him. I'll tell you what. Chunks. Back to Fosh. Oh, not quite. Chance for JJ to get his hands on that ball and just really milk it. Max Fosh is a debutant. He's really inherited the team spirit and £7 million from his granddad. But uh, Let's go, go, go. We don't need to mention that. Straight into the content. Here we go. <laughs> Philly on the ball. The metronome nothing, of this midfield. Nothing silly, Philly. Oh, what a ball that is, and they've by the unleashed way. Carl Jacobs. He's on the right now. He's moved from the left Lovely to the right. Lovely touch. Oh. Nutmegs Danny Aarons for a laugh. Why not? Look at Bazinga go. Look at this change of pace. He's a new man. But One Jacobs thing hasn't changed. Chases. He absolutely loves the Amers. Simon. Lovely block from Will. And I'm not talking about his head. It's cheap, I know, but why we not? like yeah, we like him. That's what we come for, Steve. Oh, running into trouble here. Oh, it's a terrible pass from laser, laser beam. beam. Gorgeous. And good. Chunks has got a shot like a laser beam. Oh, off the backside of Angry Ginge. My word. Here we go. Look at this pace. Look at this pace. Manny on the right side. is off and away. Manny plays in Simon. Back to Manny. Can Sends he score? Well. Glorious! It's simple, it's proper football. Love to see it. Simon and Manny linking up with a one two there. And it is the sidemen who restore their lead for the third time in this game. Three two. Sumptuous strike. Step aside, at Adam 22. There's a new cook in town. His name's Manny. Lovely finish again. I'd like to see an angle and see if XQC could have done more. But when you've got the ball in the box and you're Manny and he's got so much space, you'd expect him to finish it. Uh, I need to see the position of XQC a little bit better before I judge him on this one. But look at this one too. Simon, unselfish, could have easily shot, but composed, picks out Manny. I think XQC's got a hand to it, you know. Yeah, good effort. He has got a little hand to it. A big effort there from the get-go. I mean, there's been a shot from kickoff. We just yeah. missed it, but it, it, it didn't go in. Tired legs. Right, Nada's got speed, pitch side. What's he saying? Oh, I want some. 
Hey Speed, how are we feeling post halftime? Feeling not too well. I gotta get this goal in, you know, but it is what it is. I'm I'm hyped, bro. Like I don't know, bro. I just gotta get this goal in. During the okay, everyone wants to know, during the halftime, did we study the offside rule? That's yeah. what everyone wants to know. I know the offside rule now. It's it's over, okay? Stand behind a defender and wait for him to go. You feel what I'm saying? I know the offside rule, so I'm scoring. You feel me? My man's Mark gave me, told me what to do. Stay behind the defender speed and go. You feel what I'm saying? So Perfect. let's get back to Steven Spencer now. Angry Ginge with the buttock touch there. I tell you what, sumptuous, sumptuous, sumptuous. And the touch was pretty nice as well. Speed has finally learned the offside rule. Only Gideon took him a and couple of years. Back there. Well, Gideon's done well for a debutant. Do you remember when Speed was told that Goldbridge used to manage West Ham, uh, Manchester United and he believed it last year? I mean, <laughs> he's got a job on his hands. Oh. Managing Speed. A late tackle on Jack Septisai. Right, Kaisen out here with Riz coming out of every, every orifice right now. <laughs> Chunks. Lovely Great little ball. Great ball to Fosh. He wants to bang one on his left foot. Oh, Ginger's just a store at the back. You have to say, I think the scout for the sidemen is the same guy that does Brighton's transfers because they've found Ginge <laughs> out of nowhere and he's patrolling things. Deji, on the other hand, has not made that work, but Randolph. Randolph. Plays it to Simon. It's like their What's Good podcast. Oh, oh, look at that. Five-star skill moves. He's got family he's in now. One. Oh, he's trying to go, no, no, no. XQC fans, look away now. Manny gets his second of the game, and that's why you just have to shoot on sight. I'll tell you what, it's the home of the hammers, but Manny drilled that one. What an addition to this team. He's already got two goals, but look at this from Simon. Is that the move of the match so far? Flicks it over Gideon. The shot was enough to cause XQC a problem, who, let's face it, isn't going to catch a great deal of shots today. And Manny was there. Oh, do you know what? He, he did well to make that save. We've got to give him that. He almost caught it. But we knew this could be the difference. The goalkeepers. I mean, the sidemen have a world-class athlete. Stop. He's great with his hands, even better with his elbows. It's KSI. Billy Wingrove absolutely loving life in the sidemen dugout. 4-2. You have to say the next goal will be crucial. The sidemen yeah. have opened up this lead. Two-goal deficit for the All-Stars. If they don't get the next one, it could be lights out. I mean, Billy Wingrove is, of course, football royalty. He, uh, he once had a trial at Tottenham, aged 11, but was thankfully found not guilty. So that's a relief. Ready? Questions will be asked of Mark Goldbridge if he doesn't get and young Christopher MD back on this pitch soon, three, because he back, is a talent. Get the Cal MD out Freezy. there. It's the weekend. And they've just brought in a great defender in Cal Freezy, the sideman as well, so that defence has got stronger. I mean, look at it. It's actually not a bad defence. Freezy right back, Row to Shaw, and Angry Ginge, centre-half partnership. And then Mr Beast just doing a little job at left back. You know what? Angry Ginge has come in here. He's, he's giving thumbs up to people in the crowd. He's so relaxed. He's at home. Not literally his home is mould on the walls, but, uh, you know, he's, he's sort of at home here. I think you Goldbridge has got an earpiece in because he's listened to me. He's got Chris MD back in the mix, and that is huge. Let's see what he can do. Chris MD... Danny Aaron. He lives and breathes football. Mr. Beast. It's, it's nice defense from old Beastie Boy. This is what I love about YouTube football games. Where else are you going to see Danny Aaron's head to head with Mr. Beast? Look at it. That's a lovely bit of skill. Chris MD, don't let it go off, keeps it on. Nice feet, just pushes off Mr. Beast. Oh, is that a penalty? Oh. Kattenberg, do it. Yes, he's done it's it. It's a penalty. He's done it, had to be. Now, who takes it? Is it Chrissy? He won it. Charles has famously got a bit of a reputation for penalties at Super 8. Absolutely. Chris MD will want it. Who's coming on? I think it's Speed. I think it's sub on Speed for it. Surely not. Speed is going to get his moment. Someone has signalled. Chris has pointed to the bench. Philly is carrying the ball over to someone. Is it Speed? Let's remember, they're 4-2 down. This penalty is a massive moment in the game. And I think it's going to be speed. Let's take a look at how it was won. Chris with the footwork of a young Pippi Longstocking here. <laughs> Absolutely reckless I challenge mean, uh, from, from Harry. Harry only had eyes for his ankles there. And he... <laughs> KSI has got some thoughts on this. Obviously, he's going to be the goalkeeper oh, for this penalty. Will it be speed versus Jacob? 
There's no way. Because for Sue, it's going to be definite. There's no way. Come on, Aaron Ramsdale. Turn that in, Aaron Ramsdale. Let's make a save. Back to the commentary. Oh, penalty time. Speed coming on to take the penalty. I JJ, please. I mean, I think, you know what? I'm not. I'm, I'm going to back him. The All Stars have a need for speed. He's stepping up to the spot here. Guys, drink this in. You've got a goalkeeper with a mic on and an earpiece. It's JJ. It's KSI who's about to face a penalty of speed. This is what these games bring you. These moments in time that can't be replicated. This, I am here for it. This is his best chance That's of scoring. There's no. There's no offsides on penalties. Moment, Let's huh? listen to this. What they're saying. Your time. Trying to get this could be the first man to two foot a penalty. I can't wait to see it. It's all kicking off. Hamburg, earn your wages, son. Don't injure him though. He has got a fight coming up. Do not injure him. Great evasion techniques. That's gorgeous. You know, he's, he's got quick reflexes, and that. That's going to uh, be right in Speed's head. This is your time, Tommy we'll Fury's just booked himself a flight out of the country on the 14th of October because he can't handle that. But can Speed? He only booked to Put Wales, though. He's not the sharpest. This could be the biggest moment in this game. It's Speed versus KSI. Here we go. The crowd awaits. Here we go. Look at the technique. Look at the run-up. Where will he put it? This is your moment, Speed. Take it. Grasp it. Speed! What is that? Oh my word! Wow! Ooh, you called it, Speed! You called it! Called it. He reverse sued him. He, uh, you know what? Forget CR7. He see you in the changing room, you clown. They taught him the offside rule. Yes. They didn't teach him how to take a penalty. Oh, you just got to hit it harder than that. On the edge of the box. Still alive here, though. Fosh. Fosh. Left foot. Left foot on the edge of the D. What a and you have to say, he has spared the blushes of young Speed, who missed the penalty, but up steps Max Fosh, Esquire. The shot was ass. Yeah, so, so dead. And you're like, yeah, so you saved the penalty. That was a big pressure moment. Well done on that, though, but... Yeah, I made Max Fosh with that. Oh. The reverse Sue, though. Good shot. Oh, my yeah, days. yeah, yeah. I had, you to got... to I had to do it. You know, brother. <laughs> Unbelievable stuff there. Finish for Max Fosh was straight out of the top drawer of what I imagine is a very so elaborate cabinet in, in his office. I think, I think most of his family members are in the cabinet. Mac, I think just watching that back, Speed's tried to do JJ with the eyes. He's done a bit of a no look. No. And I just don't think he's put in the hours on the pitch to be able to pull off the no looks yet. Well, he had no look there. That was look L U C K. Replacing it's word play. Andrew 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 please welcome Zero J M. Wow, who'd have thought it? Max Fosh debut in this game. Starts off in defence, steps into midfield. You know what? They Replacing Goldbridge saw nine something nine and moved him forward. Andrew, Good management. Victor Goldbridge is a top three. quality manager. The double glasses combo from. Deji is very rarely seen in football. Spectacles oh, no. and snorkel goggles. Here comes Kallax. With his no two ways boots on. That's it. Kallax has been taking this game very seriously. His training regime involved running multiple and sweatshops for no two ways. Finally, I'm joking, of course, guys. I'm, I'm kidding. I mean, it's like a sweatshop in here. Yeah. Basically, <laughs> it really is. It's. It's. It's it's warm, and I think I'm dehydrated. <laughs> Loads of changes <laughs> happening here, guys. I think I mean Simon's just gone off, for example, but not a bad replacement in Toby. I'm surprised I haven't hey, been swapped out yet. I'll be honest. Hey. But Speed has stayed on the pitch. I don't think he was meant to come back on this. Set. Oh, Nico Amalana. Nico is coming off for Philly. Okay. I mean, you've got to you've got to rest the boys. Even the best players need a bit of a breather in these conditions. We're back underway. What, know, a, what a game we've got on our hands, guys. 4-3. Nico Amalana is back on the field. He's the internet's biggest menace, although Prince Andrew's search history would say otherwise. Here we go. What can he do? Nico, that is. Well, any, well I wouldn't mind seeing Prince Andrew come on. <laughs> just, just, just come on. That, wasn't, that was the end of the sentence. <laughs> will any? <laughs> Into Chris. Lovely feet from the youngster. Said Prince not. Andrew. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, God, we do have fun. <laughs> Gideon, get there. Do you know what? Vic start. Oh, yes, Vic! Yes, Vic, you Let's monster! He owns, he owns a sunglasses company, but that was shades of John Terry there from Vicstar. Chris MD running things now. Got speed ahead of him. That's, that's wasteful. Not his best work. He's uh, not lost this many possessions since she left. Too soon. <laughs> Chris, up to Nico. Oh, lovely touch. Touch of a dentist. Tell you what, he can't pick it up there. JJ's. A bit of a problem area here. Uh, it's not he going out. Need some help, guys. Oh, lovely! Oh, don't do it. He's not giving it. Chance, oh, speed. Oh. Cal Freezy saves the day. Cal Freezy to the rescue. And and a counter straight away. XQC, time, time, time. Oh, oh my no. word! It's going to be another one. Oh, it's end to end entertainment here in London. XQC has. Done what JJ almost did and he cost his team a goal. Scoring, Toby Rizzle scores. scores. There's FC. nothing new Toby. here. Wow. I mean, that is a real mistake for Gideon and XQC there. I mean, the goalkeepers are causing havoc. You have to say speed has to score this. You know, if, if they don't win this game, YouTube All-Stars, there's two massive moments that, unfortunately, speed is responsible for. A missed Absolutely. penalty and a missed open goal. And it goes straight up the other end. He's, he's, got, to, he's got to pick it up He there. could have picked it up. Oh, Toby's Unlucky not going to miss that, is he? The game's not over yet. He At this still point, be the hero. And I... I, I, I Right, Nada is uh, pitch side and she's got something for us. I'm with Philly right now. We're here sitting down. How are you feeling, Philly? Tired. I feel like I'm going to pull a cramp. Um, just before I come off, I said to the guys, get me up front. Um, but yeah, super, super tired. I hear it. We're seeing a lot of missed chances right now. You know, side men are out. How are you feeling about the rest of the game? Good, you know. Um, it's not even about any of us. It's not even about any of us scoring. It's the fact that We've all worked hard, most of us come from nothing, and we've managed to sell out 60,000 tickets and give millions of pounds to charity. It's bigger than anyone scoring or anyone playing good. That's absolutely incredible. Right, back to Stephen and Spencer. Yeah, well, spent a great to... effort there from Speed. Yeah, JJ actually makes a save, a really important save. You have to say he's winning the battle of the keepers so Whoa. far. And I, I don't mean this as any kind of insult against XQC. Fair play to him for coming here, putting himself in the danger zone of being in goal. But statistically speaking, there's a chance they'd have conceded less if he wasn't there. <laughs> I think that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, it's a corner for the YouTube All-Stars. JJ hasn't fa faced this many shots since Harry's diss track. Oh, he's oh, come he... flapping for it. <laughs> missed it. <laughs> Chunks Lovely kicks it lay off. off. Fosh. It's Fosh. Don't give him time. Wow. Whoa. He's got a cannon on the head. Foot. Gideon. Gideon's gone Get to it. it. To oh, start. no. Vic. Side Vic. Vic is through. It's a flying V. Stay on side, Vic. OK, it's not going to be Vic because he can't touch that there. Manny takes it. Manny for the hat trick. Oh, it's easy. It's a piece of cake for this young man. Manny gets the first hat trick of the day, curling it past the hopeless XQC, taking the sidemen lead to 6-3. No wonder it's a scorcher. Manny is bringing the heat to this game. A hat trick. That yeah. attack from the sidemen was... Unbelievable. It was like a Mighty Ducks flying V. Luckily, Ooh. oh, was there an offside for Manny there? I think that's offside. There might be. We could go to VAR. Have we got VAR? I don't know. That's that, offside if you're... Uh, I don't think we've I got could. VAR. But we're going to go down to KSI. He might have some thoughts on that. JJ. 6-3, Manny with another with a, with a hat trick. Manny with a hat trick. Yeah, I think it's over. I you think, think it's, it's over? over? Yeah. Running away with it now. Honestly. As long as speed doesn't so score, I'm happy. All these bad boys and fine girls are crying. <laughs> Not today. Speed don't score. No injuries though for me. Please. I know, no I know, I know, I know. You got to be excited over I there. Know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm keeping it tight, solid. Defence! And back to the commentators. Listen, I'm not going to be too harsh on XQC for that goal, because he'd gone proper dive for that. Really tried to get there. It was a Absolutely. good finish for Manny. It was a great finish. Now, was there an offside? I don't think we have the ability to overturn goals, although Mark Clattenburg does seem to be checking something. I think it's just his nose, actually. <laughs> I think he's got a few bogeys up there. So that's... Uh... Oh, here comes Con. Yeah, the goal will stand. Con is on against his, 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 the people he works with, his colleagues, dare I say the word. Absolutely. 
Here we go, Chris and D. He's got to look to uh, be the game changer here. Speed, can he put it in? Nico's waiting. I mean, uh, too much. Oh, Chris MD is going to pick it up here, though. Lovely feet. Yes, we've already seen him win one penalty. Chris. Will and E. Will and E can't take in his stride. With a Samba flick. Chunks. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, just oh, doing too much. Con. Wow. Oh, Max Vosch, he's having a great game. He oh, is Will. getting right up there on the rankings for me, Max Vosch. Will's thirsty. Where's Theo's mother? Probably with a son uh, who had an injury for those of, uh, those of you that joined us in the second half. Thought he's been stretched off. Chris takes it quick, gets it to Chunks, who can bang them. Gives it back to Chris. He can also bang Hit them. Hit that. Chris. The Chris. Magician. Chris. Oh. Over the bar. JJ. Something he's not when he's in a, uh, <laughs> a drinks something. Or uh, at a theme park. <laughs> Trying to get on a, true, it's yeah. another option for Lesson, you. But life's a roller coaster for Chris. It's the only thing he's running at the moment. Yeah, you've got to get them on target. Against these keepers, you've just got to hit the target. We've I mean, seen how effective it can be. You fancy him in that position, don't you? When he's he works it to the right. Alas. A lot of people fancying him in lots of positions at the moment. <laughs> JJ. Oh, JJ. He they're, gets away with it that time. They're having a bit of fun. What we all want is a Vic star goal. He's, well, a, he's a DJ now. If he scores, he'll be called David Goldgetter. <laughs> Donate for that wordplay, please. Shout out to David Gold. Options to the right. <laughs> that was playing in his house today. Speed. He's onside. Got played across. Oh, oh, side netting. You greedy, greedy goat. Now, 6-3 is a great scoreline for the side men to experiment a little bit. We're talking, let's put Vic Star for a goal. We're talking, can we see some runs from, from the box from JJ? And cause some problems. We we need some game cha game changers from the uh, YouTube All Stars. Philly, he can come back on. Danny Aaron's, what's he got in his locker? Well, we'd have to blur it if we showed it. But uh, moving on. Some good defending there from Iraq. JJ! Oh no! Speed has done everything but score. The battle continues between these two, by the way, in the box. It's another <laughs> chance for Speed. JJ is living rent free in his head. <laughs> Here we go. Chunks. Chunks. Look at these. Skills from the man. Lovely feet. Oh, he's still oh, got he's it. bodied him. I think he's gone through the legs. Kaisen out. What can he do? Nico. Nico picks it up. Two goals it up last Chunks. year. Chunks hits it. Oof. JJ. Oh, oh we might have rolled in there. Oh, the line from It's, it's, in. it's no. a goal. That's he's gone over the line. That's not a goal. The line from Spain. What? He's rolled it over. Is he, that a goal? He's had a stinker. He's held the ball and then rolled okay. over the line. JJ. KSI rolls it into his own goal. You will not see that in any goalkeeping what? textbook. That is unorthodox. It's goal. And it's cost his team a goal. And they crossed the line. JJ's fuming. KSI crosses the line. Not for the first time. Are you dumb? <laughs> I did Can we get that. a replay? Are you mad? Oh, you JJ, chasing off with the linesman, screwing up to the linesman. I'll tell you what. I mean, let's look at it. That, that linesman is almost certainly a KSI fan. What a surreal Jim, moment it will be for him. KSI is feeling a bit of the fury now. I want to see a replay. A, a big decision from this young man. You knew he was going to make it about himself. Here we go, here we go. Did he cross the line? Chunks with the effort. JJ spills it. Oh, he did. That's it. That's a goal. It's the right decision and a great decision. We'll often have a go at the refs, right? But he's got that bang right. I mean, the stuff we said at half-time, yeah, it was, it was awful, Spen. I'll say it. I've, I've not seen that side to you. What is he doing? I mean... <laughs> if he rolls into speed, he's safe because speed can't take it off him. He's got two hands on it, but he rolls away from speed oh. and into the back of the net. It's it's like watching Ben Foster at Wrexham. Let's see what KSI thinks of that. KSI, Look well, at you're this. Your sheet, no? no, 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 shut up. Where's the goal line technology? That did not go over the line. Are you sure? That is outrageous. You guys are trying to run. Oh, my God, they get them. Oh, Why you don't often see goalkeepers being interviewed mid-game? It's, it's not, but it's a lovely addition. I like it. And you have to be good at addition today. 6-4. Ten goals. Have. I, I promised ten goals. Yeah, you did. And you delivered. We have a great game on our hands here, guys. And by the way, JJ, goal line technology wouldn't have saved you on that one, pal. You rolled it into the back of your own net, matey. Here we go. Laser beam. 
More like Lazy Beam as he trundles over to the ball. Not a bad ball, though. Excuse me, gobble it up. Yes! And that, genuinely, I think is the first time he's caught it. So fair play to him. I mean, I know he streams on kick, but you can use your hands as well. Progress. Absolutely, it's, that's what it's all about. And he's still young, you know, goalkeepers, they... they hit oh, an amazing line. ball! Nico, keepers off his line! Can you dink him? He goes low, and You never be... know, you never know, he could... Oh! That's nah, bread and butter for JJ. Doesn't he should be, be eating that, yeah. Well, yeah. he shouldn't be, should he, because he's in training. Not at all. I'm thinking quinoa and a lean meat. Or no carbs. meat substitute. Oh, JJ. There's going to be some more twists in this game, guys. We've got more oh, than 20 this. minutes left. 6-4. It's not over for the YouTube All-Stars. May I remind you, with the exception of the one game that the All-Stars won, Sidemen have won every other match. Three times they've won. 7-2, 7-1, 8-7. They always score in bundles. I think... Uh, I fancy Nico Amalana for a goal today. He leads the NDL and the attack. Here we go. Beautiful link up between Chris Hit and Chuck. Gets it out of his feet, hits it! Oh, oh great yeah. save! What a save from this young man. He's, he's redeemed himself there. A brilliant hit from Chris Endy. He might have knocked himself out. I think that was harder than a Tommy Fury punch. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his strike. We know Chris can hit them. It's just curling into the keeper is the only problem for Chris there. Lays it off to Max Foshi. He'll hit that. Foshi wants Lovely. it on his left foot. He's got a foot like a traction engine. <laughs> Chris is going to pick this up, although Toby's got, chasing him. Toby's. Oh. oh, that's a foul. I think that's a foul. I think Toby pulled him back there. Maybe not. Vic Star with Con oh. coming up the rear. Yes! You Vic Star gets red. You worry with uh, JJ going in goal that he's not going to be as, as involved in the game. I think he's more involved than ever. It's, it's amazing how it's. Uh, how the storyline has become the JJ show. Here we go, Duke Dennis leaves it. It's not like the sidemen to be the JJ show. <laughs> they all play an equal Sorry. part. This is it. Although we haven't seen Ethan for a while. Is he on the bench? Here he is. Look at the turn, by the way, from Zerko. Very brave Millwall fan in London Stadium. Gets it to Randolph. Heavy touch there. But Toby will pick this up. Speed giving chase. Gets it back off him. Get those legs moving speed, my son. Oh, oh, out to Jamie. I mean, Zerka will oh. be looking to make his mark today. And not just on a pitch invader this time. Chance. Philly to Philly. Go to the lob. Oh, oh the oh. word. Nico, finish it. Overhead kick would have been lovely. Lay it off, lay it off. Still Nico. It's there. Speed. speed. Oh, wow. Good tackle. No, no, no penalty, no penalty. Great there. challenge there. Freezy, the rescue again. Was that Mr. Beast as well? You kind of knew when Speed got the ball in the box, he wasn't going to pass it. Jack set this eye. Oh. In there, dispossessed. Big Randy. Not just my preference in women, but Randolph. It's a bit messy, this game, and I'm not talking about Lionel. <laughs> Nico. Cal Freezy. Speed. Oh. Oh, Freezy is just putting in a Rolls Royce of a performance here Absolutely. Uh, he's playing with food poisoning, by the way. That's not the name of a Twitch streamer. Uh, He's got bad oh, bowels. What a ball. Big Star just, uh, he needs it very precisely <laughs> to the foot at all times, Vic. Here comes, I think Mini Minter might be coming back on. About time. Sidemen need it. Because YouTube Some All-Stars are all over them like a rash, let's face it. Three, look, at this, look at this strike from Philly. JJ was stranded in no Danny man's land. Aaron's. The Nico over the head kick there would have been what the doctor ordered. Of course, the doctor's busy with Theo. Yes. <laughs> uh, who's been your man of the match thus far? I think there's been, minutes in. There's been periods of the game. I think you've got to look at Manny. Hat trick. Absolutely, yeah. Huge. Not been in the game a lot, but when he goes through, he scores. I think you look at Fosh in the second half. Max Fosh for a the, surprise the All-Stars. Been fantastic. I think Freezy's been doing bits defensively yep. for the sidemen as well. Uh, there's, a, there's a couple of candidates, but I would say there's still time for someone to come through and claim it, and maybe even from the All-Stars to get back in this game. I think so. We've seen them quite a few times in this half be four on two, four on three. There's, uh, there's definitely chances for them. You see those personalised goalie gloves there for KSI with KSI on the gloves. You love to see it. It's Con. the little details, you know. Con's got a throw in here. We're in the 66.9. Uh, no, 90, is it 66? 86.9. That is his weight That's in kilograms. Weight. I thought it was 100 metre time. Uh, and they're doing... If we got down here, 
Kai Sinat stretching that groin and hamstring. Oh, it's a water break. You've got to let the water have a break too. Weird it's not a prime break. I feel like they, uh, they let that slip there. Someone in the uh, marketing department should have been flying out. Speed on the Clattenburg camera there. Chunks having a little chat with Simon. Speed, I don't, I don't think you've uh, got anyone. He's saying it should have been a pen in that last challenge there, but listen, you had a pen, pal. He had his pen and he, uh, he didn't make the most of it. <laughs> Shout out to Clattenburg. I think he's ref the game very well so far. They've got the big decisions right. They've nailed it. And of course, JJ, uh, I guess his mistake has made the game a game still. 6 3, it's a long way to go back. 6 4. There's a chance. So, what can Goldbridge do with 15 minutes left? But let's have a chat with Manny. He's got a hat trick. What's he saying? It's a fraud. Yeah, 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 it's Manny, how are we feeling? You scored a hat trick. That must feel good. Yeah, it does feel good, but you know, I'm not really used to scoring goals in these games normally, so um, it's just a great occasion to be honest. I, I'm happy to play, let alone score three goals, and I just want to say I love my wife and my kids. Oh, we love love. How are we feeling about KSI rolling into the goal though? He's doing? We need to chat about that after the game. I don't know what he's doing. He got caught in 4K and said that didn't happen. Nah, it definitely happened. I think he definitely. Speed to score as well. You might as well just let it happen. Let speed score. Let Speed score. There we go. Words from Manny. Let's go back to Stephen and Spencer. Manny, no stranger to scoring goals on the big occasion, but this might be his real coming of age performance with the hat trick that, as things stand, is going to secure the side men the victory and the trophy. Absolutely. I mean, we've always known he's a great player. Ironically, it's his brother Jed who. Uh, who got signed after the last game. Yeah, it was off the back of Crawley Town, obviously scouting the yeah. match. And they, they took Jed in on the contract. They always favour the youngest. OK, some more changes after this water break. We've got a Mexican wave going round. Harry won't like that. Brexit means Brexit. Cecil's pitch side, and he's got another interview for us. What's going on, Cecil? Hi. What's going on, man? Come on, bro. You, you can get back in this. Nah, bro. The coach is sent me out, bro. It's over, bro. It's not over yeah, yet, man. It's, it's over. Look, it's, bro, look. I can't. It's like 75, 15 more minutes, 90 minutes. It's over, bro. Yeah, you got time. Nah, bro. Believe. I'm ass. Believe. I'm ass. You're not ass. I'm ass, bro. I'm ass, bro. I'm fucking ass. OK, well, let's cut back to Stephen and Spen in the commentary box. My word, my word. More like cry, Sinat. <laughs> Roasted. You're not wrong. Uh, Goldbridge, maybe few egos to handle there you know it's difficult making everyone happy with their game time how at this point in the game though Stephen it's not about catering to the personalities it's about doing what you can do to get a result and listen the FA are watching there's talk of Southgate moving on after Euro 2024 yeah Goldbridge's name is in the hat that's what I've heard from my sources he's being looked at he is and with the YouTube All-Stars one shot is all it takes when you've got chunks, Chris and D, Philly, they can punish you from anywhere. Here we go, Speed. Speed's got a bit of blood in his hands right now, I'm not going to lie. Easily could have had two goals, it could be all level if he'd taken his chances. Jack Scepter side making a run on the left, he goes to Danny Ahrens. Danny just slowing things down. Although Jack Scepter guy is giving it away here, the Mexican wave makes its way around the London Stadium. Danny Aaron's recently retired his dad, so now he has someone to hang out with. That's good for him. Oh, late challenge there. Free kick for the sidemen, Mini Minter taken down by Max Fosh. Could be the first booking of the game. Wowzers, trousers. Yellow card. The and Uno reversed. Is Uno reversed it? That's a first. What does that mean? Clattenburg's on a yellow? Clattenburg's on a yellow. It's, it's clever play. He knows the law. That is in the rule book. If you look at the right part of it in the small print of the FA rule book, chapter seven. So true. The Uno card does apply. Oh, hang on. Chance for the All-Stars. They can oh. get rid of it here. Sidemen away. unable to make it. Speed. Speed's going to get tackled here if he doesn't. No man on shout. Oh, speed. Yeah. He's, he's got away with that there. Deji versus Speed, the battle that absolutely no one wanted. <laughs> <laughs> but we got. A Would free kick? Do you ever see Speed in a boxing ring? Um, I don't think so. Uh, he's, no, he, he's, he's too good of a footballer to get, get in boxing. 
Got to concentrate on the one he's most likely to go pro in. This is it. He's still a young guy, you know. Here we go. Ethan's back on the field. Chris MD Wait with a chance Chris to MD burst forward here. Bounces. He's got options to the left of him, but Angry oh. Ginge comes through with a challenge right straight out of the 1980s. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Chunks playing deeper again. Speed. The young lad looks great when he's running, to quote Philip Schofield, but they need to get him going down that flank. Oh, Deji nibbling at heels. Chunks teases him. Oh, Deji. not quite the Megs. I'm looking at the stats on Footmob, highest rated player right now. It's got to be Manny, hasn't it? Manny's on a 9.7. Chunks on an 8.7. Vic Star's open. Go on, Vic. He's on. Take it away, Vic. Vic Star. It's deja vu. Is it deja Vic? Can he score? Can he pass? He goes to Harry. Oh! It's about time. He's deserved a goal in one of these games. And he's got one. Harry wrote to Shaw with the seventh of the match. He pictured his mother's face in the top corner and he nailed it. What a finish. What a strike. Anyone that plays with Harry knows he has got a cannon of a strike on him. He doesn't often get to unleash it in these matches, but look at this. And let's talk about the assist. The big star assist. Vision. I mean, he's a playmaker these days. He's adapted his game as he's got older. This you know? is it. I'll tell you what. A fantastic goal. It's 7-4 now. Like you said, the sidemen, they're known to get seven. The technique on display there from Harry is nothing short of Kevin De Bruyne-esque. Nothing XQC could have done about it. Billy Wingrove loving life. Once again, he's managed to get his team to seven goals, maybe more still to come. Yeah, and there's nothing he could have done about that. An immaculate shot. I'm amazed Footmob have still got ISO speed at 6.7 rating, because two goals I'd say he should have scored. I'd have him in, in the fours or fives based on that. Speaking of fours, Danny Aaron's currently on a 4.1. Gigi on a 4.1. Listen to this. XQC is on a 1 out of 10. Oh. Cow the Dragon is buzzing right now. <laughs> uh, here comes Randolph on the pitch. Randy comes on. Don't forget, sidemenfc.com is the place to go to make a much-needed donation, guys. We really need your help. Five massive, amazing charities we're putting the money towards. Brightside, Teenage Cancer Trust, Calm, Rays of Sunshine and M7E are all massively appreciative of anything you can give. Or you can text 70085, followed by... Oh, use the word sidemen, SDMN, followed by your donation amount to 70085. And uh, we really appreciate you. Remember, if you go to sidemenfc.com and you donate over £50, it will get a shout-out on the screen. Take one off. Here we go. Can the YouTube All-Stars get back in it? They're, run they're running out of time. There's yeah. a, a rumour going around the London Stadium that we have too many players on the pitch right now. We may have moved to a 12-a-side situation, which is we've, we've unusual. Got, I'm sure Jamie's down there saying we've got too many men, too many, many men. Too many men. And he shouldn't count because he's wearing a zero on the back. So. Chris and D. Another one. Big effort. Good hands. But it's, it's just too short from Chris. The story of his life. JJ goes short to Angry Ginge, who's actually played a massive amount of minutes for someone who was called it's, up late in the day. It's amazing. He's still angry. Just, oh, Danny Ahrens coming out of nowhere. He's put a shift in. He absolutely has. You know, I asked Danny if he thinks he'll score today. He said, I have a hunch. I said, I can see that. But what about your chances of scoring? He's got bad posture, the boy. Oh, oh lovely. Ethan. Lovely for Ethan. Look at him go. He's like Dimitri Payet. Oh. He's still going. He's, he can't oh. be stopped. Shoot, he has shot. It's Con. No, it's not Con. Sorry, he's on the other team. It's Randolph. Oh, Randolph. Randolph is releasing a song every week this year. He's gone through more singles than Chris MD. Keep them coming. Uh, that was to Randolph, not Chris. It's very much quantity and quality from Randolph this enough. year. Fosh. Look a gorgeous at that ball. ball. Beautiful speed. Speeds up. You've got the pace, son. Go. Angry Ginge. Fantastic challenge. I mean, Bobby Moore would be proud of that one. He's celebrating. What a player. 
He's got to have a good rating. Yeah, and he's, he's just showing off his left thigh, and why not? Give the people what they want. And no look past. Oh, they, they've got all the time in the world. I thought Angry Ginge was uh, regarding the colour on his head. But. Will with a laid tackle. My word. A bit of frustration comes out there. Oh, ball. Might have seen himself in the mirror. It's Josh. There we go. XQC. Don't. Get out of it, he says. Go he on, says, you little get, scamp. Get out of it, I think he says, actually, if you're Canadian. <laughs> Chris MD. Chris MD. I, mean, I tell you what, they're always looking for speed down this right-hand side. Jacobs. I mean, Harry's always looking for speed. Absolutely. And he'll be in a celebratory mood tonight. Chris. They've got to get something going, guys. Danny six Aarons. minutes left of normal time. You need oh, and three it, and goals. And it falls to Danny Aarons. Danny, keep us off his line. Danny Aarons! Oh, that's on target, he's in. It is lovely thought. Not quite there from Danny. The hair looks great, though. You have to say, all things considered, the All-Stars have had the chances to be level. The absolute, I mean, the XG, if we can find that. I it, can tell you, it right can't be. It can't be too far apart. Provided by FootMob, the XG. You, you, wait till you hear this, guys. 7-4 is a score. The XG for sidemen is 2.07. So it tells you a little bit about the goalkeeping performance. <laughs> Having said that, the All-Stars, 2.88. They've got a better XG than the sidemen. That's incredible. Those stats and more available at FootMob on the Oh, app. lovely from Chris MD. Sends two of them the wrong way. Oh, oh he's looking for speed. Oh, that's Mr. Beast who's missed They've the all... ball there. Oh, hey! Speed's still going. Oh, is he, he's blowing to whistle? He playing you, advantage? You can't play on from a penalty, you fool. I think the foul was outside the box. Oh, Chris tries oh. to catch out JJ, and he's denied by the woodwork. Chris hits the post. I thought that was in the box, that, that slide. Well, I have to see it back. I thought it might have been just outside. Let's take a look. Oh, you know what? It might have started in the box, but they Chris, did play Chris, advantage. Chris, Chris. Yeah, yeah. Speed looked happy to do so. Look at this from Chris. Almost works. The lino hadn't had the camera on him for half an hour, it seems. Oh, Ginge, Ginge with a wasteful kick. Uh, it's outside the box, I think, where the contact's made. That doesn't fit with my agenda. Oh, we'd love another penalty as long as Speed doesn't take it. 7-4. <laughs> I feel like I feel like there's a... Uh, everyone apart from Chris MD is feeling defeated. Come on, guys. Chunks, the low cross. Will away. get up the field. You're wearing a GoPro. Speed. Flicks it past Mr. Beast. Looks Nico. for Nico. Nico. There it is. Ah, there it is. The game's not over yet. Nico Two Amalana. Two goals from last year, one from this year. Here we go. Goal scorer for the YouTube Georgia's All -Stars finish. 69, Nico. The real mayor of London gives the YouTube All Stars a glimmer of hope as we approach the dying embers of this game. The score stands at 7 5. Remember, this time last year it was 8 7. It went to the wire. The All Stars even had a late free kick to equalise it, remember? Yeah, but the late great Theo Baker hit the target. Couldn't be Pie Face, though. Do you remember Pie Face? God, he could use his hands. Nico, you can just rely on him in those areas, you know, he's like R9. Absolutely. So, could they do this? Because if you've been honest, the flow of this half has been all YouTube All-Stars, really. It really has, yeah. In terms of possession, in terms of chances, Simon have just broken very well on the counter. Uh, the lads are slowly getting back into their own half. Get a move on. The question is, are we adapting Premier League rules when it comes to Injury time. What a ball that is, by the Slips way. Slips Jacobs. Mini Mensa. Simon. Jacobs recovers. A Jacobs cracker there as he kicks the ball away. Lovely stuff. Bazinga Ward Prowse there on the pass. So true. Carl Jacobs, don't take this Minecraft gamer lightly. He could end a man. Apparently, end a man's in Minecraft, so that's funny. Simon put it in a dangerous area. Oh, it's a free hit. Oh. And that has to hit the target there. Tariq, he's a cameraman, but that wasn't a good shot. <laughs> you know, 90 minutes in, we're still having a laugh. Yeah. Substitutions for the side it reeked, that amazing. shot. No, nah, that's good fun. That's I good am a dad, fun. so I'm allowed to make that level of, of joke. I'm definitely not a father. That you know of. Not in that hole, I always say. <laughs> to hit the target there, Tariq. You really have. I mean, it's so true. It definitely goes in if you do. Here goes Chris and D. He's off. Chris. Patrolling this midfield like a oh, metropolitan police officer. And Nico might be offside. Leisman no, says no. No, plays on. Randy sees him out. Ethan. Ethan Alvarez here. Still got plenty of endurance. 
I mean, really Ethan, has. Ethan has been up all night changing nappies, but someone has to look after Zerka. He's got a gym in his house now as well, let's not forget. You know, he's really become the absolute model athlete patrolling this midfield. Gets it to Freezy here, a chance to stretch those giraffe-like legs. Oh, and Zerka's, Zerka's made a gorgeous Touch. run. Do it for Millwall at the home of West Ham. Oh, not quite. Simon gets it back. He's dropped a bit deeper now just to Freezy, secure this. Freezy with a plenty of time. Look at the run from Simon into the box. He wants it back post. Freezy against Chunks. Good defending. Jack Septasai steps in. Of course, Jack is the CEO of coffee brand Top of the Morning. Not to be confused with my brand that does T-shirts at funerals. Um, I really should have got the copyright for it. Good shirts, to be fair. They're fantastic, yeah. I was going to be called Funeral Tees, but that didn't sit right with me. Big news. I'm hearing nine minutes of injury time. It's possible. Yama, yama, yama. And we've got... Who have we got on the bench still? Not a lot. Yeah, no one In really. terms of people that are going to change the game for the All-Stars, I think they've got to work with what they've got. Just imagine what could have happened if Theo Baker stayed on the pitch. You have to say, really, looking at the XG, looking at the flow of the game, the possession, the big chances... YouTube All-Star should have won it. Theo it? Baker is two goals at least, isn't he, you know? Guaranteed. Still chance, though. We're not even in injury time yet, and there's nine minutes of that minimum to yeah. come. Philly, the nonchalant. Out to speed. Could there be a screamer from the streamer? Oh, Here we go, speed. JJ's off his line, hit it! Shoot, speed! Hit it. No keeper. hit it, shoot! Oh, oh. I don't think he knew. Speed has got a bit, I'm not going to lie. Absolutely. I don't think he's a striker, certainly. I think he's right midfield is the position for him. Through on goal, you know, he gets a nosebleed. Oh, Chunks. Chunks hit. can hit them. Lovely feet. Still got... Oh, Ethan breaks away. There he is. What a player this man is. On the know. counter. Bazinga. He's got so much time. Oh, Vic Star's open. Vic on side. Vic on side. Play it. Vic is through. It's going to go a little bit past him. He's going to have to keep it on. Oh, oh, offside. Who put that flag up? Read the room. <laughs> Vic recently got married. Safe to say, XQC didn't catch the bouquet. He just booted it. <laughs> Here we go, chunks. If they get a goal now, there is a chance. They're trying to unleash speed again. Where's JJ? Is JJ, JJ is... Oh, my God. <laughs> How has he made that work? He hasn't. Oh, yet. speed, speed, speed. JJ's trying to give him a chance here. You know what? A little less speed, a little more control. That's what we need. Is there a streamer called control? Side so so making some changes here speed. just to slow this game down. I mean, minutes. speed and has time. missed a few chances, minutes. but you cannot fault his effort. He has been running all day. He might be the fastest person on the pitch. Absolutely. He is rapid. Speed by name, if, speed by nature. If only his brain went as quick as his feet, he would be top goal scorer. Have you seen what he's doing right here? He's hanging off the pitch. If JJ goes short, it could be a situation. Technically, he's been off the pitch so long now, he shouldn't really be allowed back on. But yeah, this is a YouTube All-Stars game here. Yeah, we, we don't follow the letters of the law. This is it. I don't think JJ knows he's there. Oh, he's just checked his shoulder. He's aware now. Duke Dennis back on the field. Can he make a difference here? It's like a hide-and-seek video there, but JJ has been sought. <laughs> oh, sorry, Speed's been sought by JJ. He's found him. Still going to go short, though. They just want to get in Speed's head. I mean, JJ hasn't been that convincing. He hasn't struggled this much on a pitch since he sang on the one show. JJ. Oh, it's like oh, nice. from Mean Machine. He's after a goal. Oh, no. oh Dennis says it. no. Just need composure here from the All-Stars because they're inviting hit you that, back in. Hit that, MD. Chrissy MD. Not oh. enough on it. Those moments have been there. There'll definitely be a handful of guys in red shirts off this game thinking what if. Yep. I mean, they want, they want the last few minutes to be as close as possible, it seems. But shots like that from Chris. That's not going to do it. We have a look at JJ's rating right now. He's obviously been accredited with an own goal. Footmob is giving him a 6 out of 10 right now, which I think is, is maybe generous. He's letting five goals, and one of them was completely avoidable. But he has been good action. In Absolutely. terms of entertainment value, he's been a 10. Max Fosh, can he start the counter? Here we go, Chris MD. I feel like it's been all Chris MD the second half. Chunks, he's got to have a hit there. 
keeper so far off his line. But Ethan is on him. Max Fosch to Chris, checks the shoulders. Randolph, oh, oh yes, Randolph! He says, thou shalt not pass like he's Gandalf, not Randolph. And that, but thou did pass, and he set up, set up a lovely attack. XQC, now this, is, this makes me nervous. He's nice. done well with that. Come on, Will. And that is exactly Pressure's why on. Pressure's on. he's up from a 1 to a 1.1. How weird, Klattenberg! Zerka goes for it. Probably worth it, although Vickstar was available. Willany is down with cramp. He's down bad. We've got nine minutes injury time. We're almost four minutes into it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And that's the game. That's the game if it goes in. And it has done, I think. Oh. Has it? No, it's not been flagged. It's not been flagged. It, doesn't, it doesn't cross the line, just like all my jokes today. It, it's perfectly on the line, yeah? JJ on the edge of the box. Forward. Surely not. Chugs to right. that. To speed. It's to speed. Have oh. some composure, lads. There's no keeper in. That's offside. Surely. Surely that's offside. Well, was it played counted by an All-Stars player? Maybe that, that's what happened there. Tariq. It's going to count. It's going to stand because it was played through by an All-Stars player. Tariq capitalises. Eight for the second year in a row. It's eight for the sidemen. And that's the game wrapped up. It's got to be. Let's take a look at this again. So he's definitely in an offside position. JJ's presence there caused them problems. The lack of composure from the All-Stars was problematic. Yes, it is onside because it's completely played through to them. Oh, you've uh, got to think that they just needed to get rid there. You need to let Chunks have the Chunk, ball there. Chunks Will go, I'd, say, I'd say Chunks went the wrong way because speed was out to the right. Potential penalty there with the shirt pull as well, but Tariq takes his moment. Tariq says, hey, you can have my shirt afterwards. I've just scored. Another example of a Saudi Arabia taking over football. <laughs> this is it. Very nice. And he was cooking. Substitutions for the Sidemen FC replacing Randolph Tariq. 8-5. The, the, the YouTube All-Stars will not Mr. be getting back into this one now, but it has been no. another absolute slobber knocker. Absolutely. What a game. For a long part of this half, the Sidemen were clinging onto their lead like a pet owner around a dog botherer. But... Uh, but now it seems to be YouTube All Stars are going to lose. But by how much? But could there be another goal? Consolations. Either way, I think there is going to be another goal. It's one of those games. Oh, I hear that right on the mic there. JJ has left a lot of openings for the All Stars and they haven't pounced on it. Let's be honest. The composure has been lacking in the key moments. That's yeah. what's cost them. Absolutely. The sort of composure that Theo Baker would have added. It was, it was costly from the YouTube All Stars. Max Fosch's parents can't Shoot. even afford it. Oh, what a waste. He might get there, though. Here comes Aaron's. Oh, Ginge. Oh, a ginge. battle of the streamers. Loving life out there. Absolutely. Chris MD. Dispossessed. Oh, lovely feet here for Manny. Hat-trick hero. Maybe a pending Man of the Match award. He plays in Jamie. Jamie oh. cuts back. He's got Manny's option. Better know he was going to cut in. He's going to cross it instead. Will gets his uh, his chin on it, it seems. Max Fosch clears his lines. Good pass here to Jack Septicai, although once again, that man Bazinga is everywhere. That's got to be a foul from Danny Aarons, but Klattenberg's letting it play. JJ in the midfield wearing a goalie strip. Yep, do not adjust your television sets or your smartphones. That is what's happening. Josh. Zerka with a shot. Zerka! It just wouldn't be. He's fuming with that one, because he knows on target it's at least a corner. Absolutely. You know, just like Ethan loves scoring here as a West Ham fan, Josh as a Millwall fan would love it as well. Absolutely. But, you know, Josh isn't the most athletic. In fact, he struggled to get down on one knee for 10 years. Hurry up and propose. Couple changes coming in here. But of course, uh, guys, stars. last two minutes, we've got to say it, donate, you know? Donate, indeed. We yeah. want to break records. Sidemen put in the eight and donate right now. <laughs> Go to sidemenfc.com or text SDMN followed by your donation amount to 70085. We do really appreciate every penny. The goalie is out his line. He's nowhere Speed, to be this seen. is your chance. Come on, shoot. Oh, oh. he nah. rode the challenge. 
Lovely header from Will and E. Now, if the defence is clever now, they can just run up and play everyone offside because obviously you've got to have two players the other side of the ball. Something Normally the keeper is one of them. Speed. Again, another chance to shoot, missed. But they are queuing up. JJ showing real confidence as a goalkeeper here. Simon. Deji puts his hands up. Oh, get it to Vic Star. He's in acres of space. Turn. Vic's open. Don't shoot, Deji. Oh. Left footed effort. And he catches. He's now up to a 1.2 XQC. Good on you, fella. Vic's going to put in a transfer request after that to Beta Squad, I think, because he had to be played through. Absolutely. Vic was here to break records. Not literally, he's a DJ, respects them. He spins them, though. Oh, so true. <laughs> oh, does he spin them? Kai Sinat. Ethan like took it away. Kai Cedar. <laughs> oh, speed. And it's Ethan. He, he started the game well, he's ending the game well. Simon, he's got JJ as an option. The two lifelong best friends there linking up. But it comes to Manny instead. He's got a hat trick. Can he improve that? Whoa, big touch. Big Bosch challenge. Collect. Bosch and from again. Bosch. Still alive though. Chance for Zerka. It's going to fall to Deji. Great block from Jacobs. JJ on the edge. Left foot. Oh. He it, shouldn't be outfield. He should be protecting himself. And, and there's that's the final the whistle. Mark Clattenburg puts the whistle to his mouth. It's all over here at the London Stadium. 8 5 to the Sidemen. 8 scored for the second year in a row. And the scoreline probably doesn't tell the full picture of the game. The All Stars had chances to maybe not even draw it, maybe to win it. The Theo Baker injury will be looked back on as a huge moment. The speed missed chances, but. What was that game like for you, Stephen? It was brilliant, Spencer. We expected goals, we got them. Quality ones as well. Uh, we had so many debutants, but they didn't look, they didn't look out of place. You know, well, some of them did. But, uh, you know, it was, uh, it was a great game. So many moments. And, of course, the penalty miss. Of course. What could have been the speed? Back on that for many years to come. We're going to go pitch side now with Big Zoo and Els to get that match reaction. Full time here at the London Stadium Zoo. 8-5 Eight five. the Sidemen. Makes it three years in a row for the Sidemen. What an incredible game. Um, listen, we saw a lot of slide tackling at the end. It got a bit aggressive towards the end of the match. I think people just wanted goals. I think people want goals. It's hot. People are tired. Yeah. There's nine minutes of extra time, which is quite a lot. We've got speed walking past right now. Yeah, um, have a, lot of, a lot of mistakes. Giving his shirt to the crowd. Very angry. I'd be angry too us. if I missed the pen. And I missed the open goal. Yeah, let's talk about that penalty because yeah. Speed stepped up to take the penalty. The the stadium loved it. Uh, yeah, it was a big moment. I feel like he was the right guy to take the pen, but he went straight down the middle and he gave he gave JJ all the chances to save it. Wasn't a great penalty. JJ in goal. We, he did get an own goal at one point. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think he done that on purpose. Let's be real. He he rolled back into the goal with the ball in his hand. Definitely. Um, Match fixing right there, a bit match, match fixing. So I'm going to ask you, player of the match. For me, I think it's Manny. Has to be Manny. Definitely. Has to be Manny. I think for the side men, Manny absolutely smashed it. But um, for the All Stars, Nico really surprised me. Just Harland esque. Harland esque. Harland esque. The new Harland. He's the new Harland. He's the light skin Harland. <laughs> I think Simon as well, as always. Simon. I mean, we know that Simon is a baller, and for the fact that he's here playing for his own charity. Unbelievable. And that's the thing that we have to remember that, you know, we have all these incredible people, all these incredible YouTubers, incredible stars, but we are here for charity and that's what we've done. We've raised we a lot are. of money. We are. And I think we can safely say everyone has loved it. Yes, the second beautiful. half, I don't know if you could hear it on the stream, but the Mexican wave was oh, yeah. so loud. Big energy. The crowd's been amazing. And yeah, it's been, it's been incredible. Big energy. Well, congrats again to Sidemen for making it three years in a row winning Man. the charity match. I think it is time to get some proper analysis, yeah, not us waffling. Let's head over to the pundits. Yep, do you know what? We have lots to talk about. <laughs> I think you just saw the sound man in shot, but you know what? That's what this is about, isn't it? We've all had fun, we've all enjoyed ourselves, and what a high-scoring second half that was. Yeah, you expected that. Obviously, we said at <laughs> half-time, as soon as people get tired, it just turns into 5v5 in the opposition half, and that's what you got, and well, they did that. They came to entertain, and I'm sure the fans are going to go home happy. Yeah, talking of the fans, I know all of you at home love your match stats, so let's have a look at the stats. 
overall for this entire 90 minutes, or should I say more, because it actually we had additional time for quite a long time there, about nine minutes in total. But look, I know that Manny got a 9.7. He was the highest scoring player the, and the highest uh, rated player in that match. In terms of the full-time stats, that tells you the story. Of course, I guess the uh, scoreline is the stat that matters the most. But look at the shots from YouTube, 32 to 18. Shots on target, 11 to 12, although sidemen clearly were more clinical. But I guess YouTube will look at that set of stats and they'll be disappointed to have not walked away yeah, with the win. I actually thought the YouTube would have had more possession because, like we said, in the first half, sidemen, they were just clinical. Yeah, they like were. YouTube had a lot of chances, a lot of the ball, but like we said, the sidemen, they are really just clinical and you saw it in the, in the final result. Well, look, let's talk through the key moments from that second half and it was Manny, the hat-trick hero from this afternoon, that got on the score sheet first to take the score to 3-2. What did we make of his goal then, Jolian? Yeah, no, again, driving forward, showed great energy throughout and good decision-making, as, as I said. Son is obviously clearly plays football, followed his pass and they've got great understanding between the two and I'm sure the keeper will look back and be disappointed, but you hit the target. If you don't hit the target, you don't score. Yeah, yeah, now you see, we, we, we talked about Manny and Mint, our assignment, they've got a connection, they play together and you can see that. They follow his pass, Mint are playmaker. We said whenever Simon, Simon wants to yeah. turn up, he'll turn up. And that was Kevin De Bruyne-esque. He cut back, rolled it back. Wow, and then Kevin De Bruyne. Hey, S. S. There's a lot of S's ah, today. Nice. I heard Big Zoo talk about high S's. I was like, high ooh, praise. That's, that's high praise. You mentioned Simon for the second of Manny's goals. He was key in that. His bit of skill for that assist was really good. Yeah, yeah. Again, you see it. You know what I love? If you can hear the loudness in this. But look, Manny picks it up. Gives it to Simon, and look, Simon again, look, are you, no, look, 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 look how he put that in, he was just running, again, Kevin De Bruyne-esque. <laughs> again, wow. Yeah, with this bit of skill here, there from Simon. This skill here, yeah. this look. Is look, my oh, man, no, look, look, where's he going? He's still, still running. running. Some say he's still running. Guy, come Some say he's still running. Look, oh. listen, oh. we've got toes, eh? we're just watching, yeah. we're just watching you and do, what you man well do, bitch? Uh, you lot, yeah, go talk to the people. Oh, I'm out of breath, man. This is amazing. <laughs> the crowd is amazing. Yeah. I don't know how many people watch at home, but thank you for tuning in. Millions and millions. 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 Thank you guys for doing this. You've been a superstar. All of you. Okay. You know, I watch all of you on TV, so... Uh, you're an inspiration, pleasure, Bob. You're an inspiration. And what you've been doing out here has been amazing. And you could just hear the noise. And you look on ball as well. Uh, and you look on ball as well. I was a bit injured today, so I tried to take it a little bit easier, but... <laughs> Still a great game, great occasion. I'm and that was you taking it easy. Yeah. <laughs> you Honestly, you're, you're, you're the best dressed guy, right? I read your profile before. You're the best dressed in the team. Like, best dress, yeah. Came up in the Where's he got the best <laughs> abs in that? He's got the best abs. There he is. There's the manager. Well done, you. He's done me proud of it today. Yeah. Unbelievable. Sorry to hijack the interview. No, no, no. Tell us. I am buzzing. You must be. What sort of a halftime team talk did you deliver? Because it was all square at halftime. I just said, listen, just keep the ball. Don't rush things. In defence, they weren't the strongest, so we knew that if we got the ball forward and had a bit of pace up top, we'd create chances. Manny, Toby, Simon were unbelievable. The whole team played brilliant today. I don't want to just give you props, but your 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 tactical changes and when you put, put people on and took people off, like, you made all the right decisions. Do you know what? It's such a difficult thing because you've got all these big personalities. They're, they're huge, you know, and you want to give everyone the right amount of game time but also win the match. It's the hardest thing to juggle because you... You're going to play your strongest team, but at the same time, everyone's got to have minutes. But to be fair, the squad, they were, they were so good with like the rotations and, and it's perfect. What, did you have did players right? in your ear? Get me on, get me on. Yeah, I bet <laughs> you did. A few did. players, yeah. <laughs> at the start, maybe, at the start. Looked for that, I pulled them off on that as well. I was thinking, oh, no. Uh, I'm not going to get invited back next year. <laughs> <laughs> you are, you're a winner, brother. <laughs> thank you so much, oh, mate. Congratulations, Thank you, brother. thank you, congratulations. Yes, OK, before we head up to the trophy presentation, we've got to talk about the penalty incident. Yeah. Because that was chaos from start to finish. But, <laughs> Julius, you're shaking your head there. Okay, so Speed Forget was the on the show bench. The show the penalty. Show the penalty. Oh, Speed yeah. was on the bench. Yeah, yeah. Was this is great. Up. This, MD, this is the actual MD, 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 he was, he was a problem speed. all game. Yeah, MD was, was a problem. So this it is what it is. And it was a clear penalty. Yeah, we no didn't need to go to VAR. No argument. So then you sub on this. Billy called him on. He said it was a good save because maybe he was thinking... No, Any? no, no it, listen, no, wait, no, hold on. Is, no, no, key, no, one second, one second. You know, keepers normally dive early. So he tried if, to go down the middle. Help you. If he dived, got back up, he still would have got back up. <laughs> <laughs> that was like, for someone with so much speed. Listen, what happened to Speed today? Because I feel like a lot of that second half
himself was about him. Do you know what it is? And from striker to striker, yeah? And I know he loves Ronaldo. Ronaldo will give him this advice. If you want to score too bad, yeah, you but... don't score. Yeah? He wanted it too badly. It was, yeah. he, after that penalty, he missed it. He was like, I just want to score. This one's unlucky. This one's unlucky. No, Look, this is not unlucky. It's Come unlucky. <laughs> the, the, the defender Come came on. back. Do you know what the you thing is? you got to score that. No, 100%. As strikers, you do, but you're not. And then they went up and scored. That was a defining moment. This is. This yeah, here this is as a well. There was a lot going on. There was a lot going on. It was a. It was a quick. It was a no quick 27 There's seconds there. No on. communication. Yeah. But you know the you know the thing is with speed, and I'm going to say this. He impressed me more than what I thought. Yeah. You know, yeah. His end product. If he works on his end yeah. product, he'll be a problem because everything up until the final third. But that's the it thing. was a problem. You, you know that's not that easy. Yeah, like know, you get yeah. there and he, he seemed to speed up yeah. instead of just. Slow down. He needs to be speedy. <laughs> like, yeah, you need to okay. slow your thoughts down. Yeah. 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 yeah, because he's quicker than everyone. He, when yeah. he gets past them, he's still operating he's at, still, at yeah. the same pace. And, and like, now they're not getting back, so now you oh. can just calm yourself. I think you know, everyone in the stadium him. wanted him to score. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, it's all willing. It's all willing. I think KSI wanted him to score, and he was the goalie. So you know them was, but nah, man, it was good. It was entertaining. Well, let's talk about the goalie, because for six score, KSI concedes a goal in a very tragic way from his point of view because he would be so disappointed when he looks back at this. Yeah, I don't think he like, conceded, he, he gave it to them, obviously. He did he go it's in though? It went yeah. over the line, did it? He was asking for, I don't know, the whole no. ball we need, the line. A, we need a conclusive I angle. I Look, this is, this is, is kind of conclusive. Wait, wait, You're going to see, see. see. Watch, I can't watch. Oh, oh, OK. Oh, yes, he's in. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he's yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, we tried to help him. Stop, drop and roll. You're my guy, you stop, drop and roll. Yeah. But you know what I think it was? You know, I just think he's the ultimate entertainer. He and he wanted it to make it closer. That's what yeah. I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so, that's what I'm going on. Overall, did KSI have a good or a bad game? What do uh, we think? Uh, uh, what would you he rate did his thing. They save after that. I've got to give him props. No, yeah, yeah, save after had, that. Yeah. They oh, look at this. He did his thing. Yeah, he yeah, was yeah, not having any Good yeah. call from the linesman, though. Brave he did go. Very very good. Good. It's a brave call from the linesman. We was berating him. I won't lie. We was berating him from up there. Sorry. He was berating him. <laughs> it's all joking. I said it was in. I said it was in. I was in. It was in. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So yeah, he was all right. I mean, he didn't get injured, which was the main thing, because that's, that's why he went in goal. Okay, let's have a look at another goal for seven four. Um, this was Harry actually. One goal of, the, of the goals of best the goal game. Watch, hey, best Go on, goal by. Talk game. us through Eight, the technique. Here. Right. Yeah, we, we said as they start getting tired, like there'll be space. But look how he sets it up. Watch the finish. Ooh. Watch Ooh. the finish. Yeah, did. Watch the fin. Watch it. Watch it. That's Starts it out. Ooh, can I say it? Yeah. Kevin De Bruyne esque. Oh. Can I say it? Can I say it? <laughs> Kevin De Bruyne esque. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can say that. That can that can be compared to Thank KDB. you. Yes, that's KDB. Goal of the game. Goal of the game. Amazing. Yeah, it's good finish. Difficult one for a defender. Yeah, this is impossible. It, it, but again, the keeper. You, you're looking at your goalie because when you when someone's got that much quality, you're thinking, yeah, go on and shoot. But. You see the defenders want to pass it on to the keepers. <laughs> I see what you did there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, great finish, great finish. It was. Now, we've said at the top of the show, this is very different for us. It was a different sort of experience. So, how did you enjoy it? Did you, did you love oh. it? I've absolutely loved yeah. it. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. Well, like, to be fair, luckily I've been involved in a few of these. And you just feel the energy. Yeah. And we say it's different from us. Like, they were interviewing the goalie while the game was going on, you know, and it's just, <laughs> and it's it's that, it's raw emotion. And at the end of the day, it's for a great cause. No, it so is. For yeah. these very, sort very of things where you're, you get to enjoy and it's for a good cause. So, now, nah, man, we loved it. And I got to work with Yarlot. So, it was yeah. Cool. We were Thank side, you. side chicks for cat charity, no problem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Love it. And you know what? Credit to the players because, as we said at the top, it is very, very warm, sweltering heat out here, and they have managed to continue for the 90 minutes. I know there were a lot of substitutions, but yeah, it's still no, not easy, still you know it, Julian. Yeah, of course, credit to everyone involved. Obviously, for the fans, like, listen, I got here at near, near 12 o'clock and they were queuing up to come inside then, so everyone that's participated today, credit to everyone. Yeah, absolutely. Now, I know that um, you particularly had your eye on speed, didn't you? And I know we've spoken about him because he dominated the talking points in that second half, but tell me, tell me a bit more about what you noticed about him. I mean, obviously he's speedy, the name <laughs> gives it away. He's, he's good 1v1. I just think, you know, he really wanted to score, yeah. didn't he? And I think his teammates wanted him to score. Oh, oh, oh. You know, this is a good tackle here. He gets stuck in, he wants it. Fully I enjoyed committed. watching it. Yeah, he's fully committed. What, I mean, this, I think yeah, he... This, do you know the thing, do you know the matter, you know if this didn't this. happen, you know everything else was, he was constantly involved. You know, it was just this moment where 
I, I think he, he, he was too safe. Yeah, and I think if I'm being technical on the technique there, his legs were too far apart at the yeah, start. So then, and then he couldn't close he his legs. So he, he shuts off so many angles, and then all of a sudden he's dead. Do you know what he should have done, Julian? He should have waited until KSA yeah. died. Because if you go down the middle, nine yeah, times you're out of talking from a. He probably doesn't realise when the keeper's yeah. moving. Yeah, he probably yeah. can't look at a goalie and say, oh, he's going to die yeah, now. Yeah. But then after that, these are the moments, these are his moments when he pushes it down the line. No one was able to cope with him. He's unlucky to be fair. Yeah. He was constantly involved and yeah, that was... Yeah, this bit, this bit, bit of skill. It, look, that, assist. that assist there was... He was constantly involved. It's just, he now needs to work on his end product. Yeah. Me, listen, me and Eni already said that. If you want to... One on one. His ideal... He's, so his ideal is Ronaldo. But, but and, oh, God, he is, yeah. So that's his idol. But so, even that there. Yeah, sometimes... That's what he was... He was so let's go talking about. His, his mind down. is... Yeah. Yeah. His mind is still a thousand miles he's an hour. He's thinking about what he's going to do before, before he's before even got it under control. It, yeah. <laughs> he wanted it so much, though. Yeah, he he really wanted it. But my, my coach has always told me, if you don't score, make sure you assist. Yeah. And that's what he did. Yeah, Fair yeah. Play that's a nice way to wrap it up. OK, we're going to wrap things up here now, but it's been so much fun, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been amazing. Loved it. Loved every moment of it. And it's back to Big Zoo and Elf. Chase, I be at the pundits, man. Yeah, some great analysis there. It's great break. I think that Akin Fenwa is very excited. It's like you. I feel like you're quite excited. Yeah. I'm a little bit excited. <laughs> well, it is an incredible atmosphere here. Let's just talk through what's happening currently. So they are yep. building, ready for the big trophy lift, which yes. will be happening very shortly. Yes. Before we do hand over back to our commentators, though, Zoo, what is your favourite moment of today? Um, it's, I think it was the moment between Manny and Toby when they assisted each other for that goal. That was that was brotherhood in a moment, as well as, as when Philly assisted Chunks. I love seeing the, those moments of the mandem coming together and creating beautiful moments of football. That's what we love to see. Definitely. I think for me, it's just seeing all the fans come out. I mean, it's very hot. We keep talking about it, but yeah, it's yeah, so yeah. hot in here. But to see the enthusiasm and, and the atmosphere. One million the percent. The, the support in the building is crazy. You can feel the love. It, it, it really makes you feel like these players are actual genuine ballers. Definitely. And although it is about, obviously, a team winning, raising yeah. money for charity, I don't think that people necessarily mind who wins. No, it's anyone could about won. the goals and the entertainment. Yeah, big goals. Big up Harry as well. Harry got an absolute banger in there. Yeah, it was amazing. One of the, one of the, best, goals, one of the best goals of today. Yeah, well, if you have liked what you have seen, we will be revealing that total amount of money raised very shortly but yep. in the meantime if you can please make sure you go to sidemenfc.com to donate you can also scan the qr code on your page or you can text sdmn to 7085 with your donation amount to donate the link is in the description all the information is on the website make sure you do that if you have enjoyed all the entertainment that has happened today i think i need to go donate you need, yeah, we're going to go donate. Also, donate. we're going to go and watch this trophy lift whilst Stephen and Spencer are going to commentate it for you. So we're going to head over to the commentary box right now whilst we go and see this trophy lift. Baleg. Thank you, Els and Big Zoo. What a day it's been. It's time for the trophy presentation. It will, of course, be the Sidemen FC lads yeah. who lift it. But everyone's a winner here, aren't they, Stephen? So true. I mean, there's been a little delay because... Some just up oil campaigners were on the pitch, clearly protesting the amount of grease in Calfrizi's hair. But hey, we're going to get a trophy lift. And uh, who, who's the captain of. Oh, look at that. James Corden in attendance here, of all people. Never misses a YouTube game. Absolutely loves it. Obviously, so, a big West Ham fan as well. A big West Ham fan. Um, but yeah, like I say, who, who was the captain of. Was it Bazinga? Yes, of course it is. He's going to lift a trophy at his beloved West Ham. Oh, what a moment. What a, what a, a great day. In the same year that we were crowned champions of Europe. <laughs> you know, have um, I mentioned that? I, I, we'll definitely have it now. Well, you can see the players congregating. There's going to be a quick interview before we do the trophy presentation. So, uh, Big Zoo and Els, over to you. Yeah, nice. Yeah, Lovely. Right. Okay, we are joined right now by my brother Vic. How are you feeling right now, man? Great game. Amazing, what an atmosphere, what a game. Huge thanks to everyone that flew out to play, all the massive creators, everyone in the stadium that kept everything running, all of our team who put together something that we could never comprehend. I hear we've absolutely smashed our target last year of a million pounds raised. We're gonna find out later on how much we've raised with the support of our amazing fans. So all in all, what a privilege it is for us all to be able to do this, support great causes, launch our charity Brightside and support all of the uh, wonderful charities that we're supporting with that. It's super exciting and what a pleasure to be able to do this.
definitely. And also just congratulations, Vic, to you and all of the Sidemen for putting this on. I'm sure on behalf of all the fans, we can say that everyone's had a great day today and I'm sure all the viewers have loved it as well. So thank you very much. Keep donating, everyone, because it's, we're not at the You're end, John. I, bro, I, I can't lie. I was sad you didn't get a goal, bro. Yeah. You, you was in what? good positions. You know what? It was almost identical to last time. I saw that space, the goal empty. I looked to my left and I saw Harry. Harry has not scored before. I just knew it was the right thing to do. I put him on and what a goal he scored. He absolutely yep. leathered that. So, so many new people scoring goals. Ethan at his home stadium scoring the first goal. What a moment. Just, yeah, I, I'm almost speechless, which is rare. <laughs> so, what an, what an amazing time. What a moment and what an afternoon. Thank you to Vic. Thank you to all the Simon. Thank you to the viewers. We're going to cut back to Stephen and Spencer in the commentary box for the almighty trophy lift. Thank you, guys. Thank you. And listen, find a man that can do both. He scored last year. He assisted this year. Vic Star is a real star. I mean, what a friend. He said, you know, Harry hasn't scored before. I'll help him out. Amazing how many thoughts were going through his head in that split second as well. He's a clever guy. He really is. There's the trophy. That's going to be lifted momentarily as we welcome the runners up. The YouTube All Stars. And here and they come. They are All Stars. They really are. They really are. And they, they put in a great shift. They made a good account of themselves. On another day, they could have won. They, they really could have. You know, you see them and you go, what an effort. Entertainment. They, I mean, Max Fosh. Yeah. I can see him now. Impressive. He definitely deserves a medal. And obviously we don't want to keep going on about it, but losing Theo Baker to injury is akin to probably the side men losing Mini Minter. You know, it would, it would, that's how this big an effect it would have had on them. So, and Theo has come knows? out for this, so... Yes, we do hope Theo is the best. We'll obviously check up with him later. As the All-Stars collect their runners-up medals, everyone you see on your screen, and so many people you don't see on your screen, have played a huge part in putting this occasion on and raising a, a massive amount of money for charity, which we're going to find out exactly the amount they have raised later. And all you guys watching at home, of course, you've you, you played your part too. So this is very important to make sure we recognise that. Here we go. Oh, there's a drone in the sky. I wonder if we'll cut to that. Hey, hey. We're change top. We've still got the GoPro on. He wants a look. Here is the drone in action. Look at the technology. Great to see these guys still okay, smiles in their medal. faces as well. And what I like about these guys, they lost the game, but they keep the medal on, you know? None of these big egos that can't wear a second place medal. Chunks. And then last but not least, although he was least in terms of the ratings. Yeah. XQC. Football. Bless him. Football, maybe harshly, giving him, uh, I believe, a 0.3 out of 10. And look at these guys, they don't stop working. Content, content, content. He's trying, you can't lift it, unfortunately, Nico, this year. Maybe next year. Yeah, XQC was going to lift it, but he'd uh, probably drop it. Anyway. Oh, so I know we make a joke out of it, but it takes serious guts to put yourself oh, in goal in a game like this, especially if you haven't had a lot of experience in it before, you know. And even JJ doing it is brave, you know. But XQC, shout out to him for, for getting involved. Yeah. And here come the team sidemen. Angry Ginge played no small part. He was a rock at the back. Happy Ginge now. He's got his medal. Randolph, Mr. Beast. All winners today. Laser beam. Freezy was fantastic. He was, yeah. Mark Klassenberg with a really cool handshake. He's got that down to a T. He's a cool dude. Manny, hat trick hero. Erak blanks Klassenberg. A big history going on there. Yeah, they really do not like each other. Deji. And here he is, of course, Simon, who may be understated performance based on his previous matches. He's but set high standards. He's still a huge player, as is this man, Toby. You see JJ there. No, not even missing an opportunity to reveal that uh, ripped physique. <laughs> He's worked hard for it. There's the Klattenberg cam. Oh, that's nice. I hope they don't switch that off. You know, I want to see him go home tonight. Big start. Goal scorer there, Harry, a.k.a. Rota Short, and the manager. Billy Wingrove with the winner's medal two years in a row. Honestly, move over Southgate. And the main man, the captain, Ethan Payne, a.k.a. Bazinga, about to lift the trophy at his beloved London Stadium. Well, for more than 10 years now, they've been known as the side men. But let's face it, they're the main men. It's four out of five for these 
these guys and once again, eight is great. They are the champions of the Sidemen Charity Match 2023. It's Sidemen FC. It's beautiful scenes here, Spen. The YouTube All-Stars stand on clapping. See you next year, that'll be us. Just the best moment. There's JJ, he's a YouTuber, he's a rapper, he's a boxer. Let's face it, he's a keeper. He doesn't lose, Spencer, he doesn't lose. He doesn't know how to lose. The side men, four out of five. The hat trick, Hero Manny there. Deji, they're going to be celebrating long into the night at a top secret location, I heard. <laughs> I haven't even heard about it yet. <laughs> There's a reason. <laughs> But you love to see it. And this is just a crowding moment, guys, of what's been an event that, trust me, takes a long time to plan. So many people. I was on the call sheet. I saw the sides of it. It was practically an encyclopedia. So many people made this happen today. Yeah. And shout out to every single one of them. And of course, it doesn't happen without you sweet, sweet viewers who have tuned in and supported everyone here for a long, long time. Pleasure to work with you again, Stephen, of course, cracking me up throughout the game. I know you guys at home would have absolutely loved it. And an absolute honor for me to be involved here again in a massive, if not the biggest, YouTube event of all time. This thank you it. for being with us. Thank and we're going to go to our pitch side presenters. Yes, thank you so much for joining us for the 2023 Side Men Charity Match. We've got a list of thank yous here. So thank you to commentators, of course, Stephen and Spencer, as always, bringing all of the amazing commentary there. Thank you for Cecil for bringing us all of the backstage access. Nada on the line. Our pundits, Jolien Lescott, Bio Akinfenwa, Eni Aluku, led by Seema Jaswell. And of course, to Ace H. Half time sounds great. And of course, we've got to say a thank you to our sponsors, Prime and Crunchyroll right now. You can sign up for a free 14-day trial on Crunchyroll. And for every person that signs up, $9, yes, $9 will be donated to the charities of today. Yes, you can head to sidemenfc.com and click the Crunchyroll button right now. Cheers. Right. Congratulations to the Simon three is in a row, and it is the big time now. We are going to find out the final figure of the money raised today. Five Mad. amazing charities is an incredible cause. Zoo, I'm going to leave it to you oh. to reveal this final total. Are you guys total. ready? Yes. We have raised two million four hundred twenty-five four hundred twenty-five thousand eight hundred and fifty-five pounds. They charities. smashed the record. 2.4 million pounds, what yes. an incredible amount raised. It's gonna help so many people. Thank you so much to the Sidemen for putting this event on, for raising so much money. Thank you to you, the viewer, for watching and everyone who donated, it means so much and it really will make an impact. Thank you so much, Zoo, for being my co-host I you don't know, big love to Els as well for having me. You know the vibes. And thank you to the Sidemen for inviting us down. Thank you for having us. And that has been it for the Sidemen 2023 charity match. Thank you for watching. Maybe we will see you next year. Peace. today of the YouTube All-Stars and the Sidemen FC.